Where are you? Let's be having your bacon brigade. Assemble!
Boom, 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 boom. Oh shit! Sorry guys, I <laughs> had it on some bullshit thing. Sorry about that guys, how's it going by the way? It's the Flying Pig here on Flying Pig United with another little stream for you guys. Uh, FIFA stream, we're going in here raw, yeah. Um, how's it all going dudes? Thanks for joining us. Well... You asked what was that, to be fair, Lewis Turridge. Well, you asked what it was. Okay, well, I just thought I'd put that on there at the start, mate. But it wasn't meant to be on there right at the start for a very good reason, mate. Because I just wanted us to take a moment at the start of the stream, really. Just for us all, just for a second. Just to all laugh at those fucking shit houses, Liverpool, guys. And also Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thanks for everybody for the laughing face emojis in there, guys. Get in there, my son. Liverpool in the mud. Chelsea slipping up. It's fucking fantastic to see, guys. Liverpool in ninth place. Mid-table mediocrity. Absolutely shitting the proverbial bed. It's amazing. Take that L, says Rush Up Felicia. Yes, Iceman. Hey, thank you, everyone, for getting in here, by the way. Shout out to you all. Uh, Rush Mano, how you doing? You absolute Don Peace. What's going on, mate? Get in there. We've also got Uncaged Squid, Jonathan Gallagher, John Hand, Ducky, Rio Kemp, Scott Lister, Matthew Smith, Kingslayer, Olsen, Lee Workman, Iceman, The Hoop Man, Jay King, Rush Up Felicia, Joshua Whitfield, Baker, Lewis Sturridge, Lewis, Say No More Gov, The Hoop Man, OP Games, Vootinator, Ruddy Can't Game, getting in here, all lad. Scott Lister, Matt Five Phosphates in the gaff, Stu, and Mohammed Mohammed, and Sean Nettleton, and also Jay King of Busy the Boost, 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 Rory C, Adovitz, Olsen, Madhouse, Kingslayer, Diamond, <laughs> we've also got Lewis, um, Jonathan Gallagher, who else have we not said here, guys? BTW Lit Zyron, what's going on with you as well, lad? Welcome in, Tony Montana, man. Get in there, Tony Montana. Say hello to my little friend, man. Tony Montana, man. Ruddy can't game. How are you doing tonight? Yes, lad. He says, smash the like. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Ruddy. At the start of this stream, do us a massive favor and twat that like button. Give it a huge thumbs up at the start of the stream. Yes, please. Get in there. Thank you so much, Ruddy. And everyone else as well for hitting that like button at the start of the stream. Twat the like. Hit the subscribe if you're new. Get in there, Raw. Come on, Rush Mano, my son. <laughs> In. Get in there. That's right, guys. Liverpool absolutely bottle job in it. Oh, and Chelsea bottling it as well today. Great to see. <laughs> Matt Five Phosphates says Nunes finishes like I finish uni. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Klopp in until 2030. I wonder what's going to happen with Cloppy Floppy Jalopy over there. Yeah, Brad Wright Scouse has lost again. Hey, Benjamin Bessemer, you legend. How goes it? Right, guys, we are we are back. We've got a new controller. It's actually just a replacement controller of the old one. But the Razer Wolverine V2, you know my last one, the, the left stick shit the bed. So they've sent me the replacement out. Here it is. It's shiny. So we've got no excuses on the controller front now. Um, so we're going to smash a, full few, a few fools up on, on the old Xbox. We've, uh, we've done foot champs on the PlayStation last night. It was a success. We did all right. Now we're going to try and better that tonight on the Xbox. So let's get stuck in there raw. I think we should get... Should we get stuck in there raw, guys? Or should we have a warm-up game? Ooh, baby, I like it raw. 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 Shimmy, shimmy, oh, shimmy, oh, shimmy, hey. Give me a chance and I'll put it away. Shimmy, shimmy, oh, shimmy, oh, shimmy, hey. Give me a chance and I'll put it away. Baby, I like it raw. Okay, well, most people say raw. I should have a warm-up, says J. King. Yeah, well, you know, warm the soul, says Benjamin. Yeah, you know, it was a, it was actually a metaphorical question, really. Or a hypothetical question. Because I'm going to go in there raw. <laughs> that's what we do. That's what we do. Anyway, let's have a go, let's have a go of it. Uh, did I open the out-of-position pack, says uh, BT Dermot Siren? No, bud. I haven't, bud. No, we're going to go on and do some stuff a bit later if there is stuff to do. I haven't done any of that. I haven't even seen what SBCs are out today. 
This is my team over here on the Xbox, by the way, folks. It is much more superior to my PlayStation 1. In fact, I usually like to play with Sun, but just for chemistry purposes at the moment, we have got Rashi in there on the left mid. But Sun will be coming off the bench. But this is pretty much the team over here. And also, we've got Valverde on the bench and stuff. We've... Yeah! This is a this is a raw one. So, let's just see if we can do as good as we did yesterday. We should be able to do at least as good as we did yesterday, and uh, if not better. Surely! Because Friday's the sweatiest night as well, and we've got a better team over here. What's everyone's score prediction tomorrow? Jonathan gonna go. I'm actually going for quite a tight game, but ultimately we will win. I think we'll get a clean sheet. I'm going to say 2-0 to United. We're at home. You know, we're looking good at the moment. Defensively solid. I'm saying clean sheet, two goals. 2-0 to United. Getting in there raw. What's everyone else's thoughts? 3-3 three, three, says Ducky. Yeah. Three two, Scouse Busters says Rodbano. Two one United, two one, two one. Lot of two ones coming to the live chat. Right, hold on, mate. This new controller feels weird now after playing with the Xbox One for a, for a week or so. CR seven gets a hat trick says Rajat. Ooh, Matty five phosphate says only forty four likes. Land, sort yourselves out. That can't be right, mate. That cannot be right, dude. Oh shit. Oh, we've got 144 legends in here, my friend. That can't be the, the that can't be the case. Let's have a look at that. We've got 65 likes. Oh shit, we've got 65 likes, so we have got more than that. But still, we can do better than that, my friends. Baker Brigade, assemble and twat the old likes on it. Cheers for that, dude. <laughs> okay, come on, there, boys. Lucas Paqueta. Man, that PlayStation controller is so good compared to all Xbox controllers I've ever used. This is shit. <laughs> this does not feel like... Uh, is there any sort of adapter you can buy to plug into your Xbox where you can use your PlayStation 5 controller? Does that, does that exist? Some sort of dongle? Some sort of doohickey? Some sort of thingamajig that can do that? Because that's what I want. There is, says Brad Wright. Ooh. Yeah, just, uh, here's Gash Bonds. Just have to, uh, sack him off, man. <laughs> don't, don't rise to it, my friends. Don't rise to it. And also, if anybody mentions it, like, uh, just sack them off, too. You know what I mean? It's called Titan 1, says Lousy. La right, what are you talking about there, Lousy? You just maybe concede with your comment there, but What are you talking about, bud? Titan 1? What's that about? Thought it's since day one. Um, oh, okay, Luca. Steady on now, lad. OP Games gets in there. These Xbox controllers are so bad quality, too. And they always break, don't they? They're a bag of shit, mate. That's that. That's what I've uh, found about them as well, yeah. They always break, mate. So we'll, I'll give my current Xbox controller about three months before it breaks. And that's with me not even using it because I'm using this Razer one. But the actual Microsoft one, it's a breaker, my friends. They're absolutely shite. What did I make of the Liverpool loss? <laughs> K1 audio. What did I make of it? What did I make of it? Okay, and about three Kleenexes. That's what I made of it, dude. It's a fucking absolute fantastic result. Get in there. Great to see it. Great to see it. Oh, fucking hell, mate. No! Oh, right, come on then, guys. This is a bad start over this. Guy's a Man City scumbag as well. We were doing so well yesterday. <laughs> For some reason, but here we can't we can't seem to play the same standard for some reason. Thank you, Rushmano, to subscribe to the channel. Well, I think you did, Luca. I'm pretty sure John, you know, he's, he's said it in the chat multiple times. He's got learning difficulties and stuff, so maybe he should be a bit more sensitive, lad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying there, Luca? But anyway, pig, do the laughing policeman says Madhouse. Oh, I've seen the laughing policeman, mate. Virgil Dan Donkey defending going on there. 
Oh shit, Carmos. I like I like how you start, my friend. Let's start using Liverpool for memes, you know. That's it. Van Dyke's the new Maguire. Spread it around. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Virgil van Donkey, I like it. Let's run with that. Good stuff. Let's spread it far and wide. They're the new meme gash. Yeah, get in there. Liverpool new meme gash. Get it out there, guys. Right, time to just actually turn it on now, guys. We've just been fanning around here. Just been saying hello to everyone in the chat, not really concentrating properly. Time time to turn it on now. I believe. I don't know about you guys. I believe. Do you believe? I, I'm a believer. And then I saw her face. Now I'm a believer. Not a trace of doubt in my mind. Oh, I'm in love. Ooh. <laughs> Oh, nice, Andrew John. Just sent a video from Thursday night in the pub next to Old Trafford. Atmosphere was amazing. Oh, nice. Where would you send that to, Andrew? Nice one, dude. Check that out later, broski. Oh, shit. Rajat Fallacious is not Belieber. <laughs> Go on then, Cristiano, my son. Have we actually been able to get out of this arse so far, guys? Right, ready? Let's do it. Let's get that, let's get that passing on the go. Mate, I actually blame the Xbox for being shit at this game, guys. After playing on PlayStation, just generally always playing better on PlayStation. I blame the Xbox, mate. Xbox is gash, guys. What's the Xbox all about? It's a hindrance, man. Do you know what I mean? Something about it. It's, 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 it's awful. Doesn't feel nowhere near as nice as playing on PlayStation. Sorry to say. For me, anyway. Don't know why. It's not just because this guy's bashed me up 3-0 either. PlayStation Superior, says Luca. Is it... Is it uh, I don't know what it is. Is it players on Xbox are better than PlayStation players? Maybe that's what it is. But in all fairness, this game just feels just horrible playing with this controller compared to yesterday where we smashed out the PlayStation. G Smith says no way. I don't know guys, what do you reckon? What do you reckon? Xbox or PlayStation? Which do you play FIFA better on? I'm not even asking you which is best. I'm asking which do you feel like you play FIFA better on? That's no. Definitely PlayStation for me. Oh seven nine three, what's going on my friend? Get in there, dude. Welcome in, lad. It's all crossplay though, right? So it shouldn't matter. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Maybe the PlayStation, the actual hardware, the actual controller, the feel, the dynamic feel. Is better on PlayStation. That's what I'm saying. Maybe that's why on PlayStation, when you're playing, I'm playing crossplay. Maybe because I've got I'm on on the PlayStation. I've got the edge mix. I've got the dynamic feel of that new PS5 controller, etc. Maybe that's it. <laughs> uh, PC with an Xbox controller says Bo Sheep. PS says Rajat. Xbox uh, all the mind bros says 0703. Nah, seriously, it's not, mate. It's a physical thing. It feels physically different, dude. That controller, the new PS5 controller, ste steps up. Steps up on the place on the Xbox. That's true, Butter Pants. You only play on the PlayStation, PC, PS4, Xboxes for melts. Definitely says Luca. PlayStation all day says Armenia. Def prefer the player PS5 says Baker. Different people, different opinions says Jonathan Gallagher. <laughs> oh fucking hell, guys! Well, we're treating this first one as a warm-up game. We shouldn't have gone in there. Oh, nice one, Andrew Johns, lad. PS5 says JR Anonymous. Mate, just rushing gash stuff there. Where's the tactile feel, you know? 
from this control away. Where is it? Oh, it's so bad, man. You know why I'm playing different, J. King? Because this controller's a bag of shit. And the Xbox is cash. There you go, I said it, man. I said it, guys. I, I think I'm swaying over to the dark side these days. Honestly, <laughs> I feel like I am. Because, uh, what the fuck's this all about, mate? This ain't, this ain't good. That's not, it's not, that's not how things are supposed to be going down. I'm gonna have to, right, that's it. Maybe this Razor controller's just gash for FIFA. I've decided. How can it shit for FIFA? I'm gonna have to revert to this gash Stormtrooper gash, which is gash. But maybe, it's fucking dirty as well, guys. But maybe I might be able to get some wins with this at least. Because that other controller feels rancid at the moment. It just isn't, it's just not, it's just not right. Let me try this one. <clears throat> RMA the controller against this ducky. <laughs> no, 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 because it's not, it's not malfunctioning. But it just, maybe it's just not great for FIFA. Maybe that's, all right, hang on. So let me just turn this one off. Right, we're using this old white one now, guys. Back to there. I feel more, at least I know this one's, the other one's just, I don't know, man. I think that's maybe why I've always been shit at FIFA, guys. That Razer one's just not a great FIFA controller. Yeah, I've decided. Pig has so many cash controllers to shaking. Klopp putting the L in Liverpool says rush up for Asia. Yes, sir. -y. Jero Anonymous says, yo, Piggy. Can we all take a min to laugh at Kroppy? We've already done that, Jero Anonymous, but sure. Let's take another min to do it. <laughs> Get in there. Uh, cryptics, do you think Klopp will get a sack? I mean, I don't think anytime soon, but if he continues going on, you know, the, the current trajectory, then yeah, I mean, they can't be finishing ninth, can they? No. He's bought himself some time, though, with successes, in my opinion. But pff, how much time's the question? You can't just keep melting. Why is this team so old? Unbelievable shit! Doesn't even make sense. My player just stood there like a fucking complete Maguire statue. Lemming sat there doing that. I don't get it. Mate, that's actually fucking bullshit, though. What a ridiculous bit of defending, man. All he needs to do is just hoof it away. Somebody needs to get in there and just clear the shitting ball away. Nobody does. It's just, a, it's just, I just it's, I've never seen such a shit conceded goal in my life, that one. You had on me on Xbox, nice one there, OP. Watch this strike by Rashi, top pins. Yeah, you like a little top pinner, do you? Hey, Sub2 Flying Pig United. Ow! Ooh, 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 ooh. how's it going there, Sub2? I hope you're doing uh, well this evening also. It's Mr. Sub2 getting in here from down under. It's actually in the afternoon over there, Cobber. It's not the evening there, is it, mate? He's just getting up, having his breakfast, mate. He, uh, he what's, what he does, he has his breakfast, which consists of a... Uh, a cheeky little croissant wedge from fucking Burger King or something, mate. And then he gets a cheeky little Castle Main 4X and washes it down with that, my son. Oh, we have absolutely bottled this, guys. It's another another shit start. Don't know why the pl Xbox is so bad. There you go. I said it, guys. It's shit. Maybe if I turn cross-platform off and just play Xbox melts, then I'll be able to win. But ultimately, if I'm coming up cross-play against anybody on any other system, they've got the edge because Xbox is shit. There you go. I said it, guys. It's fucking shit. Maybe if I turn it off and just play other Xbox mounts who are hindered by the hardware, then I'll be okay. You know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Oh, 
fuck a duck. Turn it off, says Hammerhead. Yeah, I'm going to turn it off. I'm going to turn it off because I'm getting done by the PlayStation posse. Do you know what I mean? They're just, they, they've got a superior controller. More tactile dynamic feel. <laughs> you know? Mm. He's going to play Xbox mounts. Imagine having console wars, J. Smith. Well, I don't know. I mean, um, I like the Xbox. I, I, you know, I still think they're all they're fantastic. And this is the only real first time I've ever come across having any issues, like or feeling like there's issues. Maybe it's all in my head, but I just can't get it playing as fluid or as nice with this controller. I think it's the controller as opposed to anything else. It just isn't as nice, and so therefore you can't play to the level that I uh, want to play to. I mean, I, I'm seriously playing about as shit as I ever have done. And I've got a better team over here. Similar sort of tactics. And for some reason, I just can't play. Yesterday, I'm just like a phenom beast. It's a fucking joke, mate. There's no other word for it. Xbox, sort your shit out. Sort your shitty controller out, guys. Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just painful. This is painful. It feels broken, man. Oh, nice one, Sean. You're just going to start your champs. Good luck, my friend. I hope you smash it, lad. Hopefully, I can match you up so I can smash you up, dude. Hey, Abdi Hadi, what's going on? I'm all right, man. Thanks for asking. Right, how do I turn crossplay off, guys? I need to turn it off immediately. This is an absolute shit, shit, shit fest. I need to turn it off immediately, guys. So how do I do that? In settings. All right, okay. Is it just on here, actually? Don't think it is, is it? No, it's actually in the settings. Okay, then. Oh. Matchmaking settings. Crossplay enabled. Eh, eh. Let's turn that off. Okay. Great stuff. Now we're only going to be playing Xbox mounts. Which means, you know, we'll probably we'll probably start winning now. Because we haven't got a disadvantage. That's right. Yeah, I know I'm not. Because it's shit. Uh, hey, Vincent Buller, what's happening, bro? He says, hi, Pig, hope you're okay. Can't stay on long because I've got to get to sleep by one o'clock because I've got to be up early to get a coach at 10.30 to go to the match. Hey, Vincent Buller, respect, my son. Fair play, dude. Well, have a great day, and uh, thank you for getting in and saying hello. Uh, you still got two hours of rawness. When you say one o'clock, which one o'clock do you mean? Because the fox, the foxes, the fox? The clocks. The, 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 the clocks go back, don't they, tonight? Hello, Xbox cheeseburgers, why do I think of that when you say melts as Rash Appalachia? Just because cheesy melty cheese is good. Gonna smash the shit out of your window, says FIFA analyst. Um, well, that's one way of uh, doing things. <laughs> oh, pieces after that, do you want a 1v1? I don't, mate. No, sorry. I've got to do loads of foot champs games, mate. I've got a shitload to play. By the way, guys, we've got 200 legends in it. Do us a massive favor. Smash that like button. We're on our way to 100 likes. Hit the thumbs up, ready 12 away. Who's gonna be that 100 flyker? I wonder why the other tactics on my other one are so much better, though, than these ones are just the same. Basically the same. I mean, I'll have a look in a minute. Maybe they're not the same. Pretty sure they are, though. Nice one, keeps. Get in there, keeps. Um, sorry, what? Ruddy, breathe in. Keep until you pass out. I'm pretty sure that will do it. What's, go what's going on? I don't know about that advice. Oh, you got hiccups. 
All oh, right, yeah, true. That is good advice. That will definitely get rid of your hiccups and your consciousness. But I don't know about that. Right, come on then, folks. Let's start getting fucking focused now, guys. I am melting, and I need to sort myself out and get focused at the task in hand. All right, time to get my head in the game. Let's do it. Oh, these, this, this, this. Thank you, Abu Kasim says, come on, mate. Thank you so much, man. I know. Hey, Fat Chinese Gaming, what's going on? Just woke up. Who are all good over at FCG? How's you this morning? Ah, oh, shit, the bed, man. Oh, it's a fucking joke, mate. It's a bullshit, unlucky gas piss for chicken joke of like random to him on a fucking clatter. Mm. Mug. Secret Agent Potter. <laughs> Wait, Brighton or the feeling still feeling that Potter effect. Chelsea, not so much. <laughs> That's a great result as well. Yeah, Liverpool and Chelsea in the mud today. Absolutely brilliant scenes. Let's just hope United smash up West Ham tomorrow and capitalise on it big time. Because that means we could go. How many points would be? I think we're on twenty, aren't we? And they're on sixteen. So I think uh, we would go seven points ahead of the shit house of Scousers if we could get the dub. And then we'd also go above Chelsea as well, wouldn't we? Or no? I don't know actually how many points. I can't remember. Are they on 20? We, we, close the, we close the cap with the top four anyway. No Lily tonight. Pink Lily was in here at the start actually. Yeah, she's just on a uh, board in a flight, I believe. We've got some serious, absolute problems over here, and we need to address them in a minute, guys. We've got big problems. Hey, Vito Goretzka, thank you so much, bro. Pray for the super, super chat. Super, super chat. Super, super chat. Super, Vito Goretzka. Vito Goretzka, thank you so much for the super chat there, dude. He says, do you think... He says, do you think Dynamo Zagreb will win against Chelsea in the Champions League on Tuesday? Um, I mean, I hope they do, but probably not. No, but I hope they do, bud. <laughs> I hope they do. You never know. Is that your team? Is it, lad? Hootman says, "What the fuck? Why did that message post so many times?" What do you mean? Oh shit! I wasn't even looking what I'm doing. Fucking hell! This is a gash mess, man! This is so gash and horrible! We've got tactical issues! Need to change something up here. Something is fundamentally wrong over here. Something's fundamentally wrong, and I don't understand what. But something's definitely wrong. Just, just, what is the issue with these players at the moment? They're fucking shiny! Oh my god. Thank you, Aaron. He says, you got this, mate. Mm, I don't know if I do, but I need to change my tactics and everything. Something's just wrong over here. I need to find out, try and rem remember what sort of tactics I had over on the PlayStation. Just copy that. But I thought I had the same sort of tactics. But clearly not. Oh, get on, George! You can see down the line, George Best! You can see down the line! Why are you offside there? Hmm. 
when in when in uh, doubt, blame the control pad and the game pink. No, actually, Luca, I'm going to start blaming just the general uh, Microsoft. Just Microsoft in general. Not Sony. So I play all right on there. Do you know what I mean? I'm just talking about the Xbox. It's a bag of shit. Do you know what I mean? There's something wrong. Like, if this is PlayStation, I'm smashing that. No doubt. No doubt. You saw me play yesterday. You saw me play yesterday. Guys, I'm smashing the shit out of that. He's got a red card, guys, and, and we've got a pen. Come on. Do not bottle this as Luca. Right, this is a chance to get back now. He's got ten men, and we've got the we got the goal. We just need to get the equalizer. Very bad team this guy's called, and he's just gonna sub on another defender at the back. Get in there, Walker. Believe says Patty Brosnan. Vincent said you said it was shit. It is shit, mate. Talking about the flow and the feel. That's what I'm talking about, man. This controller is rough. Vinny Bullock says, I don't get red cards on PlayStation. Stop talking shite, Vincent Bullock. <laughs> <laughs> FCG says I think sometimes EA will restart your game without your permission um, what just crash the game you mean that happens sometimes yeah liver shit in the mud says Aiden Feeney great to see uh, Rajat says he does different celebration now yeah he does do a different celebration now but he needs to start going back to the Sioux all I want to see is the Sioux guys. I don't know about you, but Ronaldo does this shit where he goes like this now. Or whatever. What do you prefer, guys? The the, 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 the relaxing praying hands thing? Or whatever the fuck it is? Or the Sioux? I'm all about that Sioux life. So I hope he goes back to the Sioux. Scott Lister says, Sioux. <laughs> Sioux's iconic, says Luca. Yeah, Sioux's the one. Exactly, Rashad Felicia. He needs to bring back the Sioux. Hoopman says Sioux life. Come on, starting to get that pressure on now. He's got 10 men. And that's that's what the difference is with having Ronaldo in your team, guys. Because, like I was saying yesterday, when we played on the PlayStation, we didn't score a single header and we didn't have a chance of scoring a header from a set piece or a corner or anything. Because we didn't have a beast like Ronaldo or some tall players. We were playing with Correa and Dan Juma on my PlayStation account. Oh, you fucking dick! Ah, oh, what an absolute bloody pudding stain, man! Oh, what a toxic twat bag! Fucking absolute complete little fucking melter of fucking melt! What a complete little clunge weasel, lad! What a fucking little tiny raisin toss bag fucking tosser testicle Tuesday tosser toss bag tossing tosser toss bag! What a tosser, guys! How the fuck is this guy doing that? Just wasted everyone's time, man! Get it to two two and then fucking quits! What a twat bag! I can't stand these people, man! Now I've got to redo the game! I was about to drop him up, lad! What a fucking absolute pussy! Hey, Spooky Girl, welcome in there! How you doing? Welcome in the stream, what's going on? Hope you have a good night, welcome in, welcome in. Anybody played the new card? Says the Hoop Man, I haven't actually, but I'm sure a lot of people have been playing that, guys. Smash a one if you've been playing the, card, the new card. I've been talking a lot of card, but I'm not playing much card. Clunge Burger, says Walker. Oli Sizen. Nah, not a pack opening tonight, bro. Sadly, no packs tonight, mate. Uh, we're going to save the rewards for tomorrow, obviously, when we're back streaming. Not too bad, Spooky Cool. Actually, really stressed out, actually. For some reason, this game is just deciding to be completely horrible against me. Wait, I needed to check out the tactics. It is horrible. The tactics are just so there's something wrong, to be fair, Spooky Cool. I'm just playing like shit over here. I was so unbelievably raw yesterday, and now it's all just gone completely off, off kilter. 
Right, hang on. I don't think I, I think I had like I think I was doing. I didn't have presser. I didn't have press after possession loss on. On my other tactics, I think I have like 52 depth and 45 width, and then I go a bit wider, direct passing balance. Yeah, so uh, oh yeah, and then it's just simply instructions. Yeah, getting behind, come back and get into box. Yeah, I mean, okay, there were some slight differences actually, so I've changed it to more similar to my PlayStation tactics now, um, and hopefully that will sort us out because. The press after possession loss thing, I definitely did not have that over on the PlayStation, so that's weird. Don't know why I had that set up on here. So we'll have to change it after this game as well, but hopefully that sorts us out and helps us play a bit better then. Think I can get a better left mid? Yeah, well, I think I can too. If you've got any suggestions for chemistry so it doesn't affect anybody else, that'd be good, lad. I mean, like, um, I've got a son on the bench who is my first choice, but he just affects the chemistry a little bit. We've basically got Rashford in there for chemistry purposes. And you, Backer! And you, it! And you, Amani! Oh, excuse me, folks. Triple sneeze attack. Apologies. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake, this is getting ridiculous, mate! No! How can one go from being so fucking competent on FIFA and playing so fucking good and feeling so silky smooth like yesterday? It was like playing with butter in between my fingers, guys! It was buttery smooth! And now look at me! I can't even fucking string two passes together, mate! This hardware is shit, Capos! That's the only fucking logical explanation! I'm telling you now! What is going on? <sighs> Everything's so shit. <sighs> Already some the exact, but I should just have mine on basically like default, man. Apart from the the the, uh, the right stick player switch, I have to classic where it switches straight away. <sighs> Tom Teaser says it's bear here. I think he was in here earlier, actually, bro, but uh, I don't know if he's lurking and jerking. Oh, yeah, I do use a more seamed out camera, Baker. Yeah, good shot. Let's change that. It's a good call. I did use a different camera on PlayStation. You're, you're right, pal. You're absolutely right. I can't remember which one it was now. I think, was it co-op? 
Uh, let's try co-op, man. Fuck yeah. Good shout, man. I like your style, bud. I like your style, bud. I forgot about that. I did definitely enjoy playing with that, man. Let's try that. Co-op. Thank you, Walker Fake Free. Yeah, so let's, try, let's, let's change it to that. <laughs> Fucking hell. I, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh. Cove is the best camp for useless butter pants. Oh. Hey, Alex Walker, what's going on? And Chrissy J getting in here raw. Does need to eat a Snickers pig, Lannis, when you're hungry, not yourself. Yeah, okay, but I'm, not, I'm on a diet, mate, so I can't, can't eat a Snickers. Thanks for uh, making me think of lovely chocolatey peanutty Snickers bars, though, that I can't have. Cheers for that, Chrissy J, lad. <laughs> I'm now salivating. an absolute shitter of a fest festival Yeah, how is everybody in the chat tonight? Anyway, guys, on a scale of 1 to 69, dudes. 69 being absolutely raw and epic. And number 1 being absolutely f disgusting and filth. Let us know how your day's been going there, guys. I did play sensible soccer. Played the hell out of it. Stuart Orison back in the day. Absolutely amazing. Old school game. Loved it. Sensible soccer. Wow, what a game, lad. Unlucky or what, man? Georgie Pez hits one. And he's hit the upright, guys. It's so unlucky. What a goal that would have been. Oh. Aaron, my son, thank you very much for getting in here, raw lad, with your highlighted member comment, lad. Get in there, my son. He's once, twice, 31 months a member, and I love you, I love you. Dude, shout out to the mod there, Mr. Aaron, man. Thank you so much for uh, always being here, man, and also for being a member for 31 months, guys. That's absolutely insane. Getting on for the three-year mark, dude. That's raw, lad. Thank you very, 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 very much, Mr. Aaron. And also... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Mary. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Oh, guys, let's give a massive shout out and a happy birthday wish to Mary Homeyard in the live chat there. Shout out to Mary and Aaron as well. Thanks for being a member of this time. But happy birthday, Mary. Have a great day. Hope you're keeping well. Let's get some raw birthday cake emojis in there. Have a wonderful birthday weekend as well. Yeah, Butter Pants says happy birthday to Aaron's wife. Going for some Mexican rush out. Lovely. Enchiladas of the daddy. <sighs> What is happening, guys? What is happening on this game? But yeah, have a great day. Happy birthday, Mary. And uh, thanks for getting in always, always. Dutch Christ, what's going on, man? How you doing today?
Hey, no worries, Aaron. A hey, nice one, Rushmano, getting those birthday cake emojis in there. Good man, good man, good man. Some pancakes there too. Oh, shite. We've got some fundamental issues with the game tonight, guys, and uh, I'm not too sure what's going on. So, trying to work it out. Feels horrible. Ballon d'Or getting in there raw. Says cash pass. <laughs> Maybe that's what it is, man. Honestly, I can't think of any other logical explanation as to why it would be so different feeling. Hey, good night, Vincent. But look, thanks for getting in, mate. Enjoy the match tomorrow, lad. Hopefully we smash up Moisey's melters. <sighs> this is painful, guys. I'm sorry about this level of absolutely guff FIFA this evening. This is probably almost as painful to watch as it is to actually be involved in. <laughs> oh... Yeah, good shout, Steve Scott. Well, certainly in the future, this guy's going to be, I think, becoming one of the best defenders in the world. Why not? He's only young still. And he's just got a super good mentality. And he's proven himself day by day for a top, top team. Hopefully next season he'll be bashing, bashing the falls up in the Champions League as well. Yeah, my PlayStation tactics. I've, I know what my PlayStation tactics are. I basically just changed them on this one now. So they should be exactly the same. Thank you for subscribing there, Mr. Knight. Welcome in there, Mr. Knight. Thanks for hitting that subscribe button, dude. Appreciate you. Oh, my God. Hey, what's happening there, Preston Chu? Bo Sheep's got those bacon again emojis in there as well. Oh, yeah, so, um, by the way, Rush Mano and anyone who's ordered a Glazer's Out shirt, I'm actually going to show you guys, or I'll, uh, I'll upload it on the site, like, later or something, and show you guys tomorrow, because I've got to have a second Glazer's Out design, which, in my opinion, is just way better, because it's got a few more different colours in. Obviously, you can take your pick of which one you want, but before I ship them out and do it, I think uh, you want to see the other Glazer's Out design. Because it's better, so I'll show, I'll show you. I'll say, I'll show you, and then you can decide which one you want: the original or the improved. <laughs> Cheers, Patty Bosnan, my son. He says, "Hit the likes, bro." Thank you very much, there, Patty Bosnan. Yeah, guys, if you're just joining us, twat the old like on it. Hit the sub up. Get yourself in there, raw. I'm going to try and just get back in this with a couple of subs, subs right now. Just struggling to get anything going, man. Let's have a look at the tactics definitely after this game. I can't believe this fucking game, though. How does it not go in the back of the neck, guys? I'm trying to remain calm, but this game's just absolutely royally shitting me over. I mean, did you not? Did you not just? just oh, just, 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 just whatever. Just forget it. It's a shambles. 
All right, I'm back, guys. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. It's a fucking shit show, mate. What is happening with this BS game, guys? That's all I know. I just don't get it. Why it's so fucking bad. It was absolutely fine a short while ago. And now, we can't fucking string a fucking single... Pass together, guys. I just don't understand it, though. It just doesn't add up. <clears throat> yeah, I just put a shelf up, Lewis Storage, lad. Exactly. You have forfeit the game? Yes, I did forfeit the game there, my friend. I did, I did, I did. Uh, right, let's have a look at these tactics, guys, and change them to my other tactics that we had previously. So width is, is way off. I think I was like, maybe the width is 50. I think I had 45 width and 53 depth on the other one. The other, And then the width goes up to 52. Something like that. And then we don't have possession loss. We have balanced on a direct passing. <sighs> Formations, yeah, instructions, getting behind. Stay back while attacking. Stay back while attacking. I mean, yeah. Come back on defence. To put come back on defence. Get into box for cross on both of those. Yeah. And then it's the same as the uh, PlayStation tactics. Camera angles fault, says Scott Lister. Yeah, good shot, actually. Let's go and change that. Division rivals rewards. Oh, we'll just get option two. We haven't really played much. We've only got two mega packs, actually. So we'll just get option two. 
It's Gash. Uh, we'll open them a bit later. Okay, pack opening at 200 likes. <laughs> We've got two Gash Mega Packs. Is there an out of position pack as well? We'll do that later as well. Smash the like button, everybody. We're going to do the out of position pack and also have a mini pack opening. And when we get to 200 likes, so smash that like. There's also marquee matchups. Uh, there's marquee matchups. Is there any other cool stuff? I thought there was like an out of position guff one, though. No? Okay, maybe that's coming. That's, that's, that must be coming. Hey, get in there, Rushmano. 66.9k subscribers. Sui! That's awesome, everyone. Thank you for hitting the subscribe button, guys. If you're new to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. It's in the store, says BT Wits. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, it's a promo pack. Oh, okay. Rushmano, thank you, my friend. Thank you. I hope you're having a great Saturday night, by the way. Are you going to the game tomorrow? Oh dear, okay, out of position of central pack contained 20 rare gold players, three guaranteed to be 84 or higher, in addition to one out of position player pack on a seven game loan. 100k, ugh. <clears throat> nice, Rushmana, hopefully we smash up Moisey's melters, lad. What's your prediction, Yone? I do feel like we're just in a good run at the moment, and uh, solid will be solid defensively. I feel so. Might, we might not score that many, but just feel like we will be very hard to score against. Dynamic difficulty adjustment is about keeping players spending money. Says so design patterns. Uh, right, back to the drawing board then. So let's check out the settings and go and change the camera settings. Because that was uh, that was. I have to go back out to the main thing. So that was pretty bad. But no, no, I do. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've converted to co-op, guys. I think. Let's go to co-op. Co-op, co-op. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, 2 0 as long as Martinez plays. Yeah, Rushmano. And as long as Maguire doesn't. <laughs> if all the noobs got PEA, would make less money, says Design Patterns. True, they want you to lose. 4 1 for Man United, says Rajat Valacia. So the game has a rubber banding mechanic in it, says Design. Uh, John Hand says, How many likes so far? Let's have a little look at that, John Hand, dude. Let's take a little look, see. We are currently on 142. That's actually a raw amount, guys. <laughs> Already, we've only been streaming about an hour. That's actually a raw amount, guys. Thanks, everyone, who twi did the like button there. That's very kind of you. Nice one. Oh, nice one there, Aaron, as well. He's put a link into the chat for my uh, tweet, man. Thank you very much, Aaron, for going in there raw, lad. And Big Bear, there he is, my son. Raw 142. I knew you were in here at the start anyway, weren't you? But Big Bear, great to see you again this evening. What's going on now? How goes it? Mohamed Sky says, bring Haaland. He play on your style. Do you know what, though, Mohamed Sky? I mean, he might be a player that would be good for me to use because he's good on the game and everything. But I think I'd probably rather play with Pee Wee Herman at the top of my pitch, mate, and just try and score with a fucking non-footballer who's got, like, a 10-rated card. Because... He's a city scummer lad, and he embodies all the city scummer vibes, which I don't want to embody. So I'm not going to use that twat. Simple as that. I could pack 99 rated Haaland that's accidentally been given to me, that was meant to be given to Erling Haaland himself to play with an ultimate team, should he play ultimate team. What the fuck? And, um... And I still wouldn't use the, use the twat, mate, so... Cristiano Ronaldo missing sitters. Is this the real life? Or is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide with no escape from reality. 
Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody. <laughs> what a tune, man. Oh. Here's a sport. It's an absolute tune. Spooky call. Cool. Yeah, love that one. Oh, shit. Balas Wallach says, Pig, you need singing lessons. Well, okay, I don't actually, because I don't intend to be a singer, my friend. I like to sing for fun and pleasure. Now, if you don't like listening to me, maybe you need hearing adjustment sessions, bud. <laughs> you know? Maybe that's what we need to get to the bottom of. Never mind my singing lessons. You need to have years tested, my son. These are angelic tones, lad. Angelic tones. It's so in land. What's going on there, mate? How's it going? It's so in land, mate. Oh shit! The fucking bed, bed, Pavel Nedved, mate. Oh God Almighty! Oh in land, man. Thank you. Please save me, lad. He says, "What time are you streaming till pig? I'll, I'll have some packs for you, mate. Oh, nice, mate. We got all in land. The fucking scouts are in here with some packs and potions for us, lad. Don't need no packs and potions to put another sim in a banner on the block like where part time banner and all that. A <laughs> hey, nice one, mate. Get in there, bro." Everyone, please do get some love hearts in there for Lani. He's got some packs for us. Oh, nice. It's outside there, guys. Get to you. It's fucking offside. Come on. Oh, no. What have I done here, guys? Oh shit! Oh, by the way, I forgot to say, Owen Lan, lad, as well. Um, in regards to the um, the Xbox, uh, you know, um, thing and everything. Just put that aside for a second, though, and let's just all laugh at Liverpool, mate. <laughs> Ninth place, mate! In the mud, my son! Mid-table melting mediocrity from Liverpool! Oh my god! Jurgen Floppy Cloppy Jalopy's having a right flop fest, guy! What's happening there, mate? Oh, goodness me, dude! Oh, no! What's happening with your team there, Owen, lad? <laughs> hey, Cake Cadet, what's going on, you legend? He says, wow, picking that poll rating is mad. What's that then, bro? 96% have smashed the like. That is pretty raw, actually, mate. I like your style. Hey, Cake Cadet, how you feeling, man? You're better now. What's happening, Cake Cadet, you don. Owen says, I know we are shit. What? Do you know? Do you have any ideas why? It can't be as simple as, oh, you know, Mane's gone. <laughs> you know, it's not, not as simple as that. Why is the reason why they're so shit now? Virgil van Dickhead looking like he's been reading out the Harry Maguire playbook, etc. Fuck's going on, man? Has Floppy Cloppy Jalopy lost it? What's going on? Thank you, Adrian Morris, for subscribing to the channel, Adrian. Hey, you, Adrian. Hey, you, Adrian. I did it. But you know what they say, Owen Lan, to be fair? And in regards to Jurgen Klopp, let's give him a little bit of credit here. You know what they say? Ain't nothing gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you can hit. It's about how hard you can... Get hit and keep moving forward and eventually win one Premier League title every 30 years. That's how mediocre average guest testing once every three decade winning's done. <laughs> anyway, oh. Uh... <laughs> Exactly, Davey. <laughs> nice one, Jared. <laughs> Jamie Carragher's doing so great on BT Sport. Could be why he's not doing so great. There you go, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Mohammed Sky. <laughs> oh, Owen Land, mate. Scott, my internet, man. I'm bored, stiff. Oh, shit. 
New one is getting fitted in two weeks. Like, I had to pull out the first tournament of the year. Gash been playing on hotspot, but it's unplayable. Like. Oh, that's actually really Gash. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That is shite. You can uh, play on the hotspot, though. You, so you haven't got any um, neighbours who you could just knock up and say, you know, hey, any chance I can have your Wi-Fi code for just a couple of days? <laughs> Nunes is so awkward, says Mark P. Liverpool back in the doldrums now, Piggy. It's great. It is amazing, isn't it? Kick it out. I'm, I'm loving it. Yeah, Jamie Carragher going into hibernation. That's right, Stuart Orlison. <laughs> Next, Murato says, Marky P, you just packed in for him, Castagna. Go on, Jonathan Gallagher. Well, how's your team coming along now then, Johnny Gals? Get it in the Discord, my son. Unless it's absolutely embarrassing, in which case, don't bother. Napoli next for Liverpool. Oh, man, says Raja Palacia. Yeah, Liverpool going to get drubbed. Liverpool back in the doldrums. <laughs> Long may it continue. Let's just hope United win and capitalise on it, because otherwise, it, you know, we want to be having the last laugh to the end this weekend, definitely. Chelsea slipping up is a big result for us too. Darwin Punes has come to life since got this done. Uh. <laughs> Darwin Punes. Hey, look who it is. It's Zane Miassi. Get in there, Zane Miassi. Zane Miassi. Zane Miassi. Zane Miassi getting in here raw. Getting in here raw. Zane Miassi's getting in here raw. Zane Miassi. Zane Miassi. Zane Miyassi getting in here raw. Getting in here raw. Thank you for the 899 Super Chat, Zane. Let's get some Sues in for Zane Miyassi. He comments, Pig, did you see the Newcastle game? They are playing the most entertaining football in the league. Callum Wilson was very underrated and bought players at great prices. Yeah, they've actually done really well, haven't they, with their recruitment? They've signed some good players. Also, you've got to just credit Eddie Howe. A lot of those players were the same players that were there last season and stuff. I know people like Shitty Almiron, and he's been doing really well lately. People like that, and he's been managing to get the best out of them. I think you've got to credit a lot to Eddie Howe and the recruitment that they've done there as well, yeah. But Eddie Howe's obviously the biggest factor. But the play, he signed the right players. He signed good players. Not even ridiculous prices for these players, as you say. I can't credit them highly enough, mate. They are doing a great job. I mean, they've, they've got all this Saudi money. They've got all these billions. You know, they're going to be the new shithouse, gastastic club that's uh, high on money, low on morals. But at the same time... You gotta say Eddie Howe and his lads, they are doing a great job. They are doing a great job, yeah. Hey, uh, uh, how come there's no Sue's in there for Zane Miassi, guys? What's up? Super chat for Zane Miassi, everybody. Hey, let's get a Sue in there for Zane, guys. Have some respect. <laughs> hey, uh, Nut, thank you very much for the raw emoji. How are you getting on as well? The Nut, the legend, the man, the myth, the Nut. It's Nut. Nut, how's it going, my son? I hope you're having a great night tonight, Mr. Nut. Thanks for the sues for saying there. Appreciate you guys. There we go. There we go. There we go. United forever. What's good? I, I feel like I'm playing like the cake cadet tonight, guys. You know, what's going on? Cake cadet, are you, uh, are you playing these games for me remotely? Actually? Is that, is that what's going on? This uh, I haven't seen a performance like this since the last time I uh, tuned into one of Cake's streams, you know? So... <laughs> John Shock says, not, not, don't bust yourself. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Uh, me asked you with another super, super chat. Super, super chat. Super, super chat. It's super Zaymi Yassi. Zaymi Yassi getting an ear raw. Super chat. Zane, thank you, bro. He says, they are playing entertaining football like the Keegan days. Certainly more than Spurs. Yeah, well, that's not hard, is it? I mean, you could probably put a team full of consisting of players like Jesse Lingard and then a Bernard Matthews turkey, etc., and a bunch of headless chickens in there and play better football than that shite. Um, but no, fair enough to you, Zane Miassi, lad. They are playing really well. Are you a closet Newcastle scummer in disguise? Are you a closet Newcastle scummer in disguise? I don't know, but hey, Zane, thanks very much for the super chat again there, bro. I, I, I'm just glad you're not praising Arsenal anymore, mate. And you're on to praising Newcastle and other teams. Fair play to you. You've realised just how bang average Arsenal Holands will be eventually here this season under Arteta Charteta. 
And finally, you've decided not to keep praising Arsenal. You've just moved on to a different team. I like your style, bud. I like your style. He's now found his new team to support. It's uh, Newcastle United. Zami Assi's now a Geordie fan. Did you know that, guys? I don't blame him, to be fair. That's what glory hunters are all about, isn't it, mate? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's only interest to be an Arsenal fan in the top of the league. <laughs> No, I'm kidding. Zane's, Zane's in going in there. Ham. Win, lose, or draw, to be fair to him. <laughs> Amy Smith, what's going on? Said you started off so good last night, Piggy. Got to play your quick passing game. Yeah, yeah, if only I actually could. If only I actually was able to do that based on where my players are and their tactics and this controller and stuff. Now, I mean, what a shambles! How easy not put it in? Let's try this Saul off melt for Ronaldo then. Let's get Sun on for Rashi, Valverde for Paqueta, Hakimi for Walker, and let's just go Modders for Sadorf as well. Try and unlock the defense a little bit here. Come on, let's get a hashtag. I believe in there, guys. Just a couple of mins left. Unfathomable how ridiculous this game is and how much it stitches me up. You don't see that clearance off the fucking line there. Oh my god. Yeah, should have invested this summer. We never Champions League. I mean, you did sign Darwin Nunes for a hundred million, though, Owen Lan, mate. And uh, didn't when did Luis Diaz come in? Oh no, he came in. He came in earlier, didn't he? Did he? Yeah. Never mind. But you did spend a hundred mil on Darwin Pounes, though, didn't you? Like, didn't you, my son? Hundred million for Darwin Pounes? Ah, oh, that's a robbery, that is, my son. <laughs> uh. All right, five minutes to go. Yeah, he was January, Scott Lister. Yeah, he came in earlier, actually. Yeah, but still, though. <laughs> no, 100 minutes on Darwin Punez. Oh, no. It's game over. That's not how you spell constable, by the way. Sub to fly me United. He says, personally, officer constable pig should report clock missing. Mayday, mayday. <laughs> All right, okay. Last attack of the game for me. And it's the shittest one you've ever possibly known. <sighs> I mean, we just whimpered out there. There's no other word for it. It's a whimpering from us, guys. It's a fucking absolute shit show, though. How many times are they going to stitch us up with the bullshit finishing, though, man? It fucking infuriates me, man. It's a fucking shit out of an opportunity to fucking chance, guys. It's fucking bullshit, mate. <laughs> fucking bullshit, it is. Oh. Fucking bullshit, man. <laughs> Gotta take my frustrations out somewhere. Chopping pieces of cardboard in half is surprisingly zen. <laughs> no, it's, take that boxers lead workman. Yeah. Hacksaw pig dog. <laughs> oh. What a bad night at the office. Our first eight games yesterday on PlayStation, we won seven. 
on Foot Champs. Seven wins, one loss. That was our first eight games. Tonight, four games, four losses. The Amazon Cardboard Massacre is too all of a sudden. Texas Pig Store Massacre is too bad. Okay, Kira says we need to get a pig out of the garage before he kills himself. <laughs> oh, Andrew says stay away from pigs this Halloween. The chainsaw is out. Dutch guy says 90, 90% sure. One third of the Super Chat money actually goes to YouTube. Yeah, it, it does. Dutch, Dutch guy indeed. Yeah, it does. Uh, hi, WWE Network brothers. More players on PlayStation makes it easier, says Big Bear. I, I don't know, man. I feel like it's actually a hardware thing with me. I feel like the controller is just better. I, I'm more at one with the PS5 controller. Might, that might sound silly. But like aiming, shooting, passing. Everything seems more slick for me over there. It really does. And I, I, didn't, I could only put it down to the controller. I don't know what I'm going to do yet, Rash Affiliation, my son. I don't know if I'm going to dress up or dress down or do... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. <sighs> right, okay, guys. It's time to uh, play the game. It's time to play the game. Uh, it's time to play the game. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I don't know if you've seen this thing. I've got the top of the chat now, guys. It's like a little ticker for people who become members and uh, super chatters. I thought it was a nice touch. Just I see other people doing that. I've never actually had it on there. There it is. So you can see Zay Miassi's name stays on there because he sent a super chat. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> it might just be annoying. It's probably a hindrance that gets in the way of the screen. But hey, look, we're going to roll with it for this stream anyways to see what, see what it's like. Right, I'm going to have a cheeky cigarello time here, folks. Yeah. Definitely. Oh shit, man! Hang on, hang on. Oh come on, no! You cannot be serious. You don't see it, Rajat Valicia. Smash a one if you can see it, guys. Smash a two if you can't see it. Surely you can see it, mate. It's in the top right above the controller layer. You see, lad? It's on the screen, mate. Of course you can see it. Have a Tunnix. Yeah, good shout. Tunnix is the, the way forward, mate. Have a couple of Tunnixes and it just gives me power like Popeye with spinach. Problem is, I'm on a diet, mate, so I'm, I'm just trying to avoid Tunnix tea cakes at the moment. Scotty Lister. Thank you, WWE Network Brothers United Forever and everyone. Um, thing is, though, Hawk0095, you say that, but I was playing with this exact same formation and tactics over on the PlayStation yesterday. Won seven out of the first eight. I don't, I just feel like this, maybe it's, the, I guess maybe the tactics and stuff for this set of particular players. Oh, what is this all about, though? You know, like, shh, it, oh, that should be buried, though. It just should be buried. Like, that would be buried yesterday. It just would. I would have buried that yesterday on a different controller, man. I don't get it. Oh. I think there is a difference, Big Bear, because if you're playing on the PlayStation with crossplay on, you are coming up against people with Xbox, and and their their hardware is shit, mate. Their controller they're playing with shit. So they're at a disadvantage, bud. I'm an, I was at an advantage yesterday playing with my PS5 controller, mate, smashing everyone up. That's right. That's right, guys. I turned off crossplay today because I don't want to be at disadvantage against PlayStation controller people. That's right. <laughs> Seriously, though. Oh, finally, get in there, Cristiano. Is that the first goal I scored all night, guys? It might be. Oh, no, I scored a penalty, didn't I? Sue, come on, get in, guys. Let's get those goal emojis raining down. The breakthrough. It's finally happened. Yeah, Big Bear says, I believe in your theory, to be honest. Well, there's got to be something to it. I mean, ultimately, somebody's hardware's got to be slightly better than the others. And I don't mean, like, how the game's necessarily running, but maybe, you know, a factor of how the game's running, but also input methods, you know, all that sort of stuff. That's going to, that's going to impact your performance and make a difference. So, just something about me playing on PlayStation 5, I am better. Even though I've got a much worse team on PlayStation, I'm a better player over there. And I can't really make the head nor tail of it. I can only put it down to the hardware at this stage. 
Oh, fucking hell. What a finish. Raj does his agree with Pig's explanation. Thank you, Rushmano. He says subscribe to the channel. Oh, yes. You may well be here lurking and jerking. But you ain't really part of the Piggy Posse unless you hit that subscribe button, guys. It's free to subscribe. So smash the subscribe. Help us get to 67,000. We're nearly there, actually. We're on 66.9. So help us get to 67,000 by hitting the like button and also hitting the subscribe button. Sub 2 says, that's what Mrs. P says. It's down to the hardware, Don. Um, well, actually, most of the time she's saying it's down to the software, lad. Because, uh... Erectile dysfunction. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I don't have a floppy jalopy cloppy downstairs. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> Oh, Owen Lance, sorry, mate. He says, can you open my packs at 2 a.m.? Yeah, definitely, mate. 2 a.m. at the latest, bro. Yeah, we'll go in there raw, lad. We'll try and do it a bit before, actually, Owen Lance. But, yeah, 2 a.m. should be fine. Definitely at the latest. Get in there, Cristiano Ronaldo. Sue, come on. Viagra for Piggy, says Alex Walker. You haven't lived until you've juiced. <laughs> oh, dear. Come on, Kinnan and Mbappe makes it 3-1. We got our first win of the night, guys. It's sad. So sad. It's a rage quit situation. And it's getting more and more rage quit worthy. Come on, look at that. We've got the win, guys. Can we get a massive dub in there? Hola. Hola, senor Dubbington. Hasta luego, Senor Dobbington. Mi casa su casa, Senor Dobbington. Hey, John Victor, thanks for hitting the subscribe button. Johnny Victor, welcome aboard the Bacon Express. <laughs> Appreciate that, John Victor, dude. Nice one. You think so, Hoopman? He thinks it's the start of something special. Factual says sub two. <laughs> start of something special. Very good, very nice. It's very good, very nice. Hello there, Chicken Nugget. He was toxic as Amy Smith. Yeah, well, we dealt with him. We dealt with the melts. Yeah, Mars Bob, up the Blues Brothers. Cracking movie, though, eh? Guys, find out the number. I think it was Blues Brothers 2000, or maybe it was the old Blues Brothers movie. One of the Blues Brothers movies, right? They had um, they had the world record for the most cars crashed on screen. Find out how many cars they crashed, guys. Somebody Google it. Blues Brothers car crash record or something, right? It's insane, man. Like they literally have the world record for the most cars crashed on a on on a movie screen, basically. I think it was like. 500 cars they crashed with some shit. Nutty bastards. Ah. Oh. Yeah, the police cars at the end. Crazy says Luca. Yeah. Nutty stuff. Oh, it was 104 cars destroyed in a single movie. Right, okay. Yeah, sorry, I over exaggerated a bit, a bit there. 104 cars destroyed, though. That's pretty good going. <laughs> Just casually destroying a hundred cars. What a fucking waste, though. You know what I mean? That's a like hundred people. A hundred and four people could have had those cars. No, they're just going to mash them to bits for the sake of uh, a sequence in a movie. Okay, then. The Hoop Man says, did people see that Henry Cavill leaving The Witcher show next season and has been replaced by Liam Hemsworth because um, Cavill returning to Superman? I didn't see that, Hoop Man. You know why I didn't see that, bug? Because I'm not a 14-year-old girl, mate. 
But fair play to you though, pal. <laughs> Up on the old current events. <laughs> I'm playing Johnny Sins right now since I create anger. Ah. Oh. John Hans has 104 vehicles. It's pretty impressive. Yeah, 104. Nutty. Has that been beaten since? Surely that's been beaten since. Actually, probably not because they just probably just see like CGI like loads of cars in there these days and just use a couple and then just CGI the rest. For any big crash sequences, it wouldn't surprise me. Probably hasn't been beaten. I don't know. You'd think like one of these crazy movies these days would have beaten that. I don't know. Oh no, guys. It's 1 a.m. We're under attack by Philip Jones. Guys, watch out, everybody. Please do get your favorite Phil Jones emoji in there to ward off the evil spirits of Phil. Otherwise, we may well come unstuck here and concede an OG or something because Phil Jones gives us a curse of the, of the Phil variety. So everyone get some Phil's in there to ward off the evil Phil's. Ah. Oh. I'm going to have to turn that off, guys, because he's just doing my head in there. I'll turn it off. What's the record? It's actually one and four at the moment, pal. We're having a stinker. Definitely a winnable game here, though. We just need to like get our heads together here. We could get back on track with this one. Wow, Jamie, that's a very good question, actually, Jamie. Dude, he says, does this happen two times today as it's going to be 1 a.m. twice? Mate, that's so interesting. I don't know, actually. We'll find out, won't we? Dude, that's a... Oh, what the fuck? We'll find out, won't we, guys, if this Phil Jones is going to rock up, guys, again in an hour's time. And the clocks go back. Good shout. That might actually happen, Jamie Todd. Can you imagine double fill? We'll have to call this the night of two fills. You know what I mean? Oh, no. Pig turnarounds on the cards. Thank you, Insidious Inflation Broski. I hope so, man. We just need to... Oh, shit. Good save, though, from Alisson. Get in there, killing Mbappe. Come on, guys. Yes, mate. And we got the breakthrough. Come on, guys. We're winning. Good stuff. Oh, no. Oh. Yeah, Luca, building a little bit of momentum, lad. Maybe I was just completely off of it, but I also don't think that press after possession loss was working well with my tactics. Once we changed it a little bit, put it balanced again, we seem to, well, surprisingly get a bit of balance again. Yeah, that Mbappe is so good, isn't he, Big Bear? I know. So lucky to get him, man. Obviously, yeah, he's untradeable, but what a pull that is. Pretty much sorted us out for the whole the whole game, which build the team around Ronaldo and Mbappe until there's some more nutty cards coming out later on, like some real high 90s and stuff. But I'll probably just replace him with... Probably just end up placing Ronaldo with some sort of beastly Ronaldo version. You know there's going to be an informed Ronaldo at some point, and then there's also that other Ronaldo, isn't there? That, that other one, whatever it is. Stuart says, Pig, well, do you think Mbappe will leave PSG? Surely it has to be soon. I don't know, but I mean, what the hell's going on there? I thought you had some sort of stake in the club and stuff, and he was getting hundreds of millions. Yeah, I really don't know. Um, I don't know if they could reach an amicable agreement to part ways, but I would have thought he'd be there at least a few more seasons, but obviously he's playing silly buggers at the moment isn't he Fitz what's going on man you what Robert Roberts <laughs> yeah at least 93 Ronaldo says Rajak yeah yeah yeah
You've got Dembele in form, 75 plus. No way, that's awesome, Perchel. That's an absolute raw one. How much is he going for then? Georgie Pesk going to latch on here. Oh, come on. Lucas Paqueta unable to get that one off before the challenge comes in. Sui! Erling Pig Harland says, okay, Enger, please never call me that ever again. <laughs> I mean, Erling Harland actually seems like a bit of a bit of a lad, really. You know, got nothing against him as a person. It's just he's a city scummer, mate, and he represents everything I hate about Bullshit city scummers. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's right. Nice FCG. You got a few good players yesterday. Yeah, tell us again who you got. You got Neymar, didn't you? Who else did you get? But Neymar's a great pull FCG. That's absolutely mad. It's a really good one. I told you. I done told you to get some luck at some point, guys. It happens to all of us at some point. Even though you think you just constantly keep getting gash packs all the time. At some point, it happens. And you don't even have to spend a penny. FCG hasn't spent a penny on the uh, on the, on the the game. He's just uh, been playing and doing objectives and SBCs and playing and grinding. Good save, both done. Yeah, FCG says, yes, I'm a grinder in GTA. I'm also a grinder in FIFA 23. Well, that's the best way to be. Don't need to spend, do you? That's it. If you can get the good team set like built together just by playing the game, that's the way to do it. I mean, you have to, a little bit of luck comes in handy, of course. It's an absolute stonker from Bruno Fernandes. The Portuguese Magnifico's done me, though. Oh, what a bloody goal, man, to get him straight back in the game. That's an absolute spanker. Oh, painful, man. We were doing all right as well. So I'm going to go with the... I'm going to go with, with Ben Yedda, and we'll get Sun on. Crikey, guys. What an absolute spanker. Ugh. You got Pessy in your prime pack? No way, Liam. I still haven't got my prime packs because my account's just broken. It's not linked. It says it's linked, but I never get them. It's so annoying, man. Got Red Dembele and Benning yesterday, bro. Beastly upgrade for my midfield. Nice, Callum Karen. Nice, nice, nice. Cross as Liverpool back. Get in there. Liverpool back to shit in the bed in the best possible way imaginable. Nice SDG. You got Verratti as well. Oh, nice, so he links up with Neymar as well. That's well handy. Goal for the visitors. Number 16, Bruno Fernandes. Number 9, Cristiano Ronaldo. Number 4, Marcus Rashford. Number 15, Lucas Paqueta. And number 5, Kyle Walker. Coming onto the pitch, number 11, Wissam Ben Yedder. Number 23, Hunmin Son. Number 17, Federico Valverde. And number 13, Oh, come on. Oh, 
Oh, you already have someone that left, so Neymar Jr. will be on the bench. Wow, that's a bold move, lad. <laughs> that is a bold move. You're not even playing Neymar. Are you nuts in the head, FCG, lad? Are you mental? No, I don't actually blame you. I actually used Neymar as well. And I bought him for 500k and used him. And I preferred Sun. And Sun's like a lot cheaper. I preferred Sun myself, so I don't actually blame you, lad. But still, though, you mental. <laughs> No! Oh! Fucking bullshit! I thought I had him there! <sighs> yes! Get in there, my son! Lovely goal! Come on, guys! Get those fucking Sues in there, man! What a finish by uh, Mbappe! A little bit of silk on the build up as well! Come on! To steal the game, let's go to big one. To big goal. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Liam S. Thank you, Hoop Man. Oh, yeah, he's untradeable, is he, FCG? Oh, yeah, I remember you saying that. Gets in there, Georgie Best. What a spanking header from the lad. Go on, my son, you handsome bastard. Georgie Best getting in raw, doing raw things. He's the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep Georgie down. He's the best around. Nothing's going to ever keep Georgie down. George Best, the man, the myth, the legend, has done it with the winner at the end. 3-1, fine. We got the win, guys. Not bad. So our record's now 2-4. and four. It's a little bit better, but it's still awful. So, um, try and win the next one and get things back on track, I suppose. Yeah, OHB did, lad. <laughs> Ultimate shagger. According to rating, Neymar's not as good as Sun, or maybe I am wrong. Well, I mean, it depends how you play. I mean, Neymar's, Neymar's obviously a skill meister as well, but so Sun's got raw skills. So, I mean, they're both awesome. Yeah, I mean you can't you can't always go on that though, FCG. Try like basically use both players who you prefer. That's what I generally go on. Because sometimes like better rated players just don't play as well for me as shitter players for some reason. Oh nice guys, we're only nine likes away from two hundred likes. We'll have a raw pack opening soon then. <laughs> if that thumbs up, we'll have a pack opening at two hundred likes, guys. We got Owen Lamb's packs to open now. Where's Owen Lamb? Is he still in the light chat now? Oh, almost a dream start. Anderson Silva with front kick, snake paw in the face tonight, boys. <laughs> if only it was a proper MMA fight, mate. It'd be amazing. <coughs> I still think Silva's going to mash him up, though, guys. Who do you think's going to win that one, Silva or Paul? Um, if Paul wins, it's a fix. There you go. It will, it will be a fix. Oh, fucking gas start, guys. Really bad. He's got it in there as well. <sighs> <laughs> nice one, OHB. Yeah, let's hope so. Oh my god, what a lovely goal that was, guys. Get in there, Cristiano Ronaldo. Sui! It's an absolute finish and a half, and a lovely bit of play by George Aldo Best. Come on, George Aldo Bestinio. Doing all sorts.
Suey hoop, man. Lovely stuff. You think Neymar Jr. is good if you're playing 4 4 3 3? Yeah, 4 3 3. Yeah, I can imagine he would be great. Yeah. Then again, Sun. Sun should be good at that too. But yeah, Neymar, you know. It's just a good pull to have in your club anyway. This guy's getting a little bit of pressure on me here. He's got that Harlan melt in there. Good challenge there, Rafael Varane. All right, let's go drub him on the counter. Marcus Rashi. What a pass. Oh, come on. Oh, Xbox is fucking guff! <sighs> players just getting static and stuck all the time, mate. Eh? Not moving where I fucking want them to. I was not aiming at the keeper there. It's broken. Oh, shit. Keeps. Fucking bullshit game. <laughs> get in there we we're not letting that one slip by guys okay now uh, it doesn't matter we needed about 68 stabs at the cherry there but we uh, we got it at the end get in there guys get those ronaldo emojis in there suey oh, he's scoring a lot of goals for me this evening all of a sudden Oh, shit. Your favourite player on FIFA since he was at Santos. Oh, Neymar. Yeah, fair play. Well, yeah, respect. He has always been an absolute raw one on FIFA. Oh. Gashford's Gashford. Mm, okay, half time. At least we got the equaliser there, dudes. Uh, Piggy violated G. What's his HP? How do you mean? How did I violate Mr. Wolfster? <laughs> 
<laughs> that Fred looks good, doesn't he, Tom P? Man, that vibes. Yeah, I should get him, shouldn't I? Speaking of the Wolves, the Wolves have got the got the Fred, didn't he? He packed the old Fred Enio, the eighty-seven. Fat Chinese Games says basically all my new players yesterday are on the bench. Verratti, Thiago, and Neymar all on the bench except Koulibaly, the Chelsea scammer. Well, fair enough. I mean, it sounds like you've got a bit of a raw team now, FCG. Well, I've seen it to be fair, but it sounds pretty raw now like, if you've got those guys on the bench. Is there no way to get some more of those in there? Because they sound pretty good. Champs hard this weekend, man, says Sean Netterton. Yeah, bro. Started hard uh, this evening for sure. We need this dub here just to give us a record of three and four. Otherwise, it's two and five, and that's real bad. Ah. Oh. What the fuck? 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 What's going on there, guys? Why the hell did that happen just when I'm clean for about to score? Some bullshit lag switch, bullshit initiated. What the fuck? He's got a fucking lag switch on the gizzo. This guy's a stitch up merchant. What's happening now? Oh my god. What is that? It's going to disconnect. This is atrocious. What? What? How has he managed to get it to there, though, when it's happened? Where? Is it not lagging? He's got this. This, this, this twat's got a lag switch. <laughs> fucking bullshit, Preston Winky Wanky Game. Fucking Best Wars. Fucking lagger. He's a lagger, my friend. He's a fucking lagster. <laughs> Fucking laggy bastard. Bollocks. <clears throat> Shocking cheaters as ice man. I reckon he's cheating too, actually. I don't often think that, but considering there's not really, it's just issues at the, at the, at the certain time. Just I feel like he's cheating. Kitty and you guff touch merchant. <laughs> Shit. This is very annoying, guys. What a gash evens display. Right. Try and just come back into this one though. It's 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 it's, it's, it's I don't think it's unjustified this is our current score alone. Hmm. Um, yes, the regular Bruno Fernandes gold card is good this fee for Jonathan Gallagher. I like playing with him. I think he's raw, lad. I, I think he's very good, actually. Give him a try. Happens to be often an Xbox first effect. The appointment is shit, says Chris Bobble. Huh? What a shambles, eh? Xbox so difficult, it's okay, so still funny. Maybe that's what it is. Xbox gas connections. Oh, come on.
playing so bad. Fuck you! That's a lovely goal. Get in there, guys. Come on, Mbappe. It's a lovely goal. Great equaliser. Come on. Rain down goals. Lovely. Get in there, the hoop man. Thank you, Vutinator says boo. Scotty Lister bringing those goal emojis in there. And Jonathan Gallagher too. Cheers, dudes. Cheers, uh, Split Night. Split Night 2987 says, Believe. Thank you, dude. Savu Lon, how are you getting on tonight? Welcome in. Bringing those free little piggies as always. The trademark free little pigsters. What's happening, Savu Lon? Good day from Dan Under there. I hope you're doing absolutely bonza. Oh, bad shot. Why did he do that? I just regular shot didn't you know should have smashed it why has he done that bizarro world we're living in he was on as well Should have smashed it with Mbappe there. Troy played one too many pass. What the fuck, George? Oh, gosh, we got extra time. Hey, nice one, Chris Oates. CJ Buddy says 200 likes, Piggy O. Back. Pig pack opening coming up. Hope you're well. Yes, indeed, Chris. It is coming up very soon, guys. Everyone, thanks for helping us get to 200 likes. Break out some red pants emojis in the live chat. Break out the red panties. It's red panty night. The live chat's got us 200 likes, baby. Three people. Do I get 200 likes on this stream? That's amazing, everyone. Cheers, guys, for smashing that like button. Please do smash the like if you haven't done and hit the subscribe button if you're new to the show. Help us uh, get to 67,000 subscribers. We're nearly there. Not that far away. Right, okay. Um, uh, let's go with this then. So, Bacon Brigade. We've got extra time to go. Sounds like uh, BS to me, John Hand. Keep it out of the live chat, my friend. No, no, let's keep that some nonsense stuff out of the live chat like that, my friend. Just don't, I could say, don't even mention it, lad. Uh, moderate, if anybody mentions any bullshit about stuff like that, just delete it. You know what I'm saying? Smash or, or time out, you know what I mean? It's bollocks, John Hand. <laughs> How can anybody get your number from there, mate, from this chat? You're talking bollocks, lad. <laughs> anyway, Mark Harris. Thank you very much for getting in, Marky Harris. How are you doing tonight? Marcus Harris. Thank you so much, dude. Marcus Harris, lad. He says, get in, my son. Driving at the moment. Oh, you're driving the old Merc around, dude. Got the old wind in your hairs. Marky Harris, what's happening, dude? Good day to you from Dan Underbroski. Marky Harris loves a little George Best goal. Let's get him one. Oh! George!
Georgie Best, my son. That one's for you, Mark Harris, lad. Georgie Best getting in there raw. Yes, Georgie. Come on. <laughs> yeah, world, he says, Chris. That was a good one. Thank you, FCG, my man. This is good goal. Cheers, bud. Where's Owen Lan? Is Owen Lan around, guys? Where you at, Owen Lan? Calling Owen Lan. Owen Lan, come in. Paging Owen Lan. Is that a penalty? Yeah, nice one, Mark Harris. Good enough. No, it's not a penalty. Come on. Belter, says Amy Smith. Right, this doesn't look great. Let's just... Uh, be careful here. Mate, what's my defence done there? Mark up these guys in the box, guys. They're all at sea. They're all at sea, man. Come on, are you taking a piece? Just in the last bloody minute of the first half. Absolute guff. What a header though. What a header from Erling Trout Harland, mate. Fucking unbelievable. <sighs> don't really know Ghost 98, man. So, extra hour streaming. I mean, I don't want to thought so, bud. Oh shit, oh come on, what have I done? Oh fucking, what a load of bullshit design. The top of this thing with the connected cap, where it's got a bloody connected cap these days. It always falls down when you're pouring stuff into a bloody cup. It falls down because of gravity and falls to the bottom. And then what happens is the bloody Coca-Cola falls inside the cap. And then it just creates a big fountain everywhere. And it falls outside the mug, mate. And now I've got Coke on my leg. Shit design, guys. It's fucking shit. Every time it needs to be struck, it needs to not slip or something. God. Absolutely wet now. <sighs> Fucking hell. Open the bottle properly. Well, yeah, Hammerhead, I know, but it's a bullshit design. No, 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 they, they've put a little bit of plastic on there now to stop the bottle cap from being taken off. Obviously, you can twist it off still, but the idea is they've put it on there to stop you being able to lose them so that when they're recycled, the, the caps are still there with them. That's essentially what it's about. But the problem is, it creates a shit product, lad. Oh, fucking hell. And now I've got moist, wet, sticky hands. That's what she said. <laughs> Fuck, man. Bastard. And he has made it 5-4. It's an injustice, guys. An absolute injustice. I'm playing with sticky coke hands. Fucking hell. Come on! Last attack then, let's get those hashtag I believes in there!
<sighs> hey, what's going on, Hakim Abdelouie, 2008? Welcome in, bro. <sighs> it's game over, guys. We've absolutely fucking bollocks it, mate. Well, okay then, folks. That's basically it. That's basically it. Um, okay, so uh, where's Owen Lan at then, guys? <laughs> Where are you, Owen Lan? Calling Owen Lan. Paging Owen Lan. Where are you? Let's be having you. So we're going to do Owen Lan's pack open in a minute, folks. Um, don't know if he's here. He did say 2 a.m. he wanted them open by, but I guess we're too early. So um, we'll see. I don't want to log into his account and kick him off the uh, off the game if he's on foot champs or anything. So... Um, Oh, he said he's not, actually, because his internet shank. Hawk0095 shouldn't even be an extra time because of the lag. Should have won. Xbox servers are run by hamsters on a wheel. I agree, Hawk. I should have had that dub there. It's such a shame. Rashford ought to be benched as Chris Bobble Hart. Yeah, he's crap, mate. He's absolutely crap. Well, I could try Sun, Sun, but the, the chemistry uh, goes down with Sun in there. So if I put Sun in there, then, you know, he gets... It's actually not that bad, is it? It's just a walker ends up getting a little bit less. If I put Hakimi in there, does that do anything with... No, okay, well, yeah, we'll try that. I do prefer Sun. Chris Koo, thank you so much for being a seven-month member, you legend. Sue, let's get a hashtag seven months in there for Chris. Seven-month member. Da -da -da. He's the man, the man with the seven-month membership. Thank you, Chris Koo. I really appreciate you being a member for seven months. Get a seven in there for Chris Koo, 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 Koo. Thanks so much, lad. What's you been up to, anyway? Hey, how's it going, E Wizzle? It has been a while. What's happening there, man? What's happening? All good in, all good in the hood over here. Qualified on Sunday or champs on a Friday, says Alex Walker. Definitely champs on a Friday, Alex Walker. Definitely. Oh, I'm going to have a cheeky cigarette. I think um, I'll log into Owen's account regardless of whether he turns up here or not after this game. Because he did say 2 a.m. I'll just um, see if he comes in here. Surely he'll come back in here in a minute because he's expecting, he's, expecting he's expecting the thing. You know what I mean? Oh, busy the boys, 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 boys. Thank you for your highlighted member comment. Oh, busy the boys, boys. He's been a member for 15 months. Guys, get a hashtag 15 in there for Oh, busy the boys, 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 boys. Thank you, Oh, busy lad, for being a member for 15 months, man. 15 month member. Da -da -da. He's the man, the man with the 15 month membership. Seriously, man, that's a long time. Thank you very much. <sighs> Guys, bad start, real bad start. Thank you so much, Joe Busy. I appreciate you, man. And he says, like Spike. Yeah, hit the likes, guys. Thank you very much, Joe Busy. Bavish Dabu. Hey, Bavish Dabu. Hey, Chris Ku. Uh, getting the 15 in there for, for this time for a Busy. Seven for Chris, 15 for a Busy. Absolute raw bacon brigadiers. <laughs> Definitely wrong decision. I didn't even mean to press the left button there. I was just trying to finesse it and then accidentally power shot it. Yes, get in there, Cristiano. Come on. Almost made a complete hash of it there, but got the rebound. And we are now back in the game. Come on. Suey. Oh, 
Oh my god, what a save, man. Some intricate passing going on in the box, but what a save. Crikey. Oh. Good shot, Philip Chapman. <laughs> well, that's what happens, man. We're, we get in, entrenched in the game and then it goes out, man. Who's still out there, by the way, lurking and jerking in the live chat, guys? Smash a one in there if you're still here, everyone. Let's uh, see who's still in here at this time. 1.41 a.m. On a Saturday night slash Sunday morning. Fucking hell, I couldn't have done any more of the wrong thing there, guys. Both defensively and with my shitting keeper, the Liverpool scummer, who's currently got a bit of low confidence because his side's shit. And it's uh, transcending to my game here. Lots of ones in the live chat there. Lee, Chris, Baker, Stu, Tony, uh, Chris Koo, Savu Lon, Mr. Vanilla, John Hand, Ballas Warlock, Fat Chinese Gaming. Nice. Oh, that was just little, complete laziness. Get in there, Cristiano Ronaldo. Keeper's out of mare, but it doesn't matter. Get in there, Cristiano Ronaldo. His keeper should have stopped that. It was right, right near him. He's melted. Marky Wallace is in the gaff as well. Yeah, well, Ronaldo needs to... Yeah, that's it, Chris Bobber. Ronaldo just needs to find his groove and get his head down and be full-on committed and for the team. And then I think things will start coming together for him. But he's not looking absolutely fantastic at the moment, is he? Let's be honest. Oh, shit. Terrible defended again. Pumped up raw by Benzema. He's manhandled by centre-back. Why did I do that, guys? It makes no sense. I don't know why I did it. Doing some crazy crumble jump stuff right now. Oh. Just not your day. You know you're right about that, SDG. It's not, pal. You're absolutely right. It's not. Full back, spring forward. Says the Vutinator. There you go. So we're going back now, yeah. Good way to remember it there, Vutinator. I like your style, lad. This game can be so gash sometimes. It makes me want to rip my knob off and throw it out of the ceiling, fans, says Hawk0095. Well, you know, I've not quite been there, but I know what you mean.
FCG, hopefully Man United get in there, broski. Yep. Mason Scanny as well. Let's go. Let's be having you, dude. Cheeky Cigarello time. Mm. Cheeky Cigarello time. It's Cheeky Cigarello time. Cheeky Cigarello time. It is Cheeky Cigarello time, Jeffrey. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Big time. I'm in Division 4, lad. Jonathan Jackson. Who I am for real. Never meant to get dropped up 5 0. I just damn gash at the game. I'm poo. I'm sorry, Jonathan Jackson. Who I'm having a real mare today. Playing some really gash FIFA indeed. Yeah, David Cena, we're going to do a pack opening after this, but, uh, bro. Where's Owen Lahn, mate? Owen Lahn, where you at, son? Step up into the chat line. Chris Koo, thank you so much for the £10 rawness of Super Chat worthiness. What a fucking legend. Chris Koo, thanks for the raw tenor there, Chris Koo. Everybody, let's get a Sue and a Koo in there for Chris Koo. I appreciate that, lad. Sue's for Koo. Thank you, man. He says, that reminds me, good weekend so far for us, the Scousery and Chelsea's gum as result. I know, yeah, Chris, absolutely amazing. This is good vibe for tomorrow. Can't wait for the watch long pick. Come on, United. Sue. Guys, rain down soon for Chris. Thank you so much for that. That's very kind of you, mate. Thanks for the raw tenor, lad. Appreciate the tippage. That's very kind. Get in there, Chris. Coo. Appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, the watch long should be a good one, man. We're going to smack up West Ham, hopefully. Yes, Cristiano Ronaldo gets us back in the game. Bring me some good luck there as well, Chris. Coo. Thanks, dude. Fucking hell, mate. Just when you feel we're getting back in, we drop ourselves up. Brought the keeper out like a melt. Oh. Oh. Oh, fucking hell, guys. He's absolutely pumped me. Right, shall I log into Owen Lan's account, then? Or do you think I should wait for him to turn back up? Oh, here he is. Oh, and Lyon gets in there. He says, got 12k FIFA points for you there, pig. I'll send you my account details on Instagram, mate, on PS5. Oh, no. It's on PlayStation 5 as well. Fuck. Uh, okay, then. That's fine. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> we'll do that then. I'll just go over to... I'm going to open my packs now then on Xbox first then. Then we'll go over to PlayStation. Okay. Right. Nice one, Owen. Let's do that then. So... Everybody, call in the good luck goat with me. I'm just going to go clean these objectives. Get some good luck emojis in there. Just got a couple of gash packs here to open ourselves. Nice one, Owen. Yeah, lad. We're going to open 12k FIFA points on Owen's account. Get some raw vibes, man. Raw vibes. Owen, Nani, are you coming for the raw hide? Sweet, cheeky little few gold packs that they've just given us. Happy days. No! Oh, fucking hell. It's a fucking disaster, guys. It's a disaster movie scene. 
Fuck, man. Shit. Bollocks. Wanker. Piss. Fuck it. Everything's fucked. Nightmare. I need a towel. Shit. No. Oh, fucking Somehow managed to fucking bottle my cup off the bloody table. Shit! Fucking hell, I managed to bottle my bloody Rocky cup off the table onto the floor and all over the bloody desk. And it's fucking completely shattered everything up, guys. And now my phone, a new controller, a completely doused in fucking Diet Coke. And the mouse, look at the mouse, it's fucking sopping wet, guys. It's fucking sopping, my mouse is fucking sopping, mate. Shit! Oh, there's a big puddle on the floor and I've broken my favourite Rocky mug as well. Fuck! Shit! It's not my night tonight, man. Look, I've fucking broken the fucking hand off it, guys. My fucking Italian stunning Rocky mug. Shit! Oh. Jesus! Fucking hell. <sighs> Fucking disaster. Bear with me, guys. It's a fucking absolute river on my desk. Lucky it didn't go all over the laptop. Jesus. What a crumble job, man. Fucking butterfingers. <clears throat> right. Okay. I guess that'll have to do for now, guys. Oh, and then the floor is just a puddle. The floor's a fucking puddle! Jesus. Right, <clears throat> okay, that'll have to do. I shat the bed big time, man. Right, okay, guys, let's do this. It's back open in time. Can we get some good luck emojis in there, please? Fuck. Ravish the boosters on the positive side, you lost the mug but got a glass. Not really, mate, because it's also got a big fuck off crack down the fucking lip as well. Right, call it not a good omen, is it, before the pack opening, Chris Bobble Heart. Guys, please do call in the good luck goat with me from the good luck cloud. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's see if this mouse still works. Thankfully it does. Don't know how. But it does. Oh, 
Philip Chapman says, Mr. Peace, possessions are fighting back. Right, let's open up these packs then, guys. Everyone, thank you for being here. Mikato, thank you very much for being a member for 14 months, bro, and getting your highlighted comment in there. Yeah. He's, He's once, once, twice, 14 months a member. And I love you. I love you. Mikato, thanks so much for being a member for 14 months. What a don lad. And check out Mikato's channel on YouTube, guys. He's a new YouTuber. Go and give him some love. Search Mikato up and give him a sub up. Mikato, thanks for being a member for 14 months. He's got the Ronaldo goat in there. Thank you so much, dude. Hashtag 14 for Mikato. Appreciate the support, man. Official Ahmed96 has just subscribed also. Thank you for hitting the subscribe, lad. All right, let's open up these gash packs. What's up there, TJ? How you been, man? How you been, TJ, getting in here raw? What's going on, TJ? I think it's 2 a.m., Jonathan Gallagher, so in four minutes' time, it's going to go back to 1 a.m. Pretty sure. Comable guff from a 75-plus guff pack. Right, we need praying hands, four leaf clovers, goats, rainbows, fingers crossed emojis. We need some good luck vibes. Oh, shit. He, oh, God. The Xbox controller's all covered as well. I didn't even see. Fucking hell. The bloody top of it's all moist. Oh, the trigger is moist. When Snake Paul versus Lengthy Silver. I'm not, I don't know actually, but I think Ring was like 4 a.m. or something. I was going to think about doing a watch long for it, but I'm not going to, mate. It's uh, it, I've got to get up reasonably early tomorrow as well, do some stuff, and then the game's on. And uh, I'm not going to do. I'm not going to not going to do that. To be fair, plus it's 18 pounds 95. Fuck that. I mean, obviously I wouldn't watch it, but if I was doing a watch along, I would want to like obviously. You know, obviously, have a proper feed of it, otherwise it'd be shite. But I'm not paying 19 quid to watch that fucking clown show. You know what I mean? Fuck that. But you can't rely on gas streams anyway. But anyway, I don't want I'm too tired anyway, guys. And I've got, got shit to do uh, before the game, so I can't. Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Yeah, exactly, Ballas Warlock. But I wouldn't want to do a watch along and rely on streams, because when I've ever done that before, when I've done that before, it's just a shit show. Sometimes it dips in and out, and then... You know, people are trying to do a watch. It's just shit, mate. You need to have a proper feed to do a stream, lad. <clears throat> right, couple of gash mega packs coming up here. And we've got a trippy, eh? Super chat. Nice one, Owen Lani. I got your deets through. I'll log in in a second. Do that raw 12k pack opening, lad. Jonathan Kemp. Super, super chat. Super, super chat. Super, super chat. It's super Jonathan Kemp, lad. Jonathan Kemp, thanks so much for the super chat. I really appreciate you, dude. Get in there. No comment to go with it. Just pure love vibes. Quit playing those love vibes with me. Thank you, Jonathan Kemp, you legend. I appreciate you. Let's get some sueys in there for him, everybody. The Kempinator. Thank you for that, Jonathan. That's very kind of you, mate. Victor Osserman. Right, have we got one more gash pack over here, or is that it? Oh, my God. That was absolutely awful, guys. Oh, God. All right, here's our gash preview pack. Then we're going to go over to PlayStation, open up Lanny's packs, la. It's going to be fucking raw. All right, yeah, screw this. Let's go change over to PlayStation. Eh? Get on the nice controller anyway and do this pack opening there. Okay, nice. Right, that should just have changed over. 
Yeah, we're all good. We're all good. Right, how do I do this? And I've got to log into a Winlands fucking deep slayer. Give me two minutes, pals. Just got to turn the old guess or game capture off, la. Play as a one-time guest. Oh, no, I fucked this. Oh, yeah, sign in with your account, please, and create a new one. Okay. Oh, no, just do it as a one-time thing, yeah. All right, let's try that. Oh, nice, we could just sign in for one time, that's good. Right, okay, let me put his deets in then, guys, and then log in. You can't see, can you? No. Shout out to the legend Owen Land, by the way, mate. Are you, st are you here, Owen, mate? Where are you at, Owen Land, lad? Let's all get some laughy face emojis in there for him, mate, for his fucking team, lad. <laughs> all right, hang on. Okay, so you can't see, can you guys? No. All right, let's put his passport in. Let me read it out for you guys. <laughs> I'm just checking. Right, two-step verification. Owen, you're gonna have to send me the uh, the verification code that has just popped up for you in your text message. <laughs> I think so. If you could send me that on Insta, that'd be raw, lad. Verification code needed, son. One a.m. again, longer stream. To be fair, we usually we always stream to at least like. I don't know, usually like 2 a.m. Tonight's going to be probably shorter than that, though. But, yeah, usually we do stream to at least 2 a.m. Owen, mate. Okay, I suppose you can put it in the chat then, yeah. Didn't think about that. <laughs> Good shout. Didn't think about that. <laughs> nice one, Owen, Lan. Verifying. Okay, we're in, guys. Nice. We are in. Let's get this back up on the screen then. Okay, beautiful. Oh shit, it's gone back to 1.03 a.m. by the way. Did you notice that, folks? It's 1.03, it's one hour, it's winter time, yeah. So it's now 1 a.m., guys. It was 2 a.m., but now it's 1 a.m. again. We've lost an hour there, guys. Or well, we gained an hour, should, should I say. So it's actually 203, really. <laughs> yeah. It is 1 a.m. again for Piggy. He will make it to 316. Oh, hell no. Oh, shit. Uh, loud noises. Loud noises that are happening. We're going to talk over for a little while. Boom. Shiggity shake, shake the room says boom, boom. Shake, shake the room. Boom, shake, shake, shake the room. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, boom! Uh, oh, shit! Come on! Stop it! Hang on a second, let's get the audio here and turn the shit on! Where, where is it, my friend? Oh, no! Uh, where are you? Where, why can't I see it, guys? Fucking hell! Oh, there it is! Fucking hell! <laughs> oh, in answer, sorry, mate! Oh, oh no! I don't know, HB, what shite music is, lad. More time for the pigmeister. Yes, Jonathan Kemp. Okay, so I guess you would love that Salah, wouldn't you, really, Owen Lani? Right, he's got 12k. Let's check out his team, first of all. Okay. So, wow, well, yeah. I mean, it's a pretty good team. He's got very much a Scouse-inspired Scouse setup here with a few scousey Aries, but it's a good team, man. Can't really complain with that, can you? Nice. Everybody give his team a rating out of 10. Obviously, he's missing a right mid. Needs to put a right mid in there. But other than that, it's a good solid team. I'm going to give it a raw 8.5 out of 10. Nice Cancelo red pick there. That's a good one. 
Check the complete mode on the menus, bro, says Owen Lahn. You what? Check the compete mode on the menus, bro. Oh, shit. What the fuck? Play a 1v1 match with settings used for competitive play. What the fuck's this, man? This mode is used for FIFA 23 Global Series qualifiers. Oh, shit. Oh, and I... <laughs> Okay, all right, interesting. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing, the pro qualifiers. Oh, shit, right, fucking hell. So, basically, you have to be a Don to even have this tab, right? That's deep, man. That's pretty deep, dude. So, you've got this compete tab here, lad. Should I just play a game for you now, bud? Smash your one if I should play a game on Owen's account in the pro series. <laughs> just checking. Right, let's go to... Uh... Show us this tactics as Lee Workman. Uh, okay, uh, I better not actually, in case you know, because in case his opposition's watching, do you know what I mean? I better not. Let's be respectful of Owen Lahn's pro capabilities here, my friends. Right now, it's pack opening time. We're going to get stuck into the store. Owen, what do you want to spunk and all your money on, lad? And how much do you want to spend? So we've got these promos. Is this one out of position essentials pack? You know, rare players packs, obviously tradable. Gives you a four point three percent chance of out of position, fourteen percent chance of team of the week. Start recording it, mate, on your PS5. Will it not record it on my PS5? All right, I'm recording it, but I don't know if it records it to my PS5. Um, I'm recording it on it. I'm trying to... Is that right? Is, I, I don't know. I, I've done it anyway. Right. <laughs> Um, you share play that. Yeah, that would probably be a good idea. So what ones do you want then, Owen? Open the 100k, then spam the 50s. Okay, mate, let's do this. All right, everyone, can we get some good luck emojis in there for Owen Lan, everyone? Going to open this 100k pack, then spam these 50s. Let's do this. Good luck, Owen, you legend. I hope you get something absolutely amazing. Thanks so much for uh, letting us open these packs, lad. You're a fucking legend, mate. It was save on your console, surely. I don't know, probably OHB, yeah. Might record in the cloud, though. Yeah, maybe Jonathan Kemp. Maybe, right. Okay, let's do it. Good luck, Owen. I hope you get something baller out of this. So these packs are contain 20 rare gold players. Um, this is three guaranteed to be rated 84 or higher, in addition to one out of position player pick on seven games loan. So you get a loan player, but you've got hopefully a good chance here. Good luck, my friend. Here we go. 1,500 FIFA points down the shitter. Are you schnerious right now? So, Bamiyang, that's, that's, that's Gash. That's absolutely Gash. I guess it could have been worse. He's not actually that bad, but it could have been definitely worse than that. Foden as well. Foden getting in here raw. And Obama's. I mean, you know, it could have been worse. Right, and then you've got Hernandez as well, which is a bit shit. It's it's a shit pack, guys. £11 for Aubameyang. It's an absolute disgrace. L says 21 XP. David Moyes is in the gaff. He's got a Depay as well. 85. I mean, not great, guys. Definitely not good. Let's open up this one of three. Oop. Lone players. Out of position players. Lone player. Wow, nice. Xiao Cancelo. Okay, well, he's already got the Cancelo left back, but I'm guessing he wants to take Xiao Cancelo. Let us know what you think there. Oh, in land, mate. You need Mbappe ASAP, says Owen Lan. Yeah, we're going to get you in. We're going to get you in. Cancelo. Yeah, let's get Cancelo, mate. Okay, nice. Right, okay. Well, that was a gash pack, guys. Don't recommend them at the moment. Nah. Just put everything on your transfer list when we can. Substandard game and PS5 always recorded. Just need to remember to save the clip before you switch the game off. All right, yeah. Good point. I like your style. Right then. Um... Spam these 50Ks. Let's do this. Rare players pack. So these ones guarantee you an 83 plus. 4.3% chance of an out of position player. 14% chance of that team of the week. Killian Mbappe. Well, no, not him. Obviously, he's got like a 0 0.0000001 times to the infinite of 65 fucking Virginian 69 dudes. A chance of getting one. Nice. Yesterday you got the new Theo promo and CR7. No way, Sub2. Those are some raw pools, lad. That's really good. Tradable, were they? Get in there, UK Nation PS4 gamer. 
oop players more like poop players. Am I right? Says he from money. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> right, let's try and get let's try and get Owen a cheeky little kid in or something raw here. So spamming these fifties. Ah, come on now. Mm, shitters, guys. Fernando. Just call my name. Just call my name. Fernando. Just call my name. Just call my name. Fernando. Funny, funny, Fando. Funny, funny, Nando. It's a walkout. Who is it, though? Italian vibes. Verratti. Nah. <sighs> Not fantastic. Decent, though. 87. Uh, 85 summer behind it. Cheeky little Martinez there. Another Hernandez. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not great either. You got him too, says FCG. Vashati says OHB. Yeah, not great, not bad, not great, not bad. Oh, you joking me. Oh, you shitter. Couldn't have been a cheeky little Courtois in the end. Has to be this Mount Castiles. Jesus Navas, Christensen. Well, this is guff so far. Something nice around the corner, though, hopefully. Yeah, give him Mbappe EA, you tight bastards, says OHB. He needs a raw one. Tell me if you want me to change tactics or anything. Oh, no, my packs or anything. If you want me to just open them all up on these ones. Mate, this is rough so far. This is very much not up to the standard that we need. These are some serious... Cash packs all on the floor. Cash packs, give me some more. Cash packs, they're ridiculously cash. Cash packs, give Owen's cash pack. Cash packs, they make him sick. Cash packs, they're really pricks. Cash packs, EA, they digs. Cash packs. Hey, relevant, thank you for the super super chat. Super super chat. Super super chat. Super relevant. Says, hey, pig, can you do an Italian American impression? Oh, I'm a funny guy, huh? I'm a fucking funny guy, am I, huh? No, you let him explain. Funny how? Funny like I'm a clown? Funny like I amuse you? What the fuck do you mean I'm a funny guy, huh? Funny guy? Listen to me, you fucking wise guy. You're a real funny guy, huh? Go get me a cup of coffee, you fucking wise guy. <laughs> I don't know, man. Something like that. It went Irish, yeah. I fucked up there, man. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Relevant, for the £2 super chat, bro. Appreciate you. You're a real wise guy, you know that? Oh, 80 quid for this shite. Oh, and this is actually really unacceptable at the moment, isn't it, bud? Like, literally, this is daylight or nighttime robbery right now. But you just need one or two real bangers. In the last packs, mate, I wish you the very best of luck, but you know, you know what yeah, like they're a cruel mistress. For twatty again! They're actually trolling now! Fucking for twatty again! Di Maria behind it. Snake pack! Do you know what I mean? Mr. Vanilla, welcome in there, Mr. Vanilla. By the way, if you guys are new to the channel right now, smash that like button on it. Help us get to 250 likes. We're currently on 240. So we're only 10 away. Let's have a little late night bacon brigade. Like spike, bacon brigade. Assemble! And smash that like button and help us get to 250 likes. Oh, yeah. 3,500 left. I don't believe it. Hey, go on, give us Mbappe, lad, French flag! Oh, it's Flacca Demos! Flacca Demos, man. Ah, oh, Sergio Gerard Marino. It's, it's absolutely awful. Flacca Demos is awful, man. This is painful to watch, Versa, yeah? Dude, of all the ways you could spend 80 quid, though. Seriously, you have to question it sometimes, don't you? Of all the ways you could spend 80 hard-earned bones. I mean, that's for all the different lap dancers at a strip club. <laughs> Isn't it? I'd rather spend it that way. 
That poor, it's not good enough either. Hola, Berber. What's going on, Senor Berberini? How's it going, man? Welcome aboard the Bacon Express. Happy Saturday slash Sunday, Berberini. How are you doing, you absolute legend? Hope you're having a good one. Spent 80 for that. I spent zero on my team so far. Yeah, SCG. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I know. <laughs> no, it doesn't really add up, does it? You'd think you'd get more for your money on for 80 bones. You should get more than this. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Definitely should get more than this. I was about to say Spearmint would be better, Pig. Yeah, that's right, relevant, exactly. Spearmint Rhino says even. <laughs> it would be better. Okay, then. So we've got one more pack left. Owen, should we send it? He says, I kind of have to spend it because I'm a pro. Going to load another 10, 12k tomorrow. Oh, nice. Well, uh, let's know if you want us to open the packs then. We'll bring you better luck then, dude. Last pack then. That's all there is. Last pack, guys. What a rinse, though. Not even a lot of packs. 11 different packs you open there for for 80 pounds. Ruggy? Who be next? Trading standards, Piggy says, Ed. Yeah, exactly. You'd rather spend 80 quid for a night with Harry Maguire, says Fat Chinese Gaming. You and um, nobody else. <laughs> Right. <laughs> uh, am I allowed to say that? I mean, you are allowed to say that, Fatch, on his game in, yeah. You're, of course you are. You'd rather spend £80 for a night with Harry Maguire. I mean, fair enough, SCG. If that's what floats your boat, the only thing is, if I were you, I would make sure that you uh, go to a hotel that has extra large pillows, mate. Otherwise, it might be a bit of an uncomfortable experience for poor Slabo. <laughs> you know? Anyway, and extra wide door frames as well. Oh, yeah, massive shout-out to Human Gaming the other night, Ethan Wally. What an absolute legend. All right, last pack for Owen Lam then, mate. Good luck here, pal. Good luck, good luck here, pal. This ain't it. This ain't it, EA. This ain't it, EA. People are spending hard-earned cash, working hours and hours and hours during this fucking gash economic climate of guff where everything's gone up all of a sudden so much more expensive. It's expensive to live and they're loading on 72 quids worth of packs mate and getting fuck all in this day and age it's a disgrace you've got to get something more than this for it unacceptable man totally unacceptable guys rate this pack open an out of 10 bear in mind it costs 72 quid or 80 quid if you don't have the ea play thing either way 72 quid so rate it out of 10 i mean it's, it's a stonking it's a stonking one out of 10 it's a one out of 10 it's 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 as bad as it can be it's not on really He's got 500 points left. Are you keeping that for a draft, though, in? Or full send on this last Gash promo pack and a 150 pack? Or do you just want to keep it for a draft, mate? Because you are going to win the draft, obviously. FCG says 0 out of 10. EA just robbed, though, in the Scouser, says Futonator. Well, it's quite weird, that, isn't it? It's like a snake eating his own tail. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's like what goes around comes around, I suppose, Vutonator, that. <laughs> You know, EA just robbed a scouser. So, you know, in some ways, it's rough justice. <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Oh, man. One lucky to be 100 cases, AFC Lee. Yeah, man. Oh, and Lani, mate. So I'm just going to fucking stop that recording there, pal. Because that's the shittest recording ever, mate. What a fucking gash recording, man. Right, I'm going to log out here then, Palski. Uh, uh, what? Piss off. Do I want to save the data or um, no? Nah, wait, wait, let's log out. All right, so log out there from uh, Owen Land's account there, mate. That's that. Uh, done. Gash packs all on the floor. OHB seventy-two quid spearmint rhino would be much better, more fun for that price. It really, actually, would be. Redivy, you're not wrong. You're actually not wrong. <laughs> you're definitely not wrong, pal. Um, right. Anyway, that's a that's a real shame. It's a real shame what happened there. It's a real shitter is what it is. A real, real shitter. Right. Guys. I don't know what to do now. I think I'm going to finish it there, folks. I'm pretty shattered tonight. And uh, Yeah, that was shocking, Owen Lame. Thanks for letting us open them, though, bud. I'm going to save the rest of the games for tomorrow. I've been playing shit tonight anyway. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. 
Nah, I'm not going to play a game on his account, Amy Smith, no. Contact your bank for a refund, says Ed. Yeah, bloody well should do. Mohammed Taika says, damn, missed the stream. Well, better late than never, dude. Yeah, good night there, John Han. Take it easy. Shock and Pax says, UK Nation PS4 gamer. Uh, with the clocks gone back early night for Piggy. Yeah, well, it is actually 2.20 a.m. now. So, 1.20 a.m., but it's actually 2.20 a.m., isn't it? Nice one, Jay Smith. You absolute top don. See you later, Relevant, as well, bro. Much love to you, dude. I mean, I might be back on. I don't know. I'm probably not going to do a... When's the... How long to the ring? Is anybody watching that Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva fight tonight? And what time is it on? The clock's gone back early. Night for pieces relevant. Yeah. I don't really know what the returns policy is. I think you can do it once or twice a year. Chris Bobblehart says, how'd you get best? Did you pack him? I bought him, actually. Good night there, Ollie CFC. Thank you, bro. Goodbye there, Sean Netterton. Um, 4 a.m. Oh, the fight's starting now, says Dilvani. Nah, you're talking guff, aren't you? <laughs> nice one, Jonathan Kemp says, see you, mate. Off to coach my son's futsal in Brisbane. Oh, good day from down under again there, Jonathan Kemp, mate. Have a great day, bro. I hope he absolutely does a raw job out there, lad. Um, in futsal, nice, mate. What's that, like, six aside, is it, then? Or five aside, six aside, seven aside, something like that. That's awesome, lad. Enjoy, Jonathan Kemp. Cheers, dude, for getting in. Have a great day over there, Dan Underman. Hope he scores a hat-trick, bro. I'll watch if you do. You might make it interesting, says Stu. No, football, the melt, fake boxes, says Dutch Christ. The undercards are now the main fights at 4 a.m., says Lee Workman. That's a long time away, isn't it, guys? Oof. That is quite a long time away, though. Yeah, they were stinking hoop, man, weren't they? Paul Brothers ruined boxing, says Sub 2. Oh, it's five aside, John, if you can. Nice, nice, nice. Good stuff. I mean, I wonder. Hang on a second. By the way, make sure you smash the shit out of the like button over here, everybody. Hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done. Drop a cheeky little like on it. Give it a raw thumbs up if you haven't done. <laughs> Get in there raw, guys. So you can, uh... Oh, okay. Alright, okay, well... I mean... Yeah, I mean, okay. I mean, I... Yeah. Mm. I mean, I've found the... Found a, um... Yeah, I mean, I've got it, guys. <laughs> but... I have a cheeky gap. Just purchased it. Going to purchase it, obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Just spent 1895 and done that course. Yeah. So, um, well, I don't know, guys. <laughs> I don't know. Let's, uh, let's think about it. I did actually make a thumbnail in case I was going to, but 4 a.m. sounds insane to me right now. In all fairness. Nice one, Chris Koo says, catch you all for the watch along. Sorry, I haven't been here for many streams lately, but live stuff. Hey, no worries, Chris Koo, lad. You've been around. Fight Peen is on now. Silver versus Paul Cup soon. I will watch it on YouTube, says Amy Smith. Okay, nice, nice. Um, all right, well, what do you reckon, guys? Smash a one if you think I should uh, stay up for a bit. And uh, do this uh, watch along for the for the boxing guys, you know? <laughs> oh, dear. One says Lee Workman. Jay Smith says one. You slag. Uh, we'll see. Right, hang on a sec. Let me just change some things in the... Um just change some things, guys, and see what happens. Give me, give me a couple of minutes. We need to have a little interlude here. So just uh, it's going to be me staring in the face of humanity for a few minutes. All right, we've got a bunch of ones in the chat. I like your style, everyone. We'll try and stick it out for a bit then. Hopefully it's not going to be on too late, man. It's 1.24 a.m. But I'm basically done with FIFA tonight. At the moment. Uh, you guys can't hear this, can you? Just to double check. Fancy a game, lads. Is in line. <laughs> I mean, I'm actually just going to like... So I've got to set some stuff up here, Owen. I may, but I'll definitely give you a game soon to test my skills against you. Yesterday in Foot Champs, Owen, I played the first eight games and went seven and one, lad. If you'd have caught me in that sort of form, I'd have drubbed you up, pal! <laughs> you know? 
<laughs> don't know about that. <laughs> right, anyway, hold on. Let's make some changes. I've got to do some things. Give me two secs. Play subs or geo guesser. Ah, fuck that, mate. I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to do a raw chill. <laughs> just going to chill raw, guys. Don't worry. It's a raw chill situation. <clears throat> Alright, okay then, guys. Um, nice, I've got the old thumbnail changed and everything. Let us know, guys, if... Uh, let us know if that's updated. Jonathan says, can hear it sounds like a meditation room. Uh, yeah, I can hear the background music. Background music? What the fuck? Oh, the, uh, the PlayStation shit. Oh, fuck, right, okay. Don't want that on there. Let's log in there, should stop playing then. Hey, what's going on, Tad Bates? You're pissed right now. Singing to Gwen Stefani. Nice, mate. If I could escape. Forever. We could be together. Now tell me, darling, wouldn't it be sweet? <laughs> Oh, right, we're one like away from 250 likes, by the way, guys. Please do smash the shite out of that like button and all that jazz. Give it a raw thumbs up if you haven't done. I'd appreciate it a lot if you could smash the like button and give us a spike on this watch along, guys. Give me two secs. It's got to do some raw stuff here. Sorry guys, I can't multitask. I'm typing here. I can't. I cannot multitask. I'm not a multitasking, multitasking kind of person at all. Right now, I need to sort this out so we can have something going on here. I could go over to like the football watch along screen here. Nah, that's gonna be shit. Actually, I guess I'll just do it like. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, I know what to do. Give me two secs. Okay, pucker guys, we're just going to do that and then I'll just make that bigger pretty much. And we'll just go like, just hang out here. Is that alright guys? That have to do, wouldn't it? <laughs> I have to do, it's a bit of a late, bit of a late thing. Okay, so what, what match is Warfice even on right now? Let's take a look. So it's uh, Varshavsky versus Avia. I don't know these guys personally. I guess they're pro boxers and stuff. No idea, just tuned in. So, um... Is this the prelims? Is this what's going on? Is this the main... When's the main card on, guys? Who's got the info? Let's get the live chat up as well. Why is this um, Jake Paul fight only retired guys? Because he doesn't want to fight an actual boxer, obviously, because he's he's got a, a somewhat of an advantage. Well, not an advantage, but more of a level playing field against people like Silver, who are MMA fighters, obviously, or, you know, Tyron Woodley, Ben Askren, all these people who are just complete... MMA fighters. I mean, if you think about fighting Ben Askren, Ben Askren is the most one-dimensional, one-dimensional UFC fighter there probably ever ever has been. He's a wrestler, so that's who he wants to fight. He wants to fight people who don't have the skills in the 
arena of boxing that he has acquired over the last few years from doing boxing only, you know. So Jake Paul, to be fair to him these days, he's an okay boxer. I'm sure he's okay. He's dedicated himself for years now. He takes it seriously. He's been training with the best trainers and coaches and all this sort of stuff and being dedicated. So I'm sure he's probably pretty decent as far as young kids go who've, you know, fought a few fucking fights against no boxers, you know. So, uh, yeah. Strange, eh? Just want to see that non-vet Jake get his jaw smashed. Me too, Stu. Yeah, definitely. Let's be honest, may only last five minutes. Come on, Anderson the Spider Silver, mate. Go on, Anderson, lad. Smash him up raw, my son. I really hope it happens. I want to see, I want to see Jake, Paul, Jake Paul humbled, guys. It must happen. Have some nice tattoos, this fat Chinese game in. Oh, fair enough. Well, I guess so, but, you know... <laughs> I'm not judging him and his ability to win a fight based on his tats. One dimensional, that's a compliment, says Jonathan Jackson. Yeah, definitely. Just want to see that knobhead Jake get his jaw smashed. <laughs> not sure when that's going to be, but I think it's going to be a decent fight. Well, maybe, Amy. I wonder how many rounds it goes to, eh? I think it could go maybe a couple of rounds, but ultimately I think Silver's just going to clean his clock at some point. The thing is with Anderson Silver is, is okay, he's older now and he's slowed down a bit. But his boxing was technically decent and always was. And he's had boxing bounce since and looked pretty sharp. But also, just his movement. He will not be easy to hit compared to some of these other guys that Jake Paul has fought. Like, Anderson Silva is not just going to stand there like Ben Astring did and just be a punch bag and just get bomby knockered by a big power shot. It's not going to happen. Anderson Silva is more elusive. He's going to, you know, be able to slip these shots much better. He's going to play the game and he will, I don't think he's going to be an easy fight at all for Jake Paul. Jake Paul is bit off more than he can chew for this one, I think. Jake Paul will win, says Blake Butler. Let's get a poll on the go, guys. I feel like we need to get a poll on the go just to see what's going on. Um, you know, I'm going to end that poll there, right? Thanks to everyone who's hit the like button. We're on 254 now, by the way. Appreciate you all. Uh, let's ask you the question then. So who wins? Right, let's get a little poll on the go. So I'll just put it in the chat. Have a little vote. Feel free to have a cheeky little vote on it. And um, we'll see who's uh, who's who's correct. I'm going Anderson Silva. I think he'll do it in three or four rounds. I'm going to say round four. I'm going to say round four. How many rounds is there in this event? That's a fair point. Is this a proper boxing match? Or, you know, like, what is this? Some exhibition guff bout where they've got six rounds? I don't know. What is the deal? What do you think, folks? Let us know. What did Pep say about United, Mohamed Taker? Fixed you bets as Dutch Christ? I think so, too, Dutch Christ. To be honest, mate, wouldn't surprise me. Listen, if Anderson Silva gets done, it just stinks of a fixed fight. If you actually look at the last couple of fights as well against uh, Tyron Woodley, like, I th there was times, particularly in the first fight, there's one moment where Tyron Woodley had Jake sort of a little bit rocked and he's got him up against the ropes. And the killing instinct in somebody like Tyron Woodley would be to go in and try and finish him off. But he just stood there and waited for Jake Paul to sort of gather himself where he had a two-second window where he could just go and stick him with a straight right down the pipe. And he doesn't. He just stands there. And I just think, well, is this really a 100% committed fight or is this, you know, just some sort of bloody agreement? That's the problem. Um, because it just, but all of those fights, Ben Askren fight, you know, Ben Askren fight couldn't have been an easier payday for Ben Askren in some ways. All you've got to do is get punched once in the face, basically, and fall over and make it look like, you know, take a decent hit and fall over. He's like, yeah, go on then. Give me three mil. I'll fucking walk in there and he could just use his punch bag for a couple of seconds and I'll take the fucking pay cut, paycheck. That seems to be what it was to me. Jake Paul seems a lot heavier. Yeah, he did. He is heavier. I think he weighed uh, a little bit more than Anderson Silver even. Uh, in the build-up to this man. Dutch Christ says, Tyron Woodley didn't even move like a boxer. He was trash. Well, he's not a boxer, you know. He's not a boxer, but... I was personally disappointed with Tyron Woodley. Um, with his... With his... You know, make it a brawl, then. With his effort. I was disappointed with his effort. He could have gone in there and done a little bit more. Even if he's not technically the best boxer in the world, you know. Which he's obviously not. Um, he's been in there with some of the best strikers in the UFC and some of the best, you know, like stand-up guys and all that kind of stuff. It's like he, he knows what it's like to have a brawl. I've seen him have some real brawls. But unfortunately, 
he just seemed to not really give a toss in that one. So it makes it seem, does make it seem a little bit like it was just fixed or definitely handpicked at all of these things, aren't they? Definitely massively handpicked fights these just to try and buff out Jake Paul's career, keep this trainer rolling. Fair play to him for actually fighting Anderson Silva if it's a legit fight because that's a tough fight for him. Anderson Silva's no joke. Um, even at his age, 46 or 47, he is still somebody that can mash up Jake Paul guys definitely with his wealth of experience plus his toughness and his skills. He's still very highly skilled when it comes to boxing. Even boxing, you know, look at his last couple of boxing fights. He fought Tito Ortiz, did Ortiz knocked him the heck out. That's no, not that impressive, obviously. I'm just saying he did do that. And then also, wasn't it Junio Chavez Jr.? So, you know, this guy's, uh, this guy's been fighting some serious dudes. Wow, okay, we've got a bit of a uh, bit of a slobber knocker going on here, guys, between these two that are currently in there. I think that's the end of the bout, is it, guys? Don't know. I haven't really been paying attention to this, this fight, but we will do very shortly. Um, Bavash Dabu says, as much as I hate to say this, I see Jake Paul winning. Interesting stuff, very interesting stuff. That Woodley knockout just looks so fake. I think so too, Stu, yeah. I know, I mean, I don't want to throw shade in when I discredit people's um, uh, achievements, but the, the, the Ben Askren fight stunk. The Woodley fight stunk. All he's done is fight stinking fights so far. I want to see a proper fight where he's actually tested, so can show some skills, maybe against a good opponent who's got also got skills. And it's not just a complete melt bag, body bag, punch bag, just to sit there and take the, uh, the punishment, mate, for a big paycheck. That's not what I want to see. I want to see actually somebody try and... I just want to see an actual fight. Because <laughs> all of Jake Paul's fights haven't really been fights. Not much happened in all those fights. Even that T. Woodley fight, the first one, which was the most action he's probably had in the ring. Not that much happened in it, really. Not a lot of action. You've never really seen him like in a brawl, being tested or anything. Not at all. So at the moment in the poll, guys, we've had 111 votes. Wow. 111 votes and 37% uh, say Jake Paul to win. 8% say draw, 54% say Anderson Silva. You guys are right. <laughs> Relevant, thank you for the one pound super, super chat. Super, super chat. Thank you very much there, Relevant. Appreciate you getting in with a super chat. Everyone, get some raw love hearts in there, please, for Relevant, um, for getting the super chat in there. Appreciate you, man. And we smashed 261 likes on the stream tonight, guys, on our way to 300. Come on! Hit the like if you're just joining, hit the subscribe and all that, and get us up there. Nice one. I should turn off the play PS5, says Jamie Todd. Is it still making uh, noise, is it, in the background? Get in there, my son. Right, we turn that off. Thank you, Miroslav Karla, for subscribing to the channel. Welcome in, Miroslav. Cheers, dude. Legend. We hear it. Okay, Jamie, I'll turn it off now. <laughs> When is the fight, fam? Hey there, mate. What's going on, mate? Um, I believe it's about 4 a.m. So it's not going to be for a couple of hours, bro. It's going to be a while. There's like some, you know, undercard fights and shit like that for a while now. The menu sound is playing. Says Jamie Todd. Nice. Well, I'll take it off now, bro. Yeah, it's on for a long time, mate. Yeah, it's on for a long, not on for a quite long time. So it's 1.39 a.m. here at the moment. Can you show us the fight? I can't show you the fight, Mohamed Tika. Sadly not, bro. I mean, you know, Google's your friend and all that sort of stuff. Or obviously can pay for the fight. But, you know, just saying we can't... None, none of the mods or anybody here can tell anybody anywhere to watch it. Sadly, it's, it's we're not allowed to do that. So, um, so you you know, but you have to find your own ways to watch it along with us. Sean Netterton, thanks for getting your in here with your comment. He says, Pig, we lost today. I know, yeah. Unfortunately, but Prob's best performance of the season. We can see that Carrick wants to do. A few weeks, we'll be on a roll. Get in there, Sean Netterton. Good to hear, lad. Yeah, I think Carrick's going to do all sorts of really good things for you. So, looking forward to seeing him develop. It's a good acquisition for you guys. And he'll bring in some good uh, links as well. Sounded like Caribbean music. Then realized it was the menu, says Relevant. A nice one, Jonathan Camp. He says, got to run. My son always gets a hat trick. Ah, oh, legend, man. Get in there, Jonathan Kemp. He's uh, he breeding the next Lionel Messi, my son. Have a good one, Jonathan. Mate says, well, sorry to leave you, but I'm going, hey, have a good one there, mate. Appreciate the... Yeah, I don't blame you for not staying up either. It's fucking ridiculous o'clock, but it's on. Ibra Ghani, hey, how's it going? Does anyone have a link, says Ishmael? We can't uh, put links in the live chat, sadly, no. Yeah, Berber's right. He says, can't share links in here. No, indeed. 
Uh, are United playing tomorrow, says Mikato. They are, mate. 4.15 p.m. kickoff. We'll be doing a little cheeky watch along for it about 3.45. Yeah, I was on FIFA Enigma 47. It's the same stream, bro. It's actually the same stream. I just thought I'd stay on. Might as well and just do the, the watch, watch the fights with you guys. I'll just chat with you guys for a couple of hours and then watch the fight. Sounds a bit crazy, eh? Dutch Christ says, I've got 70,000 channels for £45 a year. Bloody hell, that's amazing. Pay-per-view too. Wow, that's actually mad. Fair play to you, Dutch Christ. That's a raw one. Um, will Silver take the dive, says Primot? That's the question. Is he going to take the dive for a big paycheck? I would say no. I don't think he would take the dive. If you think about what he's done and his career, I know a big payday is a big payday, but does he really need the money like that to take a dive and tarnish his legacy and get lost on his record in the eyes of everyone in the public? To lose to Jake Paul, of all people? I don't think so. I think pride comes into it. Bigger pride than the money is more important for a silver person at this stage. Why else? I mean, I know he's doing it mostly for the money. But also, you know, he's not going to want to lose to Jake Paul, is he? Sounds very sane to me, says uh, Amy. Yeah. Who would I rather start, Maguire or Lindelof? Definitely Lindelof, Mohamed Taika. Yeah, not a big fan of, uh, of Maguire, mate, to be honest. Not a big fan of Lindelof either. But I'd rather him than um, than shithouse mags. Ever thought of doing a watch along on Twitch and we could all watch together when a match is on Amazon Prime? Stu, that's such an amazing idea, pal. I mean, that is truly an, 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 an amazing idea. Like, especially when the game's on Amazon Prime, you can actually watch it. That is pretty insane. Yeah, that would be brilliant. I mean, yes, I would love to do that. But also, hey, Nate Diaz is there. Interesting. But also... Uh, I don't know, my audience is on YouTube, so it'd be hard to get everyone to go over there. Lee Workman says, it's Silver Lose, Silver Lose, he has to become Jake's partner for something. He is starting to get UFC fighters better pay and healthcare, part of the deal. And if Jake loses, he has to fight Silver in kickboxing. Nice, Lee Workman. I hope we see uh, Jake, uh, Jake Paul get mashed up in kickboxing as well then. Sean Nadderton says, Amy Khan said he would never box a YouTuber for any price because it's an embarrassment for the sport. Well, fair enough, Sean. Yeah, I mean, look, for a YouTuber, I mean, let's face it. Anderson Silver is uh, is not a boxer. He's an MMA fighter, and he's retired. He's forty seven. So for him, from his point of view, it's just a great payday. It's an easy day at the office. You wouldn't turn it down, would you? If you're him, but if you're an actual proper pro boxer, then yeah, it's kind of beneath them, isn't it? Definitely beneath them. Although if I was Glass Jaw Ame Khan, I would definitely want to take this fight. You know. <laughs> Good evening there. What's going on? Those no, that's done. Um, Dutch Crisis Silver only has eight million net worth due to being terribly, um, due to being terrible pay USC fighters get. He is doing it for money too. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know about that, to be honest, if I buy that, to be fair, because I'm pretty sure he, uh, for a long time, got a lot of money from other, you know, from other avenues and stuff. I don't know if his net, I, that doesn't sound right to me, man. I mean, I know, look, MMA fighters don't get as much, but he was getting a lot of money towards the, for his last few fights in the UFC, definitely. Um, he must be getting more than... He must have more net worth than that. Surely. I know UFC fighters get paid fuck all. Like, um, meant, say, 10 years ago when Anderson Silva was in his prime and he was winning all those fights and he was on that run. Like, 15 wins in a row, whatever it was. He was probably only getting, like, half a mil a fight, to be fair, or 600k. But then they get, like, the pay-per-view points as well and he get a, an X amount of that. So he would get quite quite a lot, but you're right, it was nothing compared to these days or nothing compared to boxing. So maybe that's the case then. Fair enough, Dutch Christ. Who am I to suggest you're wrong? I just feel like he should he should have earned a lot more than that in his career. That's wrong, isn't it, if that's the case? Now the fight's not on yet, Pepe the Frog, dude. Hey, Pepe the Frog. Nah, it's on in a couple of hours. Mate, Chris from KC. Dude, we got a new, a new uh, member. Dude, thank you so much, Chris from KC, man. New member. Da -da -da. He's the man, the man with the new membership. Chris from KC, thank you so much, bro. Everybody, everyone, please welcome Chris from KC. And I appreciate that, bro. That's very kind of you, man. Is that Kansas City, is it, man? KC, Kansas City, lad? Chris, thank you so much, everyone. Welcome him in. He says, thanks all. Would love a big shout out. Shout out to Chris from KC, guys, everyone. What a legend. I really appreciate you becoming a member there, Chris. Thank you so much. All the channel members that are still here, get your favorite channel member emoji in there to um, ward off the evil spirits. No, sorry. <laughs> I'm getting confused. To, uh, to welcome in Chris from KC. I, I was going to say ward off the evil spirits of Phil Jones then for some reason. 
Um, no, Chris from KC, thank you. Let's get some member emojis in there for the lad. Yeah, no links, belt bag. Exactly, Berber, Berber Don. Good man. You're the Don around here, Berber. Laying the smack down. Don't mess with Berber, guys. Don't mess with Shawnee Nettleton. These guys will have you out in no time. Saeed Farouk, welcome in, Saeed. Kenzie G67 says, unpopular opinion. KSI isn't actually as good as people think he is. He hasn't fought a real challenging opponent. Even the pro he fought was a piss take. Uh, agreed, Kenzie G. Yeah, I mean, he's decent. He's good. He's worked for a few years now. He's in great shape. He's got, obviously got skills. But no, nah, he's not that good, mate. No. If he fought any average pro his size, he would get mashed up. Definitely. Been watching you since Dutch Toad, Lousy Van Haar, all the jokes, Ashley Kanj, Belgian, Tree Fellaini, etc. That's awesome, Chris from KC. Thanks for uh, getting in there and making it official, you legend. Thank you so much, Kansas City Bomber in the house. Nice one. Chrissy, Chrissy, Chrissy from KC. Love it, man. Welcome to the greatest channel on YouTube, Chris from KC, says Anthony Frieda. Thank you, Anthony. What a man. Right, okay, so what's coming up next then? Oh, no, where's Uriah Hall? Is Uriah Hall on this, guys? What the fuck? I didn't know Uriah Hall was on this card. What other well-known fighters are on this card, guys? Uriah Hall's fighting, guys. Is this MMA or boxing, man? He's wearing fucking MMA gloves, guys. Is, is there... What, what's going on, man? Who's Uriah Hall fighting, guys? <laughs> uh, you would honestly say Jake Paul is beating him in a fight, says Kenzie G. What? So Uriah Hall versus Olivion Bell. Okay. All right, then. So Uriah Hall is fighting Le'Veon Bell. Interesting. This is about to go on. So 38 years of age, Uriah Hall. 30 years of age, Le'Veon Bell. Interesting. Hall actually has a win over Silver in the UFC, but Silver was a bit washed at that point. Yeah, Nick before 47. That's true, bro. Uh... Did you see Uriah Hall's last fight where he broke matey boy? His matey boy broke his uh, his leg. Goodness me. These uh, couple of ladies in the ring have got a bit of talent about them. <laughs> but can you get in trouble when these absolute melts post links? Nah, I can't, man. Mods, deal with it, though. Deal with those melters. They can't even post proper links. No links can be posted by anybody in the chat other than mods. So they might think they are doing it, but now nah, we... They could they just ban him. Jake's going to knock him out. Anderson's there for the money, says Craw. Maybe, man. I mean, I'd be very disappointed if he hasn't taken this seriously and turns up and goes for the brawl, you know? Do I play any first-person shooter games? I mean, a little bit side route, bit of COD and, COD and stuff, but not the new one. So this is Le'Veon Bell's pro debut here from Columbus, Ohio. Chris Weidman's shit was nasty, says Enigma47. Um, that was Anderson Silver versus Chris Weidman. Yeah, that was absolutely filth. That was horrible, mate, when Anderson Silver broke his leg. I mean, Uriah Hall. Uriah Hall had a recent fight with somebody, though. Man, what happened? I'm just trying to remember what happened in my head, but I remember Uriah Hall just walking away, like, going, ooh, he just won by default because somebody injured themselves straight away. I think it was the first time uh, uh, somebody had won a fight without a throw or without a blow being landed. I can't quite remember who it was against now, man. For some reason, it's gone out of my head. But, yeah, I watched it, and uh, Uriah Hall won by default because his opponent just, his body broke down. Something happened. I can't remember now. So, Uriah Hall making his pro boxing debut here by the looks of it. Le'Veon Bell is a retired NFL running back. He knocked out Adrian Peterson recently. Oh, okay, Chris from KC. Thanks for giving us the lowdown, man, because I don't know anything about that. That's awesome. I'd expect Uriah Hall to absolutely mash him up then. But who knows? I mean, that guy looks pretty tough, the Le'Veon Bell. But, you know, I'm sure he's a great athlete who's in the F NFL. But Uriah Hall's an actual proper fighter here. So my money's on Uriah Hall. Who do you think's going to win this, guys? Get your thoughts and predictions in. Hall versus Le'Veon Bell. Le'Veon Bell looks like an absolute specimen of a man, though. So who knows? But I'm going for Uriah on this one. Jake Paul says Craw. Oh, yeah, it was Weidman. <laughs> it was Weidman. You're right. Yeah, yeah, it was Weidman in that one as well. Because I remember now. Because it was so weird how that happened to Anderson Silva when he was fighting Weidman. And then it happened to Weidman. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember now. That's so true. 
That's weird how I just completely put that out of my mind. But yes, it was Chris Weidman. Good shout, guys. Yeah, because it's like history repeating itself, but the other way around. Weird shit. All right, Le'Veon Bell with a couple of jabs to the stomach of Hall. So how many fights are on before the Jake Paul one then, guys? This fight going to be on here. Says beatboxing skeleton. Now nah, we can't show the fight, unfortunately. This is a watch along for it, though. So uh, if you can't find the fight or whatever, we can uh, let you know what's going on with it. We're just here to watch the fight together and hang out and chat. And uh, and uh, talk as a community while the fight's on, basically. Yeah, Anthony says, being in that hall has so much experience, it would be a shocker if he doesn't mop the floor with Le'Veon Bell, despite how yoked Bell is. Yeah, I would say so too. I would imagine Uriah Hall's going to piece him up here, but that Le'Veon Bell's got a lot of range about him. He's trying to hit him with that stiff jab at the moment from distance and just keep his distance, but Uriah Hall looking to close it and put out the lights early doors, probably. N he hasn't thrown anything yet, Uriah Hall, though. He's just looking to get closer, get inside, I think, and just unleash something, but at the moment... Le'Veon Bell just putting that left glove out there, just feeling it out, just putting the old jab out there. Nothing much at the moment, just sticking and moving. Uriah Hall is the control in the centre of the ring. And Le'Veon Bell is just circling around him at the moment, trying to keep him at distance with that left jab. You just packed a cheeky car walker? Go on, Kenzie. But you say this is scheduled for 4am, so any time from 4 to 4.45, I'd say for the big one. That is so late, isn't it, Sean Nettleton, man? That is really, really gash. So maybe four pay. Okay, fair enough. Well, now you know. It's all good. We're just hanging out. Not sure anyone really knows when unless you're backstage right now. Yeah, true, Amy. Plus, our ch our times have changed, haven't they? So maybe like four o'clock. You know, maybe it'd be three o'clock because we actually went back an hour tonight. So daylight savings time here. We went back an hour. Late to the show. How did FIFA go tonight, Piggy? Gash, Gav, dog. We played Gash. And we opened some Gash packs and it was just generally all Gash. 100k in the bank. Thank you very much, says Kenzie. <laughs> you are. Just back. All oh, right for Carl Walker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's very nice. Is he 100k? Is he? Wow. Fucking hell. I packed Carl Walker a little while ago. He's untradeable, though. Yeah, Jake Paul's an absolute meltbag. TDH. I can't stand the guy either, to be fair. Um, I mean, look, he's obviously dedicating himself to boxing. He's doing well. He's making a lot of money. Fair play to him, but I don't really like him. He's, a, he's just a wind up merchant, isn't he? I'd like to see him get humbled tonight, in all fairness. Hey, thank you very much there, Simple Jack Live. How you doing, Simple Jack, bro? He says, smash the like button. Yes, everyone, do what Simple Jack says there and smash the like button for us. Thank you, Simple Jack. How you doing tonight, bud? Good to see you, man. You can't stand Jake Paul. Smash a one if you can't stand Jake Paul. <laughs> I mean, he's just got something about him. He's a very polarizing individual. I don't like him, mate. I find the Paul brothers, Germany, both cringe bags. Uh, anti Frederick agrees. But they play up to it. I think they play up to it. They're very clever. They get people talking about them because people go, what a fucking twat. And they have to talk about them because they're twats. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> Jake and Logan says, Sean. Okay, so yeah, I mean, look, Uriah Hall basically did nothing in that first opening round. Love to slap the snot out of both of them, not going to lie, since I was at 3 Me too, but it would be so fun, wouldn't it? That's my dream one day, is to be a big YouTuber, right? To get, like, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. So that um, so I've got a bit of clout behind me, so I can, like, get a, a boxing match against Jake Paul, mate. <laughs> uh, not for the money, no. Just to, just to, just to knock him the fuck out. <laughs> just, just kidding around. <laughs> Jake Paul and Logan represent all that's wrong with modern society. Yeah, good shout, Drew. Who I'm with you on that one, Squire. More or less. Nah, he's a bit of an ob. I mean, there's, you know, <laughs> I'm not so sure about Jake, but I don't know so much about Jake much, but he's, he says some very disgraceful things on social media, attacking people all the time. But um, certainly with Logan Paul, I mean, he has, that's a questionable individual as well. Very, they very, seem very false to me. And like, uh, People just brushed under the carpet that video he did some years back, like in that Japanese suicide forest where there's like bodies hanging from a tree and he's just there laughing and pointing and shit. People seem to have forgotten about that. I mean, that's a pretty big character flaw right there to make light of a situation where somebody's right there died and you're just laughing and pointing at them. Scumbag shit. And then also, who remembers when he put that fucking dead rat on a on a string and was carrying it around and that? It's just guys bizarre, mate. It's questionable individuals, man. 
Rid AS says, when is the fight? The fight, my friend, is on at around about 4 a.m. UK time. It's meant to be the ring walk, dude. So about two hours from now. Yeah, you saw that Logan Paul video in Japan. I know, Gav Dog. Pretty sickening, really. They're just there making light of it, filming right next to it, and sort of, sh you know, it's just, I just didn't really, uh, I just thought it was shameful, yeah. Shame on him, says Gav Job. Exactly. Both see you next Tuesday, says Stu. Yeah, exactly. Two more hours, says really. Yes, I know, yeah. You're asleep. Yeah, I don't blame you, Rid. I don't blame you. Nice one, Mods. Good shout there, Jock. Nice one, Berber uh, guys. Get in there, Berberini. Thank you, my son. Are you staying up for the fight then, Berber? Are you going to be watching this uh, shit show? Let's know if you're watching this Silver versus uh, Jake Paul fight. Just want to see if he's going to get mashed up. Who's actually going to be watching the fight with us then, guys? Smash a one if you're watching it. And Smasher 2, if you can't be asked, you're not going to watch it. But you still might hang out here and watch the stream. Let's know. So you thought it was in like 9, says really. Oh, well, I don't know. Actually, I don't know. I don't think it's anytime soon. Would you stop YouTube if you won the lottery? I would not stop YouTube, Sean Netterton. No. If I won the lottery like 50 mil, I'd just turn this into the best YouTube channel in the world, mate. <laughs> I'd just have like, you know, tomorrow you just see, uh, you know, I'm just on the couch with... Cantona and uh, Sir Alex and fucking everybody and I just bought, got them all together mate and paid them a shitload of cash to come and do vids with me it'd be fucking awesome mate <laughs> I'd still do it man because I'd do it for a pure passion to be honest with you mate I would do it for pure passion so even if I was super rich it's just like I would still want to do it I'd still do it just the same it's just a passion project for me bud thanks for subscribing there Rid AS I appreciate you man nice one for hitting the sub up bro Yep, if you guys are new, hit the subscribe. We're actually on our way to get into uh, 60, 67,000. We're not that far away. So if you guys are new to the show, please do hit the subscribe. Uh, whole of America just about for the melt, says Kenzie. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Logan did the suicide forest, not Jake. Yeah, that's what I said, BJ Berlander. I said uh, Logan did that. Uh, never said Jake did that. I said Logan did it. Go back and listen again. <laughs> Chris from KC. Thanks for the $2 super chat, you legend. Getting in there raw, lad. Thank you so much, Chris from KC, for the super, super chat. He says, come on, United. Headed out. What is your prediction? Hey, have a great one there, Chris, man. Thank you so much. Let's get a Sue in the chat for Chris Koo. Sorry, Chris KC, not Chris Koo. Got too used to going Sue and Koo. Chris from KC. Chris, thank you so much. Uh, my prediction, I'm going for 2-0 to United. I'm going for a clean sheet tomorrow. And um, at the W, mate. 2-0. Two, two West Ham getting spanked up. No dramas. Dutch Crisis, Jake Paul make disgusting remarks about Tommy Fury's girlfriend to Big John Fury times his dad would rip his head off, came to box. Yeah, there you go, man. I mean, he's very disrespectful. Absolutely disgusting. Nice one. Oh, 0793 says two piggy commentary. Stu says one. Uh, Berba says not got a clue about boxing pig. Just hanging with you peeps and I pass out. Legend, Berba. Thanks for being here, my friend. Absolute Don. Um, Cross says one slash two. Bavis says one. One, I paid for it. So have to, says Kenzie. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Thank you, Chris Casey. I really appreciate that, lad. Thank you so much for the super chat, Chris Casey. Have a good one, by the way, man. What a legend. Tony Montana says, what's the most you make on here, pig bro? Um, I mean, it varies wildly, mate, to be honest. It depends in time on various things. I think the most I've ever made in a month doing YouTube is about three and a half thousand. And the lowest is fuck all, nothing. And last month was like 1,800. So not bad. But let's face it. You know, you, you can earn 1,800 quid by doing just uh, any job, really. So, but whatever, yeah. A rush of Malaysia, that is what I got last month, 1,800. Better than kicking the ass. Jack says, no sleep tonight, pig. Nah, man, sleepers for the week. Sleepers for pure melts. Hoping to hear you go wild if and when Jake Paul gets knocked out. Oh, yeah, you better believe. We would be pretty excited about that. Who won? Um, Aaron, so it's not been on yet, mate. It'll be coming on soon. Basically, there's just this other, this Hall versus Le'Veon Bell fight on right now. I do pay rent, actually, Alex Walker. Yeah, I do pay rent. I pay quite a significant amount of rent. So, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Alex Walker, you melt. Sean Netterson says, but to make that amount of money doing something you love, taking days off whenever you want is incredible, mate. Exactly, yeah. I mean, I don't really take days, <laughs> many days off to most of you, Sean. Uh, you've got to keep it up, but like you say, exactly, it's not exactly that bad, but it varies. You can't rely and say, oh, this month I'm getting this amount, because it's mostly dependent on things like, well, super chats and um, 
how popular your videos were that month and all that sort of stuff. So you can't rely on it necessarily. 1800 pay your electric bill now, exactly, Lee. What's going on, Tactician Tom? Yes, mate, significant amount. Ah, you know, it's all right. How's it going, Tactician Tom? I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing good. It's my brother, everyone, from the same mother, Tactician Tom and the Gaff. I'm just going to have a cheeky cigarette while we uh, wait for this fight to come up. I am doing a watch along for the fight, Rajat Valacia. Yeah, and for the game tomorrow, of course. Okay, so Hall's are up in the corner here, and Le'Veon Bell is uh, slugging on his midsection. I was expecting to see a bit more from Hall so far. I I'm expecting Hall to get the dub. Big time. A hey, great job there, moderators. Absolute melt bananas, says Tactician Tom. Good to hear, mate. <laughs> Good to hear, bro. Who's your money on then, Tactician Tom? Do you think uh, Jake Paul has paid Silver off? Or do you think Silver's going to get the dub? Hey, what's going on there, somebody? How's it going, somebody? Thank you for joining us, pal. And also, AI Joy or Al Joy says Pig Scouse has lost to Leeds. They did, mate. <laughs> <laughs> have some of that scouse melts and chelsea lost 4-1 to brighton as well fucking get in did you can you see this uh did arnold allen win somebody i don't know actually bud to be honest with you bud sorry i'm not watching the ufc so there is the usc UFC, usc usc's on tonight as well isn't it ufc uh is it is the usc on tonight or is arnold allen fighting on this card i don't even know mate i i don't even know who's on this card mate hang on do you mean this card or the other card? Or do you mean is there a fucking UFC card on? Right, let's see the undercard. I better find out the undercard for this because I have no clue. Right. Okay, what is the card? Ben says he won. Oh, UFC finished. Okay, Wiggy, right. Yeah, UFC finished. I was going to say, I didn't think he was, like, involved with some bullshit boxing when he's contracted to the UFC. So I assumed that was it. But, yeah. Uh, no, I didn't watch any of that, bro. So Arnold Allen, Arnold Allen won. Did he get in? Somebody says, yeah, I think Arnold Allen won. You had a bunch of um, yanks giving you grief. Nice. We can have the final say, the final laugh now, then. Imagine how much these kids make. My daughter watches YouTube. Their videos get like hundreds of million views. I know, Stu. They must, they're making serious bank. I think Jake Paul has a net worth. I saw it earlier on some program. Net worth at the moment of like 30 million and growing. It's pretty ridiculous, really, for somebody who's not even a proper boxer. It's outrageous. But fair play, though. Guys, we're nearly at 300 likes. It's awesome. Just keep smashing out. We're going to get there. Okay, so uh, they're just training shots now. A couple of good little uh, sort of rabbit punches there from Uriah Hall. They're clinched up in the middle of the uh, the ring. This is the fourth round of four, so only four rounds. A minute and 48 left. And I think Le'Veon Bell's won this, guys. I've only been sort of keeping a half an eye on it, in all fairness. But I haven't seen Uriah Hall do too much. So let's see what goes on. But at the moment, they're just trading in the middle. Le'Veon Bell tries to swings and a miss with a big right. Done it multiple times tonight, Abdi. It's got to be organic, Abdi, lad. But we've done it multiple times tonight. You can actually scroll back to, like, the start of the stream just after the intro, if you want. And see there. Yeah, get in, Sean, mate. Everton doing pretty well, though. Rajat says, Sean. Berber, I'm not into boxing either, mate, to be honest. Just here for the chat with you lot. Absolute legend, Sean Nesson. I appreciate you. I mean, in all fairness, even if you are into boxing, right, this ain't the fight to watch if you're into boxing. This is a freak show, guys. You don't need to be into boxing for this one. This one's a shit show. Freak show. That's what this is. This ain't a boxing affair, if you ask me. It might technically be a boxing match. This is a shit show. That's what this is. <laughs> free for free could be better. This is Amy Smith. Oh, hell yeah. Jake Paul's a Liverpool fan, says Rajat Valasia. Um, somebody says, Birdpig, can you find out what happened uh, between Alan and Qatar? Yeah, sure. What happened between Alan and Qatar there, uh, some, uh, guys? 
I didn't watch it, so. Van D had just scored a hat trick on me from headers. Oh no way, Liam. That's absolutely just um completely demoralizing. Oh shit. And they're training some shots in. Nice nice work from Uriah Hall. He's landed a couple of heavy ones, mate. They're trading in the middle, guys. They're fucking going for it now. Both of them. Oh, Le'Veon Bow lands a big right. And the referee splits them up for the end of the fight there. They had a big flurry at the end there, guys. Nice end to that fight there, in all fairness. They're going for it. Swinging that lever. Fair fucking play to him. Chris Cyborg getting in here raw. Bellator champ getting in there raw. Qatar's done his knee in the first few seconds, says Wiggy. Ah, oh, shit. Van Dyke McGuire in disguise, says Raj Hat. We never go classic 3 4 3, but that might be his mistake, says Amy Smith. Bet Jake Paul couldn't name five Liverpool players. Nah, he couldn't, though. So, who do you think won that one, guys, if you were watching it? Hall or. Um, Hall or Le'Veon Bell? Someone should clip the portion where the Rocky Mug gets knocked out of pit by Piggy and DC and spills everywhere. Quite funny. Already, oh, Christopher and Casey. Ah, oh, look, you know, I don't want to relive that. Sean Netter says has just bought tickets for the Premier League of Darts next year and also tickets to the Tennis Women's World Cup. Nice, mate. Sean Netterton sounds like a raw day out, lad. Jake Paul twat, bro, says Raj Hat. Yeah, yeah. Hall wins, says Wiggy. Eddie Hall, says Alex Walker. Yeah, Hall landed some good shots at the end, actually. Knocked his mouthpiece out of a nice jab and good left uh, hook as well. Uh, yeah, look at that. Hall putting it on thick at the end there. Yeah, Hall's got Hall's got the Hall's got the dub there. You'd like to see Roy Keane fight Eric Cantona for some reason, says Jay's <laughs> game. Nice man. Who'd your money on in that one? I'd go for Big Eric, to be fair, in their primes, but Roy Keane was a little animal. Amy says, I hope Hall, I never liked that Pittsburgh. Nina says uh, Amy Smith. Nice Sean Netterton mates says the hoop man. Craw says, Pig, remember that Bristol City 2-1. When in the 90 plus, 92 plus, then we went on to smash him, mate, says Craw. That Bristol City 2 1 win in the 90 plus 2, then we went on to smash him, mate. Um, I don't actually. I knocked them both out, says Infidel. Go on, Infidel, my son, he's a fucking Don. Which alien film is the best? I like the second one myself the most, Aliens. The first one's great, but I do feel like the first one's just a little bit slow. The second one is awesome. They mostly come out at night. Mostly, etc. Right, I'm going to have my cheeky cigarello here real quick then, guys. I'll just turn that off and then. But I'm still here, guys. Still here. Bristol 2-1 Man United EFL. I can't remember that, mate. <laughs> Honestly. Maybe my brain's not focusing right, but I can't, I'm struggling with that one. Um, Lev Bell kind of was shitty for my KC Chiefs, so I don't care for him, says Chris from KC. Uh, okay, right, right. What are you watch this on, says Raja. I can't tell you, my friend Raja. That's up to you to decide and decipher. We can't say over here on this channel, my man. Alex Walker says, stop wanking, pig. Well, stop sending me pictures of your mum then, Alex Walker. Um, Auntie Freda says, pig, what brand of cheeky cigarellos do you smoke? I'm a fellow smoker. Um, I smoke Cutter's Choice Original Tobacco, dude. So, you know. Cutter's Choice Original Tobacco. Yeah. Hoopman says, Pig away for a ham shank, says the Hoopman. <laughs> uh, okay, so you're, you're Ryan Hall one, did he there? I think so. He's giving some props to Damian Bell there. But yeah, uh, Uriah Hall one, guys. Huge dub for Hall. <coughs> Is it me or does Garnacho look like Killian Murphy, says Rajav Alicia. I mean, a tiny little bit, bro. I can sort of see what you're saying. A tiny little bit, lad. Garnashfo, Rashford and Pellegrini, or Palistri, you mean, yeah? As a front three. I mean, interesting Amy Smith, to be fair. It's a youthful one. I don't think we'll see it anytime soon, but certainly Garnacho should be chucked in there. Nice Sean Netterton. He says, like Spike, we're nearly at 300 likes. For, for real? Are you for real? That's actually amazing, guys. Thank you, everyone, for smashing that like button then. Appreciate it. Yeah, smash the like. Help us get to 300. Good stuff, guys. Nearly there. We're on 287. Sweet. 
Oh, bedtime stories, you're knackered, are you, Alex Walker? Oh, fair play, lad. What, are you going to bed soon, are you? You think it's too quick? The opposition is incredibly higher than Sheriff Tomorrow, says Chris from KC. Yeah, exactly. You can't be putting those youngsters in against West Ham. Nah, I think maybe Gar maybe Garnacho could feature, because let's face it, Sancho's not been that great, and Garnacho plays like somebody who's really fearless and is more advanced than his years, really. From what we've seen, he's only, only played a few games, obviously, but from what we've seen, and he'd only had like 30 minutes of football this season in proper games before that game. So he's not had a lot of games, but he just looks like he's a good player already. So maybe you could chuck him in there, but you'd still need like, you know, Rashford and um, uh, Anthony or, you know, Ronaldo and Anthony or something like that to really justify it. And to, you don't want to chuck too many kids in their early doors, no. Exactly. If they get the ball feeder into the Ronaldo, of course it can. Chris from Casey says, I would sub him on, sure, but Sancho should start left wing. Oh, fair enough. Well, I yeah, okay. I mean, Sancho's look, Sancho's got a point to prove recently because he's not been looking good. He's really struggling uh, last few games. So surely he got to get a reaction from him. If you play him, you just got to hope that he puts in a real stonking performance to make up for some of his guff and to try and prove people wrong and to stake a claim for the place in the team as well. Um, because if you can't do that, then... It's just a matter of time before he gets completely dropped out the side. So, yeah, you should see a bit of fire in his belly, I suppose, if you start him. Plus, he's more advanced. He's more senior. I get it. I mean, I, I probably expect Sancho to start, but I would love it, though, personally, if Garnacho did start. So I just think he's an exciting talent. Now, we don't know Rashad how to play with United, lad. Sterling Archer says, bro, this every fight Jake Paul is, is rigged for him to win. He pays out. Yeah, I think so, Sterling. You're probably right. If you look at that Askren fight, both the Woodley fights, they stink, don't they? they? They all stink, mate. I agree. So maybe you'll see Silver take a dive tonight, but I doubt it, man. Because Silver, you know, okay, you know, it's some payday and all that, but surely he's got a bit of pride at stake about him. He doesn't want to loss to Jake Paul on the, uh, on the public's mind, does he? Hello, the Bristonian Mackham. What's going down in Bristonian Mackham Town? George St. Pierre on the Showtime panel here. One of the greatest of all time in the mixed martial arts world. GSP. 2-0 United if Maguire plays 3-1 West Ham. Says Touch Christ. I like your style. You're here lurking. Thank you, Jay Smith, for lurking and jerking, broski. Thank you so much. Oh, Wiggy and Shawnee Nettleton doing all sorts of bits there. Thank you. Wiggy, how's you tonight, my man? Lurking and jerking in the shadows, Mr. Wiggy. Right, let me just have a look at this undercard here, guys. Give me two secs, because I, I just want to see. So, the undercard we are on currently. Uh, let's have a look at this Paul versus Silver undercard. Two round middleweight fight coming up. Okay, there's two fights before Silver. That's not too bad, is it? Two round middleweight fight. Is that what it just said? Two fucking rounds. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, Santiago versus Neves two, and then uh, Silver versus Rodriguez or Silvi versus Rodriguez, and then you got Paul versus Silver as the final, obviously final fight. So looks like there's just two more fights coming, guys, before the main event, which isn't too bad, is it? Yeah, Compost Smurf says two rounds. Surely he didn't say two rounds and I misheard him. Maybe he just said two bouts. I think he must have said two bouts before the main event or something. It sounded like he said two rounds. <laughs> Imagine that. He's come out, two three-minute rounds. Game over. That's done. <laughs> done and dusted. Uh... Nice one, Wiggy, my man. Good to hear. He says, all good. Thanks, big bro. Legend you are, Wiggy, sir. What a don. Yeah, definitely nice to see you in here, Wiggy, son. Right, so they're just showing a little bit of a promo package here for Anderson Silver doing some weird shit with some incense sticks. What's he doing, mate? He's trying to mask the smell of smoking some sweet, sweet, icky, sticky, icky or something, you know? <laughs> like, why has he fucking got the old joss sticks on the go? I didn't know Anderson Silver was a hippie, man. Oh, 
Oh, you're up in six hours, Scott Lister. Your team hearts is playing Rose, uh, Ross County. Up in Highlands, won't get back till about 9pm. Bloody hell, fair play to you, though, man. Sounds a cold one. Wrap up warm, lad. Actually, it's quite mild this time of year right now, isn't it? Some of my all-time favourite UFC slash MMA fighters. Yours is GSP and Chuck Liddell. Yeah, GSP's definitely up there. I used to love Anderson Silva, uh, Michael Bisping. Um, you know, yeah. Probably, I'd say, heavyweights-wise. My favourite heavyweights, you know, Cain Velasquez. Uh, Brock Lesnar was always great entertainment. Back in the day, whenever there was a Brock fight on, I never missed it. Uh, I don't know, man. I like uh, my favorite. Yeah, I, I, that's my favorite current ones. I like Paddy Pimblett. Uh, I like, uh, of course, um, Leon as well, and uh, all the English guys. Um, and then also, I don't know really. I mean, Francis Ngannou at the moment is the one to watch, isn't he? But he's not really. He's got this dispute going on with the UFC at the moment. But he's like the heavyweight to watch right now. John Jones is the greatest. Probably, in my opinion, of all time, apart from he's a cheating bastard, so he automatically gets chucked off the list. But he is really probably the greatest, isn't he? He's just dominant as hell. Wiggy, thank you very much for being a member for 25 months of the channel, you legend. Wiggy, thank you so much for being a member for 25 months. That's a long time, Wiggy. I appreciate you, dude. Everyone, let's get some raw love hearts in there for Wiggy and some hashtag 25s because he has been a member for over two years. That's legendary stuff, Wiggy. He says, come on, Silver. Come on, Silver, man. Thank you so much to Wiggy for that, man, for being a member all this time. I appreciate you, dude. Long time legend, man. Thank you, Wiggy. That's mad, mate. 25 months. Loads of 25s getting in here. Inverness away in December used to be shite. Yeah, Bovril would be frozen before you get back behind the go. Oh, bloody hell, Combo Smurf. You go for a piss and an icicle starts growing up your fucking bell end. Wiggy, thank you for the love hearts. And Daryl getting again. Wiggy, thanks for that, man. I appreciate you, dude. Nice, Dutch Christ. You're watching this totally legally. That's awesome. 25 says Russia Valencia. Nice. 291 likes. Get in there, Daryl Gilligan, my son. Like it. Like it a lot. Should I get some sort of snackage in? That's the question. I don't know if I've got any snackage. I could have a bit of snackage, possibly. I think I've got a bit of chicken, actually. Cooked chicken that I can munch on. Maybe I should do that. Nice. So backstage, they're showing uh, Anderson Silva just walking with a big smile on his face. He's chilled out. He's relaxed. He looks super chilled out and relaxed. Almost too super chilled out and relaxed. But this is Anderson Silva's nature, you see. I mean, if I'm Anderson Silva... I'm really not too worried about this fight because think about all the monsters that Anderson Silva's been inside a cage with or, you know, or a ring or whatever. He is, um, you know, he, he must just think of this YouTuber that he's fighting Jake Paul as, you know, quite an easy competition, I would have thought. It's a boxing match, though, which levels the playing field, of course. He is 47, Infidel. Yep, he's 47. I still expect him to mash Jake Paul up, though. Right, guys, I'm going for a piss. A piss to the resistance. Back in a sec. Don't go nowhere. Keep dropping likes and subscribing and all that. I'm going for a chick. A quick, 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 quick piss. Back in a
All right, guys, I'm back anyway. What's going on, dudes? Viva la piz resistance, says Rajat Felicia. You what? Um, yeah, I just smashed a bit of chicken down as well. I think I don't know if that affects you or not, but we can hear your commentary, bro, letting you know just in case, mate. Oh, can you really? Fucking hell, man. That's not good. Thank you for letting me know, dude. Yeah, appreciate that. Could you actually hear it, though? That's gash, lad. Thanks for letting me know, dude. Good stuff. I appreciate you. I'll sort it out. I'll turn it right down. All right, yeah, you can, it's a bit... All right, hang on. All right, hang on. Okay, sweet. Kind of. Okay, right, sweet, guys. Well, um, what I'll do then is I'll just put something... Hang on a sec. I'll just put something like... Oh, I don't know. Nah, it'll be all right. Don't worry about it. <laughs> It'll be fine. Thank you, Burby, you legend. He says, pig commentary is the best, bro. Thank you so much, Burby, you absolute un unadulterated Don bag. What a legend. The two boxes are tiny, says Infidel. Right, okay, sweet. Hang on a sec. Whoa. Right, okay, Kushti. Sort it out, guys. Shouldn't be able to hear anything now, hopefully. Um, yes, STB Mitchell, I do, bro. Yeah, I'm just actually going to finish my cigarette real quick. Um, and then, uh, then I will put it back on, yeah. According to Forbes in 2021 alone, Jake Paul earned $45 million. That's sick. Absolutely sickening, isn't it, man? It's disgusting. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that, Sean Elton. Thank you so much um, for the feedback. That's Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, no, that's the only thing I'm worried about, man, is uh, I don't obviously want that. Man. That's brilliant. Thank you, dude. That is immense, man. Need, uh, need the thanks for the heads up there. What a legend. Big time. Right, okay, so the next fight is coming up now, guys. And uh, it is between a couple of guys. I don't know them too well myself, but we'll let you know what's going on. Drew who says, remember that England is my city meme. Um, no, I actually don't. <laughs> what was that from then? Jake has us all where he wants us, tuning in, hoping he loses, and hoping we pay to see it. It's so true, uh, tr so true, Mr. Boba Jango. That's what it's all about, and he's making a pretty penny either way, isn't he? Obviously, he's hoping for the, the, the dub so that he can keep this um, this cash cow rolling. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, oh, shit. But it's not... Um, it's not absolutely paramount to it, is it? Because he can still just fight anybody and do YouTube boxing and shit like that. I mean, he could fight KSI... And probably make more money than fighting Anderson Silva, you know? So, they've got lots of options. I have seen this as England, Amy Smith, a long time ago. Jake's subscriber count will go down if he gets knocked out, says Rajah Blasia. Do you think so, though? I'm not so sure. Um, I think uh, either way, it's like a it's a win-win in terms of like PR and shit for follows. <laughs> they'll, they'll probably go up a load of follows tonight, both of them. What do you reckon? Just like everyone's talking about. I mean, we're doing a watch along for it. Why would we do a watch along for a Jake Paul fight? It's crazy. But because he's fighting Anderson Silva, it's just very interesting.
Right, okay, what if I don't want my glasses now, right? Fucking hell. Lost them right back in a sec. I must have put them down when I had a smash. Right, nice one, dudes. We're back here. It's all fixed. Jake Paul will probably knock him out. Silver taking a die for the money. Maybe ST. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, pal. If you look at the, the Askren fight, I mean, he just took a die for the money, even though probably about all the good, good he could have done anyway. But still, though, he definitely just wasn't bothered about trying to have a go of it. Just literally went in there for a payday. And certainly the Woodley fight stunk a little bit to me as well. The fight is expected to be on... I don't know, about an hour from now, maybe. There's, there's two bouts before it, inclu uh, th including this one that's on now. It's actually 10 rounds, this one. So depending on how long this one is and the next fight, then it's the main event after that. So could be an hour, could be an hour and a half. Max, I suppose, if these 10 rounds play out in both fights. Or it could be sooner than that if this ends in an officious knockout early doors. So Santiago versus uh, Neves here. Cigarette time done. Yes, indeed, Rajat lad. Two more fights until it starts. Absolutely, Amy. Yep. Thanks, everyone, for being here for, for this watch run for me. I'm watching the fight anyway, so thought I might as well just stay on and do the watch run for it. Bit, bit of a different vibe stream. It's not on a channel, actually, Dave. It's on Showtime pay-per-view. It's 18.95 bubbles, lad. Mm. I believe so. Definitely paying to watch Paul. You on, you on. That says Touch Christ. Yeah, definitely paying for it. <laughs> Four likes from 300, says Sean. If you haven't, can you like and help it to 300? Oh, thank you, Sean Netterton. Yeah, dudes. Smash the twat of the like button if you haven't done and help us get there. We're actually nearly on 300. Who's going to be the 300th liker? Let us know. Nice one. Also, just to, let, uh, just to let you know what's going on with the poll, we've had 757 votes on it, by the way, in the poll. What? 46% think Jake Paul's going to win, actually, and 43% say Anderson Silva. That surprises me, that does, guys. I'm definitely in the Silver camp thinking Silva's going to drive them up. Would I do a Super Bowl watch on? Nah. <laughs> what do you take me for, old 793? Some sort of melter. Nah. I mean, nah, each to their own. I'm only kidding. But I'm not interested, interested in a bit of pig skin, lad. Nah, man. Not my vibe. Not my speed, that one. Did you miss uh, did you miss Anderson at United? Him or f over Fred? I mean, yeah. I mean, uh, Anderson was good for United back in the day. He's one of those players I never thought was that really that great. But Fergie always got a lot out of him. And he always did well. So, respect to uh, Mr. Anderson. Nick Pendragon says, what martial art do you train, Mr. Pig? I train a Scottish martial art. It's called Faki. Basically, it involves a lot of um, Glasgow kisses um, and a lot of, um, you know, wee jobbies and also uh, some deep fried battered Mars bar launching and some Mars bar launching as well, basically. It's a Scottish martial art called Faki. Get some free iron brew. Yeah, Rashad Valencia. <laughs> That's what you get if you win a tournament in Faki. We would have had 316 AMN 70 minutes ago if it wasn't for the clocks. Oh, yeah, Sean. Yeah, remind us when we get there again, though, properly. And we'll go in there. Hell, yeah. Used to force yourself to stay out for Super Bowl for some unknown reasons, this Drew Who. Fair enough. I mean, look, it's a, it's a bit of an event, isn't it? If, I, if ever I was going to actually watch uh, NFL or American football, it would be the Super Bowl. I, mean, I have watched it about twice in my life. It's just not for me, though. I've I've done it. I've done it before. Watched, watched the Super Bowl and just been, like, bored, man. <laughs> I guess if you get a great game on the go, maybe the ones I watched were shite, but... Mars Bar to the faces, VK Dean. I mean, I'd love to play American football. I bet it's great fun to play. Is Jake Paul even in real-world rankings? Oh, no. Nah, I mean, he's done. I mean, look, I don't know. In terms of pro boxing, he would be very average. Very average level. 
People forget Danny looked quite good during his cameo against Sheriff, says uh, Chris from KC. Donnie, sorry. Yeah, Donnie. Donnie did look pretty good when he came on, actually. Good shout, yeah. Deep fried Mars bar when you were 10, 10 classes. <laughs> What's you doing with a cheeky little deep fried battered can of Ambria, my son? Yeah, Tom Brady in his prime was something. Fair play, Roger. Yeah, Tom Brady, man. Big respect. Five Super Bowls, is it? Where are all the Tunnock's goodies lately, Piggy? Oh, I'm on a diet, man. I haven't had any good snacks for a long time, mate. I'm dieting. It's sad. But I have lost almost 40 pounds now. So it's working. I just need to keep disciplined and keep going. So this Santiago Neves fight is in now round two. They're throwing. They're throwing pretty heavy shots, but nobody's connecting. And uh, that's the end of the round. You played American football way back, says also 93. Linebacker smacking quarterbacks on RBs. What's an RB, man? Right back? <laughs> no. What's an RB, mate? R oh, running back. Running back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 40 pounds. That's solid pay. Yeah, decent RK, uh, VK Dean. It's coming in there. It's coming off, I mean. Well, who's <laughs> who's winning the bet, you or Tom? I'm winning it, Sean. I've got six pounds, seven pounds to go. Seven pounds to go. He's got, like, double that. He's shit in the bed, man. Running back, says Ben. Yeah, thank you, Ben. I'm there. Some wee deep fried battered heroin, her 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 says Touch Christ. Oh, man. Running back. Thank you. Yeah, I figured it out at the end. I don't know all the positions. So how, how many positions are there in American football? So there's the quarterback. There's running back. There's linebackers. There's, I don't know, do they have like second row? <laughs> like we have in rugby? I don't know. Do they have, I don't know. What else is there, guys? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Two pounds of luscious man bun, says Primark. Oh, hell yeah, that's true. If I shaved this off for the last weigh-in, Primark, you're right. I would be a, definitely a few grammage. I couldn't tell you, says Sean. I have tried Haribo Raj out. I've lived off Haribo. Who cares about hand eggs, says Ben? <laughs> Uh, there's offense, defense, and special teams, says Drew Who. Cornerback. Oh, yeah, the punter, the kicker, yeah. Connor Matthews, what's good? Yeah, they have a special punter, don't they? Um, have you ever seen that movie, The Replacements, with Keanu Reeves, where he, like, takes over this, like, uh, this football team goes on strike, American football team, and then, like, they get a bunch of scabs in, and he's one of the scabs, and then there's, like, Rita fans, that Welsh guy comes in, he's the kicker and stuff, and it's just fucking hilarious, man. If you've not seen it, it's a good one. 11 aside, running back, fullback, wide receiver. Oh, yeah, wide receiver. Offensive linemen, defensive linemen, linebackers, cornerbacks, and safeties. Oh, yeah, that's it. Chris from KC knows the shit right there. Nice. Chris from KC, respect. I have heard all, of, all those terms over the years. So, forgive my ignorance, guys. I've not really ever watched too much of it. If I, if I had to say any American football team was by team, I'd go with the Minnesota Vikings because... Uh, my brother is a, lives in Minnesota. That's the only reason. So I go with the Minnesota Vikings. Who's your favorite American football team then in the chat? We have some pretty offensive linesmen in our football because they're shit. <laughs> That's true, VKD. Yeah, different kind of linesmen, but very offensive nonetheless. Dutch crisis NFL games take about six hours and it's trash. Fuck that. I call it rubbish rugby and the rugby ain't the best either. Well, there you go, Dutch crisis. I do would prefer watching rugby, to be fair. Don't forget the dodgy refs also throwing flags every place as Connor. They tackle with their heads like Jonesy absolutely most. Yeah, they have those big pads on and the, the helmets. Also, unnecessary roughness. Kathy Arnon plays the kicker, says uh, Primot. Uh, Casey Chiefs, okay. Dallas Cowboys, of course, says Ben. New York Giants, says 0793. Baltimore Ravens, says Connor. Um, how many more fights still possible? Hey, the Bigelow. So it's this one, and then there's one after this one that's currently on now, and then that's it. So we got this one, one after this one, and then it's the the Paul Silver fight. So could be on. I think it's going to be on about an hour from now, depending on what happens. This one, this is in round three. These guys are going for it. Santiago and Neves here. They're swinging for it. Might finish sooner. Um, might finish sooner, but even so, worst case, probably about an hour from now. I reckon. Maybe a bit longer. MLS semi final and playoffs today oh right yeah mls semi-final playoffs oh interesting you hope anderson puts jake paul in the shadow realm 
Me too, Lewis Sturridge. <laughs> Nick says, you need to watch a great game of Aussie Rules, uh, Pig. Fast Spectacular, always a good choice of pu punch-up. Yeah, I've seen, I, I, I've actually watched more Aussie Rules punch-ups than I have Aussie Rules football. So they often pop up on my YouTube for some reason. Best Aussie Rules scraps and stuff. So I see, see quite a few of them. It's definitely a man's game. Oh, definitely. Well, Nick Pendragon, if you've got a classic match you can find on YouTube, I'm willing to give it a watch. If you enjoy loud truck and Pepsi advertising, you'll love an NFL broadcast. They have so much advertising in them, don't they? It's crazy they have those halftime shows and stuff. They tried to do that recently, didn't they? With uh, Was it the Champions League final? They had somebody performing for beforehand. It was a shit show, mate. Just to keep that out of, uh, your, keep that out of uh, football and keep that in American football, please. We're not into that shit. We want to watch the football. We don't care about some bloody singer. Fuck that. <laughs> Chris says, I live in America and very rarely watch MLS mid-league, but I do like the US national team this year. They're doing well, yeah. I mean, yeah, we've got you coming up in a few few weeks' time. We're playing you in a few weeks, bud, in the World Cup. Looking forward to it. I hey Chico, what's going on, Chico? Thanks for getting in and commenting. I can't show the the the, 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 the boxing fight. I can't show the match. Sadly. It's illegal. As Dana White would say, that's fucking illegal. We can't do that. So, yeah, but we, we're doing a watch along for it, though. So if you guys want to watch along with us, you can do that. Um, and we're obviously on here just talking while the fights are on. A pint and a pie at halftime. I'm listening to some type singing. Exactly, Stu, yeah. I uh, haven't watched WWE for a long time properly, Infidel. I watch the Royal Rumble every year when that comes out because that's my favorite one. And WrestleMania maybe might check it out and stuff. But other than that, not really these days. But I used to be bang into it big time. My favourite sports these days, the only sports I really watch. I mean, I like boxing, I like, uh, you know, MMA, football, snooker. That's about it, really. I don't really watch much other sports. Occasionally might watch a bit of tennis if, you know, there's a big thing on, but not really. Golf again if there's something big on, but not really. Nah, it's just mostly those sports. Cricket. Don't really watch cricket, Raja, actually. Um, again, if it's something like the Ashes are on and I just happen to be around, I will stick it on and, and watch it. Darts, again, don't really watch the darts unless it's the big world champs or whatever. And then I might stick it on. I do like women's volleyball, though, Hoop Man. Yeah. <laughs> Which Premier League club will end up with Southgate after England boot him? Um, no Premier League club will have him Converse Murph. He'll get a job in the MLS <laughs> or a championship team or something. Now, nah, he might get a prem job, but it would be one. Of, I wouldn't give Southgate a big job. Boxing, T20 cricket, football, MMA, sometimes tennis. Nice, VKD, nice, nice. And the T20 cricket's interesting, yeah. More exciting, more fast-paced, eh? F1 says Muhammad, Muhammad. 1989 grand final, Geelong versus Hawthorne. Broken arms and broken ribs at the first bounce. And they played the whole game, plus got uh, God kicked eight. Will Instagram a link. Okay, nice one. Thank you, Nick Pendragon. That sounds pretty raw, lad. Broken arms and broken ribs, first bounce. They played the whole game. Fuck, you know. That's nutty. River the Boat says cricket. Um, good game, good cure for insomnia. <laughs> Best sport. It's, it's actually a really fun game to play, though, River the Boat. If you've ever played cricket, so fun to play. Genuinely, it's fun to play. But I agree, I can't really watch cricket. I find it pretty dull and slow. Ireland beat England at cricket recently, says Drew. Hockey, a no nonsense sport, just big scraps, says the Hoop Man. That's a, that's a fun sport, mate. Yeah, I like that. And they, it's really strange they have like organized fights. Like, they have an allocated little fight. So, like, hang on a sec, you two have got a disagreement here, right? Referee, I'm going to come in and it's going to turn into a, ch a cheeky little MMA fight real quick or a boxing fight real quick, but on ice. I'm going to ref it real quick. When somebody gets fucked up, we're stepping in. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's such a bizarre, it's so bizarre, but it's literally part of it. It's mad shit. Cricket's Ponzi Bastard Sport for Jacob Reese Mog types as a hoop man. <laughs> um. Fight TV, the fight which is a pay per view. Oh, okay, sure, Netizen. So, pay per view on Fight TV as well, yeah. Boring darts, says Dutch Christ. I'm good, thank you, Richard. How are you, man? How are you doing? Yeah, boring fights, mate. Just want to see Anderson Silver take Jake Paul's fucking head clean off my son. Come on, Silver Lad! Don't let us down! Fight's not nearly as common in hockey as it used to be. Really? Are they ruling that out, Primot? Is it going to start being a, uh, you know, like a proper punishable offence, mate? they got to keep that in boxing, though, don't they? Finish him. Fatality. Get over here. Yeah, Richard says, how are you, chat? How is the chat on a scale of 1 to 69, then? 69 being absolutely awesome and raw, and 1 being absolutely guff-tastic. Let us know where you guys are at. 
Paul's going to get shushed. I'm with you, bud. Anderson Silva gets the dub for me. And Chewbacca! And Chewamini! Oh, excuse me. Not ruling it out, just trying to steer away, says Primot. Fight's not nearly as common in hockey. All right, yeah, so they're not ruling it out, but they're... Right, okay, fair enough, fair enough. So you don't get a big punishment or anything, because, like, uh, they always used to have, like, a goon, didn't they? Like, a goon player. It was just, like, a player that just mashed people up, like some sort of enforcer. Um, who you got who's just there literally to fight? Uh, I'm going Addison Silver, Richard, all day long, bud. Kevin Kilbang getting in here says, nice to see Klopp lose, Narky Muppet. <laughs> Guys, let's get some floppy, choppy, clop emojis in there. Some laughy face emojis for those shit houses Liverpool. I couldn't agree more, mate. It's absolutely breath of fresh air to see them drubbing it up this uh, season. Fantastic double sneeze. Thank you, Primot. Thank you. Yeah, it wasn't a triple sneeze this time. 60 because Pig's doing a very late watch on. Thank you, uh, Rajat, dude. 69, says Richard. Oh, nobody even voted to let us know how you are. Oh, well, fuck it then. <laughs> you know? You don't want to say. That's fine. Do you think Klopp will get the sex as ST? Um, I, I don't think anytime soon. He's bought himself a bit of time, hasn't he, because of his previous achievements. Um, they'll stick with him a bit longer. He might get sacked near the end of the season or something, I think. If it continued like this and they were going to finish ninth, I think he'd get sacked. But right now, I think they'll stick with him, give him a chance to try and get back up there. I mean, if they win, let's face it, if they win five in a row, which at the moment just isn't looking likely, but if they won five in a row, they're right back on track. But they'd need to do that. Last season, they could easily win five in a row. So it's just one of those. Chat is being passive-aggressive, says Richard. And the Hootman says, Pig, imagine the lights go out, Stone Cold Steve Austin comes in, and just fucking, <laughs> yeah, does the Stone Cold Stunner on Jake Paul. That would be the best. Yeah, that would make my evening. Hey, good job there, Shawnee Nettleton. I appreciate you, Sean. Nice one. Nice one, Shawnee. Nice one, son. Nice one, Shawnee. Ban another one. Get in there. Just want this shitty fight over, man. I mean, this Santiago Neves fight, I mean, they're going for it. The guy with the blonde hair is, is is my winner. He's he's looking good. But, I mean, he's the one taking the fight to the other guy. Anyway, the other guy is playing more counter cat and mouse game. Blondie's going for it. I don't even know who's who, to be honest, guys. Who the fuck are these guys? Who the fuck is that guy? Are these really well-known boxers? Don't think they are, are they? <laughs> they can't be that. Is this, is this for anything, this belt? Anybody know? If this actually means anything, this belt, is it for a belt? Or is this just literally some bullshit exhibition guff? 100. Hey, it's T20 Roberts. My account was hacked, so I had to change it. Oh, shit. Stephen Roberts, bro. That's guff, lad. Oh, man. Stevie Roberts. Well, good to see you in here again, man. What's happening, dude? Thank you. That means you can double like the stream, bro. Twat the likes and hit the subscribe button also. If you guys here for the first time, we do random watch-alongs and shit like this. So hit the old subscribe button and twat the like. Good front three, Rashi, Ronaldo, and Anthony. Yeah, oh, definitely, Rashi, Malaysia, filthy. Dirty, dirty front three. Sean O'Malley in the crowd here watching on. There's a lot of people out about out and about in this crowd, man, that they're showing. Paolo Costa as well is there. Some UFC, a lot of MMA and a lot of UFC fighters there. Nate Diaz is in the crowd as well, guys. Nate Diaz. So yeah, yeah, there's a lot of a uh, lot of interest in this fight. Chris Cyborg there, Bellator champ, in the uh, crowd. Two more likes. Nice, Richard, man. Anthony Freda says, Chris from KCR, I agree, dude. They're trying to make public the next Landon Donovan. He's just not. Oh, Pulisic. Sorry, not public. <laughs> I read that wrong. Pulisic, yeah, no, no, no. Look, let's face it. I don't think Pulisic... I think Pulisic is a very good player. But actually, if you're th talking about, like... I mean, who knows? Let's see how he does in the World Cup and stuff. But if you're talking about Talisman, I don't see how he's going to match up to Landon or even, like, Clint Dempsey or something like that. Don't think it's going to happen. He is a very good player, though. But, no, nah, he's got... He's 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 not he's 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 in their shadow, guys. He's not good enough. He's not good enough. He's not good. It's not as good as those players. I think Landon and Donovan was probably one of the most underrated players when he was around because you didn't see too much from him. 
obviously for you know in European leagues or anything. He came over on loan to Everton. I remember watching the most of the games he played in actually that season randomly, and he was always did really well for Everton that season. He bossed it and like he was just really good. And I think yeah, I think if he'd have played his whole career or somewhere in the Premier League, he'd have probably been a pretty boss player. Yeah, Dempsey was very good as well, VK Dean. You reckon he was better than Donovan? Um, yeah, I mean, look, in the Premier League, he did a lot. He was more, much more proven. But for the for the national team, isn't Landon Donovan the one? I don't know. He's overhyped. Musa Adams, Winger, Rayner, they're all guys who deserve a bigger shout than Pooley, says Chris from CKC. Anything to shut this gas much up? Definitely Harry Clark. Yeah, you know it. You know the drill. Anything to smash him up. We're just hoping for a good Anderson Silva performance. Ideally, a knock-the-fuck-out moment would be great. You know, if he could put Jake Paul lights out, I'm going to enjoy that. <laughs> really, I will enjoy that because he is a smug bastard, mate, and he's a rude, arrogant bastard, and he's taken down a peg or two, mate. I just hope he's not paid Silva off and Silva's prepared to take a little dive here. Best Americans, Tim Howard. Uh, good shout, Connor Matthews. I would argue that he's not even the best... The best keeper. <laughs> what about old Braddy Frido? He was pretty good as well. Tim Howard was very good, though. Yeah, good keeper. They always produce good keepers. Casey Keller was another good one back in the day. He used to play for Leicester City. Pretty decent keepers. They've always produced the Yanks, to be fair. Infidels is Clint Dempsey. Dutch Crisis fights for a night with Margot Robbie and a Phil Jones the Goat Gun Faith Gimmars. Not a belt, even better. You <laughs> what, Dutch Christ? That's an elaborate imagination you got there. Amy says they were a good combination, Donovan and Dempsey for Everton. Harry Clark says that's something. I mean, Dempsey was great when he was at uh, Fulham as well, wasn't he? The, uh, the, that was something he'd do, to be fair, the slimy Orly that he is. Uh, Matt Turner at Arsenal Hall says Raja. Freddie Adu. Oh, fucking hell. There's a lot of hype about Freddie Adu. Nice Chris from Casey says, shakes hands. Hope US and England draw and we make it out of the group. Um, I hope you, uh, hope we smash you the USA up real bad. And then you win your other two games and make it out of the group. <laughs> but I hope we smash you up 5-0, my son. Dempsey did do bits for Fulham, yeah, in Europe. Yeah, who remembers that season where Roy Hodgson was in charge and he led them all the way to the Europa final? Dad, did they did they lose? Did they win or lose? I think, I think they lost, didn't they? I seem to remember Damien Duff and stuff was playing from at the time. And they lost, didn't they, in the final? I hope Wales and USA get smashed. Yeah. Yeah, they lost the finals with VKD, and yeah, I remember now. But they had a great season. Hodgson did bits, actually, that year. Ronaldo flicked three times versus USA. was mad, says Raja. They beat Juventus 4-1-2. Wow, incredible, says Sean. Don't know. Did you watch that clip, says Raja? Um, don't know if I have seen it, actually. Maybe. In 2014 World Cup? Probably, man. Right, I'm just going to finish off this cigarello here, dudes. So, this fight is coming along. It's It looks like it's going to go the distance to me. There's seven rounds in, and they're still slugging away. Um, Santiago Neves here. Got no interest in either victory, either victor, to be honest. It was a good one, says Amy Smith. Wales are coming for the back seven pig. For that back seven. <laughs> In all honesty, though, they've got a chance. USA have got a chance. I don't feel like this England team is good. They might have just got to a European final and the previous World Cup they got to the semis. It's just not a good England team. Man. Like they, they don't play good football. And um, I expect them to beat Wales and USA, of course. But there's a good chance that those teams, if they turn up and are on it and put in a real good team display against us and fight, 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 it's a good chance that we will struggle to put it in the back of the net. I don't know. But we've got a few X factors in our team. I think the defence is pretty shite. But we have got generally good wing backs and we've also got a good midfield now with players like Rice and um, Bellingham and Phillips and, uh, you know, uh, just many different options there. But you've also got players like... Um, uh, Kane. Kane is a bit of an X-Factor player because he can smash you a lot of goals. You get the ball to Kane in the right areas and he can do a lot of dangerous things, both in terms of creation and goal scoring. So we have got a chance against anyone, but at the same time, we just don't really have stability. I don't think of the team. We don't play good football. don't have a good style about us. 
any good team, I think, any properly good team will will probably wipe the floor with us at this stage. But who knows? Southgate managed to bore and dross his way to the final, the Euros, and also the semis. Apart from that, Germany game was great and stuff, but most of the games, not the best. Harry Clark says, I'm Scottish. Uh, it'll be probably be the first time I cheer on England. Can't stand the US off that, but yeah, Harry Clark, man. Yeah. Oh. Fucking hell, my light is gone, man. <laughs> Give me two secs, guys. Okay, beautiful. Midfield and wings, I agree with you, Piggy. Yeah, Amy Smith, that's it. So, got good wingers, good striker, good uh, midfield. But the defence, I personally think the defence is just poor. John Stones is decent, man. He's good, he's good. And, you know, but the other options other than that, we're a bit short there. And one or two injuries and you're even more screwed. There's no standout teams. I don't know. What about France, Brazil? France and Brazil look pretty sweet at the moment, man. Won't be able to play the physical defence game in the heat of Qatar. Yeah, that's it, VK Dean, exactly. Um, Harry Clark, we Nicola will be paying you a visit, son says the hoop man. Oh, man. I hope that Brazil play Anthony often. My money would be Brazil to be winners. Yeah, me too, Chris. I'm going for Brazil. France, one of those two. Argentina says ST. I don't know about the Argentinians, you know. They've not, they've not got, I don't think, if you look at some of the other top teams, they've got obviously amazing players, but they also don't have them in all the areas that they need them. Amy Smith says, England has strong midfield and wings, and in a cup, that's what you have to have. Well, yeah, I mean, it helps if you've got that as well as a strong defence, though, and some of these other teams do, like France, for instance. You know, they've got it throughout their whole squad. So that's the only reason I'm a bit concerned about England. We have got really good midfield and really good strikers, but... You know, so so the other teams, and they got and they can they got good defenders as well. Netherlands are underdogs. Yeah, good shout, Connor. Yeah, don't rule them out. I wouldn't even rule out Germany, guys. You know how bad Germany have looked recently. I think this is the worst looking Germany I've ever seen in my life. To be honest, in the, over the last year or a few months, right? However, don't even rule them out though, because when it gets to it and they're at the World Cup. The Germans will turn up. Trust me, I'm calling it now. They will do better than you think they're going to do right now. I bet you. Bet you they'll get to the semis or something at least. Croatia are dead, says Sean Etterton. Paul versus Anderson. Watch long. Go on then. Yes, indeed, Hashim. They got Neuer. Yeah, that's it. They always just seem to turn up and do it when they need to. Like, right now, they look shite. But as a generation, they don't look great. But still, though, when it comes to those major tournaments, just something about the Germans. They've got the character and they seem to be able to pull together as a good team and they always do quite well big i see martinez head injury today uh bad news for argentina oh shit sean that's done dude what's that we won't win with that melt southgate's as bubbles imagine an argentina portugal final messi v ronaldo that would be mad yeah I wonder what sort of ultimate team premise people do for world cup yeah i know chris yeah me too i wonder when's this world cup mode coming out properly as well Oh, the keeper Emiliano Martinez. Oh, nice. I thought you... Uh, I was like, what What you want about her? I haven't heard anything about our Martinez. <laughs> well, I'm glad about that. There's a few different Martinez's for Argentina, isn't there? You've got Latoro Martinez. You've got Lissandro Martinez. Emiliano Martinez. And any other Martinez's I'm forgetting? they got a lot of Martinez's, don't they? Yeah, the Inter one, Latoro, yeah. I think he means the goalkeeper. Yeah, and the Inter one. Yeah, yeah. Papi Martinez. What's going on, by the way, Professor Domi? Welcome in. Okay, so that's the end of the fight, guys. There's one more fight between the Jake, uh, for, uh, between now and the Jake Paul and Anderson Silva main event. Sergio Romero to the rescue. He's a good keeper. He's a good keeper. I agree with you, Bubbles. Nothing wrong with Sergio Romero at all. He's very good. In fact, best backup keeper we ever had at United, yeah. 
Professor Dommy, all good watching the fights myself while tuning into the stream. Thank you, Professor Dommy, for getting in and hanging out with us, dude. Yeah, it's going to be fun, man. We're going to watch the streams, uh, watch the game. I mean, watch the match, <laughs> watch the fucking fight. And um, and it should be a good one. I'm hoping Anderson Silva's going to piece him up big style. I hope that, uh, you know, he treats him like he's just walked into a Brazilian favela in the wrong part of town, son. <laughs> That's what I hope Anderson Silva roughs him up a good one. You got the Lomachenko fight up, so I'll stay updated on that fight here. Oh, nice, Ashley, voice zone. Good stuff, good stuff. So, just taking a look at the votes, we've now officially had 1,000 votes on the, uh, on the poll. If you haven't done, please vote on the poll there, guys. Also, smash the subscribe if you're new. But the poll says... Who wins? 46% think Jake Paul. 44% say Anderson Silva. The rest think it's going to be a draw. That is pretty wild, guys. In all fairness, fair play to you. Very tight, says Sean there to return. We smashed 300 likes, by the way. I didn't even realise we've got 309 now, dudes. Let's be having you. Optimus Prime versus Phil Jones up next. Says Compost Mother. <laughs> now that is a bout that I really would pay to see, guys. Optimus Prime versus Philly Willie Jones. Who's going to win in the ultimate gurn off? Okay, so the real question, anybody who's watching the fights, the real question is blonde or brunette? <laughs> Both, both, uh, both nice, but for me, the blonde one takes the cake. <laughs> Adam Wale, what's going on? Talking about the fighters, of course, guys. The blonde fighter here, obviously. Talking about the fighters, guys. <laughs> Jacob says blonde, easy. Infidel says blonde. <laughs> both says Connor Matthews. A fair play to you, my son. So the little blonde guy won, by the way, the Mexican guy. He got the job done. Um, don't really know what the scores were. I've not got the, the sign up. But Errol Hawani just didn't view him in right now. And he did get the win. Wouldn't kick either out of bed. So come on, Smurf. Yeah, fair play. And while he says blonde. You're sticking with your draw pick, Amy. Fair play. If Miss Pig gave you a hall pass one celebrity out there, who would pick? Who do you pick? Big random, random question, I know. Uh, Chris from KC. So if I could just one celebrity on the old list. It's a good question. Let me have a think. Don't know. Maybe that Mexican weather girl, Yannette Garcia. <laughs> or, <laughs> don't know, mate. It would have to have a think about it. Of course, I'd have to have Mrs. P's permission to discuss of such things. But yeah, maybe that Mexican weather girl, maybe Yannette Garcia, possibly. <laughs> um, don't know. Don't know. <laughs> If Spain runs that strategy in the cup, they will get you know, gas teams. Oh, speaking of Spain, what about David De Gea not get, getting selected? Margot Robbie's good shout, ST. So that's a joke, that is, isn't it? How is David De Gea not considered in the top few keepers in Spain? It's an absolutely joke. So, yeah, the, 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 the coach is out of there. The fight has not happened yet, LA007, my friend. Shaken but not stirred. It's on in about, I reckon, about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from now. Um, we've got one more fight which has taken place before the main event. And then it's time, obviously, for Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. Uh, Barry, I think it's about 3.45 UK time, I would estimate. Maybe 4 a.m. So, you know, there's one more fight before it now. Gal Gado's very pretty, VKD, yeah. Set of pins on her, son. <laughs> right. <laughs> let's, uh, let's get our minds back on the, the fight. <laughs> Hashim says, the AI distribution has clearly improved, but more of a sweeper. Two. Yeah, he has he has done well so far. Absolutely. I think he's um, growing into that role. But you know what? For him not to be selected in the Spain national team as the first choice keeper is questionable, let alone not even being in the squad. 
That is just a joke. I think that, that I think the manager must have a uh, a grudge. Who is their manager? Is it still Luis Enrique? Hang on, let's have a look. I don't even know. Spain. I think is it still Luis Enrique? Spain national coach. I mean, like, have a look. I don't even know. <laughs> it is still Luis Enrique. Okay, so Luis Enrique has got a grudge. He's got a grudge against David De Gea, mate. What's that all about? Luis Enrique hates him. Why? Drew, who? If I had to choose one out of between tits and ass, I mean, it's gonna be the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a tough one though. Uh, oh, thank you, Jacob. He says, "Pig, if you had a fanny, I'd shag you." Uh, well, I got a mangina, so you know, Jacob. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh, Lomachenko is fighting also on Sky Sports. Nice, Professor Dommy. Yeah. So, you, are you keeping an eye on that one? Are you? That's an that actual proper fight. Kepper's now injured too. Says Sean Etterton. Wow, I can't believe the disrespect on David. I hope Varane does not play. We need him more than France does, says Chris. The Jake Paul fight. Hey there, Sir Sanchez. About 45 minutes, I think, brother. 45 minutes from now, lad. We got 192 legends in here. I'm going to put a little thing in. I'm going to actually tweet this out, guys. I'd love it if you could do us a favor. Anybody on Twitter, just give it a retweet. It'll help us get a few more peeps in there and help boost us up the algorithm and all that sort of stuff. So if you want to... Then you can do that. Okay, nice. And I'll put that there. So I'm going to just put, just going to tweet it out. Might as well give it a little share. I'm also going to put it on the Discord as well. And if anybody wants to join the Discord, just put an exclamation mark Discord in the live chat and it will pop up with the Discord link. You can join the Discord if you want to join the channel Discord. Right, sweet as not. Thank you for retweeting this, by the way, guys. I can see two people have already done it. Jacob MSC and Christopher Robin. Hey, thank you guys very much for... Uh, for retweeting that. I'm going to give you guys a follow back. Those two legends who just uh, just shared that. But let me put the link in the chat for anybody else who wants to give it a share. And also, I will give you guys a follow back if I'm not already following you. Mikato, what's going on, bro? Getting those eyeballs in there. Thank you for retweeting and commenting, Chris, from KCU Legend. Thank you so much. So there it is in the chat, guys. That's my link to the tweet. Do give it a share if you want. And let me go shout out all the legends who've already given it a retweet there. Because that's very cool of you guys. Appreciate it. Five retweets. Get in there. Lee Workman as well. Thank you, Lee. Not following me, so I'm not going to follow you back. Cheetah Gamer, thanks for following me, mate. And Rashad Felicia, how am I not following you? Oh, I am following you. And Scott Hose. Thank you, Scott, for, uh, for retweeting. And Lee and G Dad Gamer. Get in there. That's all for me. Get in there. Bunch of legends. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you. I'm good, 21 Nick P, lad. Thank you very much, Rasha Felicia. I saw you done that, legend. Hey, Base Dwarf. Uh, who's winning this then? Piggy Water Round. I think it's going to be not that long of a fight. Percy thinks Silver will knock him out in three or four rounds. If I had to guess why, I'm going to say round three. Silver TKO, mate. Drubs him up a good one. There you go. What's your predictions, guys? Let us know what round and who you think is going to win. But if Silver doesn't win, then I think it's bullshit. Two to four, says Rashad Felicia. You think Jake Paul round three KO? Wow, Base Dwarf. Interesting. Chris says, try to expand your American audience. Have around 400 followers. I was uh, Christopher Robin. Oh, okay, Christopher Robin. Thank you very much, mate, for uh, the retweet there, bro. That's very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Hello there, Chicken Nugget. Very good, very nice. And a while, and a lazy thank you, brother, for uh, giving us a I'll follow you back as well, pal. And Lee Workman is now following me, so I'm going to give you a follow back, bro. Nice one. And uh, appreciate you all. Okay. All right, let's get back into it. So there is another fight just about to start, which is the one before the main event, Paul versus Silver.
Um, did they already start? Hey, George Smoke. Nah, man. Nah, there's one more fight before the main event. Feels like Jake's going to win, but I sense some BS behind it. Well, if he does win, I do think it's BS. I mean, we have to watch the fight first before we make a decision whether it's BS or not. Um, but I think if he did win, it's just, I just don't see, I just don't see it happening. But fair enough. Jacob says, honestly, think Jake wins. He's got a power, very powerful jab. Yeah, I mean, Silver's 47, but Silver's tall and rangy and his movement's great. And he's been in there and he can slip the punch. He's not going to stand there and get hit like some of the other guys. He's, 40. he's, a, he's, a, he's a slick individual, even at 47. So I expect him to piece him up. But fair enough. You uh, feel people hate on Jake for no real reason. The Xbox career, despite not yet fighting an official boxer, is kind of credible. His boxing career is not credible at all, Base Dwarf. Sorry to disagree with you there, but His boxing may be credible in the sense that he looks quite decent. You know, he, he's fit and healthy, and he's in his mid-20s, and he's been committing himself to boxing for three years. And he's obviously got skills in boxing because of that, right? But he's not got any credibility whatsoever in terms of boxing because he hasn't fought any boxers. So he's got zero credibility in boxing, if you, if you ask me. But he has bought, fought a bunch of tin can, you know, uh, MMA fighters who just stood there as a bag and maybe took a dive for cash. You know, who knows? Just saying. Just, just saying. I personally don't think he has any credibility. But he is 5-0 and with 5 KOs. He is base dwarf. But look at who they're against, base dwarf. He hasn't fought a boxer yet, pal. So, you know. Uh, what's that 21 AP them fight starting? Uh, it starts about 3.45, I think. Jake pulls a Disney queef, says Drew Who. Too risky in the Premier at the moment, says VK Dean. Why is Tommy Fury and Raman Jr. too scared to fight him, says Beast War? I don't know, mate. I don't think they were, personally. I think there's other issues and stuff. I mean, maybe... I think Raman was, was personally, like, paid off not to fight him because there was a bit of concern that he might beat him. <laughs> that's, uh, that's, that's what I think. But who knows? I mean, I'm not... I don't know what's going on. <laughs> oh, nice, Jake King eating ramen noodles. Silver has nothing to lose. He's not a boxer. He's 47. Jake Paul has everything to lose, so I bet it's rigged. Fair enough, Dutch Christ. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, he's gone for the big payday here. Harry Clark says, I agree. Both signed the contract and ducked out with weeks to go. Yeah, they did. But again, like I said, wouldn't it, wouldn't it make sense if you actually had a fight scheduled with an actual boxer but then for whatever reason they have to pull out it gives you credibility but then you can go and fight somebody else who's a tin can instead and it's justified and it seems like oh yeah i did want to fight a boxer but the other boxer's just done nothing and yet got paid do you know what i mean think about it think about it it makes business sense i'm gonna to fight tommy through i'm gonna fight rama jr or whatever i'm gonna fight these guys and then it doesn't happen and oh instead i'm gonna fight this mma fighter you know makes sense man and all these other guys, why do you think they put them out and happy to do so? Well, because they're getting a shitload of cash for hush money just to not even turn up. Nice one. I do that too. Easy work if you can get it. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you do all the promotion, do all the hype, and then you don't even fight, but you still get a big paycheck. Nice. Good shout, Hammerhead. Never fight a man with nothing to lose and everything to gain. Brad Pitt in Fight Club would probably beat Paul's as much. <laughs> oh, man. I am Jack self-loathing. <laughs> what are you doing? Brad Pitt in Fight Club. Oh, you don't know where I've been, man. You don't know where I've been, man. Yeah, I could see that. Happening. What time's the fight? Hey, Casey Gulhuli. It's supposed to be on about 45 minutes from now, I think. Who am I going for, Jay King? I'm going for Anderson Silver round three. I think he'll knock him the fuck out in round three, lad. That cope will keep you away, pig, says Dale Walker. What, the diet coke? I mean, it doesn't have much. Oh, it's this is no sugar. I don't know how much caffeine it's got in it. Don't know. It doesn't say. It should say, but it doesn't say. So. <laughs> Bag of shite. Who knows? But you're probably right. But it's actually zero, so it's got no sugar in it. Jake Paul looks like Harvey Elliott, says <laughs> he has to. <laughs> Lots, says Dale Walker. Fights rigged, but still hopefully entertaining. Well, let's just hope Anderson Silva pieces him up a good bit. Oh, if I don't agree remotely, Tommy Fury isn't good just because he has the Fury name. Okay, so Tommy Fury, in my opinion, Tommy Fury is altogether rather unproven also so far. It's not like he's fought anyone that major. And one or two of his ones that I fought, he made a meal of it and didn't look that dominant against supposed nobodies. So I don't personally think Tommy Fury is that great either, but I still think Tommy Fury would give Jake Paul a very good 
contest and he's going to have toughness. He's a fury. He is a fury after all. He might not be the best boxer, but I think he would, uh, he would, he would smash up Jake Paul personally. I do. Well, I don't know, Base Dwarf. I don't know. I think he would be, I think he would be, but who knows? Who knows, lad? Who knows? It's, that's it. I mean, it's all opinions and often there's been many a fights. I mean, many, many, many fights where I thought, oh, this guy's definitely going to win. Definitely. And then they don't. They get beaten. It, it does happen. So, I mean, it wouldn't, su it wouldn't surprise me, but I would just put my money on Fury if I was going to bet on it. Jake Paul versus Eubank Jr. Eubank Jr. would absolutely fucking kill him. It wouldn't even be close. It would be a humiliate. It would actually be dangerous for Jake Paul, mate, to fight somebody like Chris Eubank Jr. I mean, Eubank Jr. is arguably not even top tier himself. Like, top, top tier. Arguably not. However... He's still, you know, he's lost to Groves. He's lost to, he's had a few losses. Lost to, uh, what's his face? Um, the guy who won the Olympic uh, silver medal. What's his name, mate? He's gone out of my head. Shit. But anyway, he has had a few big losses, but he would he would absolutely kill Jake Paul, mate. It wouldn't even be, it wouldn't even be an ex, it wouldn't even be what, you wouldn't want to watch it. It'd be a murder. Saunders says, Boise 88. Who's the, who's the guy with the, who's the guy? Billy Joe Saunders, yeah. But yeah, but who's the guy who, Won the a medal who he lost against. Yeah, he got beat by Saunders too, yeah. Who's the guy with the medal, man? Fuck. Ah, his name's gone out of my head. You know. English. Tommy Fury ain't no Tyson Fury. Definitely, oh, definitely not, no. Nah, it wasn't Joe Parker, no. Low, lower weight. I'm talking, uh... Oh, you know... He won a medal for England. He won a medal for GB guys uh, uh, years ago. Nah, not Groves VKD. Not Groves. Fuck. He obviously lost to Groves as well. But no, the other the other loss on his record is this guy, who I'm trying to think of. <laughs> Never mind. Anyway, okay. So the the next fight's coming out. Now nah, it wasn't Khan. Oh, really? <laughs> He's only lost to Groves and Saunders. Oh. <laughs> Who am I thinking of then? Fucking hell. Don't know. <laughs> uh, oh, DeGale. James DeGale, VKD. And that's who I was thinking of. I was thinking of James DeGale, but he beat him. Okay. I fucked up then. <laughs> he beat DeGale, if that's what you're on about. That's what I was trying to remember, Hashim47, but I'm obviously remembering it wrong. <laughs> Nah, not Carl Froch, 793, but yeah. Um, that's who I was thinking of. Thanks for reminding me who I actually was thinking of. But no, no, I'm wrong then. Score for tomorrow, says Jamie. I'm going 2-0 to United, my son. Joe Kawasaki, one of the most underrated box of all time. Definitely, mate, 46-0, never beaten. Bought some, fought some really good top guys as well. Hopkins, even though he's older and stuff, but... Um, Roy Jones, and also uh, smashed up Jeff Lacey. That's one of the best fighter performances I've ever seen, actually. If you want to see just, like, an unbelievable top-tier boxing display, watch Jeff Lacey versus uh, Joe Kawasaki, because Joe Kawasaki just, he was, if anything, a bit of an underdog going into that fight. That Jeff Lacey was supposed to be the next big shit coming over from the US. And Joe Kawasaki just absolutely ruined him, mate, for the whole fight. It was It was poetry. Yeah, he just had that full-on flurries, like combo punching. Not too much power on him, obviously, compared to some. But just just complete combo ability to score in. And just like, just he was just relentless. Khan versus McDonald was absolute barn burner, says Hashim47. Kessler was an absolute beast in Kawasaki. Beat him, says VKD. And yeah, exactly. There you go. Uh, he also beat Eubank... Senior as well, didn't he, uh, Joe Kawasaki? To be fair to Eubank Senior, I think he took that fight quite short notice. Very short notice, in fact. And it was a close fight. Like, uh, Eubank almost done him early doors. But he did beat Chris Eubank Senior. Um, but I think Eubank took it on short notice, yeah. This is live commentary, cheap horsepower. Yes, sir, mate. We are on here for the fight. What's he doing coming out dressed as a fucking minion, this twat? <laughs> He's come out dressed as a fucking Halloween minion, this melt. It's a really shit minion comp, comp, uh, uh, con, what's the word I'm looking for? 
costume. It's a really shit minion costume, guys. The shittest minion costume you ever see. Looks like it's been made by a fucking seven-year-old kid or something. It's fucking minion cosy. What's he doing coming out like this for? Anyway, whoever this guy is, he's come out dressed as a fucking minion. Loma fight's coming up next. Oh, so they're literally going to be on very similar times, Hashim. Pig, have uh, have right in chat. What's that, Vincent? Oh, hey, Vincent Bullock. Sorry, I missed you there, bro. What's happening, Vincent Bullock, lad? I thought you were going to bed, Vincent Bullock, because you've got to get up early. Pig versus Jake Paul. Pig will get a bonus if he wins a caravan for his mum. But if he goes down in the seventh round, he gets a bigger bonus. Two million subscribers. <laughs> Vincent Bullock. <laughs> like it. Like it. Cheers, Vincent. <laughs> Looks like a shit Homer Simpson. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? You're right. Marge? Ring walks are about to start now for Loma, so this fight might be over before Paul versus Silver. Nice, Ashim. Okay. It's good stuff. Um, I'm going to watch this minion fight. <laughs> I can't be bothered to turn over fun and have a stream or anything. Based on so has everyone Tommy Fury has ever fought, but you seem to think Tommy is this almighty fighter, Conor Matthews. I mean, I don't think Tono, I don't think he's all that great, but you've also got to let him prove himself first. He's pretty early in his career, isn't he? Um, he's from a fighting family. I don't think he's very technical or that great, but you got to let him try and grow and improve. He's still pretty young himself. How old is he, mate? He's not that old as he was. He's like 26 or something. He could be uh, he could be much better in a couple of years' time, couldn't he? Pig, if Varane ruled out a World Cup, then I'm not aware of how long he's out for, says Sean Nettleton. Um, he's ruled out until the World Cup, at least. He might well be in the squad. Do you know what simp means? I do a Yassi Abere yet. Vida Riley would get... <laughs> I have to let Jake Paul prove himself as well. Yeah, definitely base dwarf. But the only problem is Jake Paul is only proving himself against non-boxers. So it's hard to prove yourself in into sport of boxing when all you're doing is boxing people and not boxers. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't really. It's like Lionel Messi going to prove himself, um, you know, in in tennis. Um, but he's 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 playing a bunch of fucking snooker players in tennis. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay, Lionel might have been practicing a shitload of tennis. Why is he playing a snooker player in tennis? If he wants to prove himself at fucking tennis, he better play some tennis players, man. Not a fucking snooker player. That's not going to prove anything. That's basically what he's doing. So he's not really proving himself yet, if you ask me. He looks decent. He looks good. He looks good. He looks, looks pretty good. He could be good, but we haven't seen him in a proper fight against a proper boxer. So he hasn't proven jack shit so far, Jake Paul, guys. Nah, mate. Do you judge Feder on his basketball abilities? <laughs> uh, Terry Dodd says, Jake Paul is a perfect rich kid who's buying fights to make him play dress-up. Could be, Terry. Sounds, sounds pretty accurate to me, man. If you look at some of his recent bouts, how they've gone down, don't they don't look like proper fights, brawls to me. They look like preordained shit. So I'm with you there, Terry Dodd. Guys, we just hit 316 likes. That's a Steve Austin amount of likes, guys. Give me a hell yeah in the live chat. And that's the bottom line. Because Stone Cold Piggy said so. What? Cheap horse passes boxing people in boxes while someone else um, in boxes tries to box you back. <laughs> uh, hell yeah, brother. Nice one, Cheap Horse Power. 316 likes. Thank you, everyone, for dropping the like. The worst thing is, I'm sure Logan Paul will fight Roman Reigns tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, in Saudi Arabia. Yeah, that's right, Vincent. Fucking unbelievable. Well, to be fair to his brother, right? I haven't seen much of it because I don't really watch the WWE, but I've seen a couple of clips. And actually, as far as wrestling goes, like, he doesn't look bad. Like, he looks pretty athletic. He looks pretty good. I saw him do some frog smash off the top turnbuckle through a table and shit. Fair play to him. He doesn't look too bad, mate, in the old wrestling. Not even joking, but... <laughs> Um, who is more hated, Jake Paul or Adolf Hitler? Says Terry Dodd. <laughs> it's a toss up. Choose your villain, you know. Based off says, Pig, if you didn't watch Jake versus Willie 2, that was a proper scrap, and Jake got KO of the year. Based off, that was not a proper scrap, Based off. Are you for real? That was a shit show, mate. Are you joking now? I hope that's a joke, bud. I hope that's a joke, lad. I mean, it was a good KO, but fuck me, he stood there and let him have it, mate. That was that was a fucking joke fight, mate. That was about as competitive as of Goldfish versus Usain Bolt in a 100-meter sprint match, mate. It was fucking pathetic. He didn't, he didn't even get going. Woodley didn't even turn up to try that much, if you ask me. Hey, City's better as a Saint shooter. Nah, City is shit, lad. They never won the Champions League. How could they be better than United who won it multiple times when you guys never even won it once? That literally City are a joke club, lad. Just a money club. 
you just like Jake Paul more than the next person, but people just need to respect him more. Ah, it's hard to respect somebody who's a complete tool bag, tip bag. And also who's somebody who's trying to play sport but hasn't actually fought a single boxer yet. Hey, look, I will respect him if he fights a legit boxer. They don't even have to be a great boxer, but just some boxer. Even a journeyman with a fucking half a loss record doesn't bother me. But some boxer. He's, try, he's fighting MMA fighters. It's a totally different realm. It's, it's different. Oh, shit, we've got a knockdown in this fight, mate. Rodriguez versus Sylvie, and we've got a knockdown, guys. And um, don't know who's who, to be honest with you guys, but somebody's down, guys, and he's getting up. Is he going to get up in time? Ref uh, is going to allow him to continue as he looks very uneasy on his feet. He's, shit, he's, oh, he's just going to wave it off. That's the fight over, guys. And he's stumbling around and the fight's over, guys. And that's it. And uh, we're going to have the main event sooner than we thought by the looks of it because this fight is over. And it has been waved off. And somebody's won against somebody there. <laughs> of course, as he stepped, yep, yeah, KO. Need to watch the way he set up the overhand right, but look, uh, look in, set up body and making Woody drop his hands to then reverse back. I watched it, mate. I watched it, yeah. Yeah, was not impressed, mate. I literally, I think I did a watch along for that as well. I watched it, man. Didn't enjoy it, didn't, wasn't impressed. Harry Clark, thank you so much for becoming a member of the channel, guys. Harry Clark getting in here raw, bro. Everyone, let's get a cheeky little Sue and your favorite Bacon Brigade emoji in there for Hazard Clark, who has just become a member of the channel. Thank you, Harry Clark. For being a member, mate. Appreciate you, Sue. New member of the channel. Let's go. Harry Clark, a fully fledged bacon brigadier. Sue, says Nick. No Liverpool fan gets my respect. That's it for chat. Thank you, Dale Walker. Says great commentary. 100% enthusiasm. Well, thank you, Dale Walker, man. Give me a build a bet for United's game, says Jamie. Uh, club, him, club him me nuts. Okay, build a bet. Well, I don't really want to give out betting advice, lad. <laughs> I don't, honestly, I don't want to do that, Jamie. Sorry, I know, yeah, I, I know you actually, I know you want me to, but I don't want to, mate. Sorry, I feel bad. In case you just waste all your money, so I'm not going to do that. Sorry, bud. Infidel says there's bufferation issues. Oh no, smash a one if we're buffering, guys. Smash a two if it's coming through loud and clear. Still, once again, if you're new to the show, guys, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button. And get yourself in a raw. We're nearly on 67,000 subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, do us a massive honor and smash the shit out of that subscribe button and get in there raw. You're all good still. Nice, Base Wolf. Now, nah, difference of opinions, great, man. I'm loving the, uh, that's what I mean, loving the, the banter. You're giving me great content here, Base Dwarf. Just, uh, you know, you're getting my opinions out of me and we're hearing your opinions. That's what it's all about, mate. The world would be shit if everyone thought the same. Do you know what I mean? Respect, that's all I can say. Um, who, who scores your two goals tomorrow, says Dale Walker. Um, I'm going for Rashford and Bruno. Liverpool fans are so upset, Pig. They've asked the Rat Burger shop to do two for one Rat Burgers. Oh, man. Fucking oh, you know. Um, Yeah, Anthony and CR7 says VK Dean. Abu Dhabi's money. Carl says uh, Rajat. Who won? What's going on there, McW33? Um, so, nobody's won yet. It's actually just on... Oh, you mean the fight that was just on there? No, no, so, the main event's coming on soon. I don't even know who's who in that previous fight, but I'm going to be honest. But the main event's coming on next. Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva. So, you know, we should see... Uh, we'll be commentating on that. It's going to be a good 10, 15 minutes from now. <laughs> Rajat Malaysia, I'm loving the, uh, the banter and the arguments in the live chat here. Yeah, Dutch Christ, the man did give up there, didn't he? So he got up to his feet and he was back up, and then he purposefully, I think he purposefully wobbled around. That looks like a fake wobble, doesn't it? Dutch Christ, look at that. That looks, that looks so much like a fake wobble, doesn't it, mate? He's actually got up and then he's like wobbled on purpose. Did you see that? I reckon that is a fake wobble, bro. Guys, smack, did, who's watching this? Smash a one if you reckon that is a fake wobble to end the fight. That man did not look like he was going to wobble like that. And then all of a sudden, he's fucking wobbling around. I think he's he's thrown it, man. Yeah, Craw. He didn't want any of it. Nah, Ibrahgani. That's it. Done. Didn't want any of him. I mean, it was a pretty stiff sort of left hook little counter that he was hit with. And then a little uppercut. But, yeah, he just went down like a sack of shit. It wasn't even that much. It was just a pretty straight shot, but... Stiff shot, but nah, man. This guy's a melt. Uh, 
Uh, what's happening so far, Pig? Hey, 21 P. it's not actually uh, on yet. The main event's just about to come on in about five, ten minutes' time. Club and that's cried loads, lads, says uh, Sean. You're streaming the other fight too? Yeah, or the Lomachenko fight, yeah. Rajat says, I'm done talking to you. <laughs> Fair plenty, Rajat. I respect that. Um, to whoever you're having the argument with there. Was it Base 12 again? Was it, who was it? Are you having an argument? Oh, Conor Matthews. Conor Matthews is it. Conor Matthews. <laughs> He's a city scummer, isn't he? City scummers, mate. City scummers. Right, I'm going to have a cheeky cigarello, guys, while we wait for this fight to come on. Saint Shooter says, "Yo, pig, did you pay for the fight?" Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. What life is done says Reja. Who won? I just got is says Lord Zai. So it's not on yet, but bro, it's going to be on in about ten minutes. So the uh, the fight just before it is just finished. So it will be on very soon. Get in there, my son. Terry Dodd, mate. No, I haven't heard anything from the guy, man. I heard about the, I heard about that, though, mate. That sounds fucking messed up. I, I, you know, he's got himself into some silly business there by the sounds of it, man. And uh, I just hope he's, uh, I hope he's okay, mate. And I hope, uh, but yeah, I heard that, man. It's very, very fucked up, mate. I hope, um, I hope he's all right, mate, because that's very serious shit out there. Don't know what he was thinking. Sounds mad shit, man. Fucking lighter won't work, guys. Nah, man, what's happened in career, Connor Matthews, bro? What's going on? I haven't heard jack shit. Connor Matthews, this is going to come as a shock to you, right? Aren't always right. Shocking, I know, but it's true. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is it, Connor Matthews? Crikey, do you know we've had a lot of um a lot of votes, guys, on that poll there. You can actually see that it's had a thousand and one thousand one hundred and forty nine votes. Very close it is. Forty six percent think Jake Paul, forty four percent think Anderson Silver's gonna win this one. Oh, fucking hell, another crush. That's awful, the Hoot Man. I especially after that one in Indonesia not long ago. 150 people dead. Oh, that's fucking awful, man. Thank you, Cheap Horsepower. Guys, can we get some love arts in there for all those people affected in that? That sounds absolutely horrendous, man. That's terrible, man. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is awful. I create anger says, tell me Jake Paul bought the fight for your ass. Jake Paul bought the fight for my ass. Harry is strong, says Lord Jaya. Was on the news today. I admit, I haven't seen that, Connor. That's terrible, man. Jamie Club of My Nuts. I don't get paid for brown nose in Connor and Piggy Boss. Oh, he's all right. <laughs> he's all going to say, calm down there, Jamie Club of My Nuts. If he wants to call me Piggy Boss, that's fine. You don't need to call him out on it, mate. It's all good. Just talking truths, but clearly the truths hurt. With this, I'm sensing a lot of hostility in the chat tonight, guys. This is all stemmed from Jake Paul versus Anderson Silva, mate. This is it. This is what it does. It's the polarizing characters. They come out. They bring. They bring the hostilities out, guys. <laughs> the fight scripted for Jake says AA. Yeah, I haven't heard much about it, Chris, but it sounds absolutely horrible, bro. Active Gunner says, yeah, scripted, man, unfortunately. I think his last three, three, three fights were all scripted as well. That's terrible, Rash. 160, 100 dead. That is so awful, man. Juiced up Jake says, Active Gunner. He is, yeah, I reckon he is a bit juiced up, mate. He's got the spotty back, hasn't he? Who you going for, says Lord Jaya. Definitely Addison Silver's going to win this. It is a great pull, Amy. Um, Anthony Freda's right. The Paul brothers being the worst out in humanity, too. <laughs> Real bad rush up Malaysia. How does something like that happen, man? So I saw that Indo Indonesian one a few uh, weeks ago, which was terrible, where they like, 
I can't remember what happened. There was like a riot on the pitch when their team lost or something. They all went on the pitch. But then the police like fired tear gas on the pitch to try and disperse them. But what it meant is everyone was trying to run out of the exits because they were getting mashed up by this tear gas and stuff. And so it just created this this funnel where everyone was trying to get out. They just got crushed in there. So how does that even happen, you know? It's crazy. Me too. I want to see a KO from Anderson Silver, Lord Shire. Dude, I want to see a KO from Anderson Silver, and then I want to see him get his nutsack out, squat down, and teabag it on Jake Paul's forehead, mate. That's what I want to see, bro. That's what I've come to see. Yeah, that one was at a football game, uh, Boise. Boise Marlene. Jake will 100% win its fixes, Jay Smith. The fight's probably on about 10 minutes, I reckon, FIFA Fever. There's no more fights before this one, and it's uh, about to take place next. So five minutes, they could be doing their ring walks. 10 minutes for the fight, I reckon. You'd be sad if Anderson lost to Jake. Me too, Vicky Dean. It would be crazy. It would be like uh, Usain Bolt losing in a 100-meter race against fucking Stephen Hawking or something, mate. It would be absolutely ridiculous. Anderson to bite Paul's ear off, I reckon, says the hoop man. Bojo says, hey, FIFA Fever UK, welcome in the stream as well. So many legends getting in here raw tonight. Let me go over to Twitter and shout out everyone who tweeted the tweet while we're waiting for the fight. Because, uh, retweeted the tweet, because uh, thank you guys for help spreading the word. We are, if it's pinned to the top of the live chat, if you want to help us out, spread the word, it's at the top of the live chat. We've had a few more retweeters, so let me shout you all out, guys. Thank you very much to you guys who have retweeted it. That is M.U. Paddy, Adewale Adelaji, Stephen, Lee Workman, G-Dad Gamer, Rashad Valasia, Scott Hose, Jacob M.U.S.C., and Christopher Robin. Bunch of legends, man. Thank you for retweeting that and getting it out there. Um, he, is, he, is, he, is, he is dead, to be fair. Yeah, rest in peace to Stephen Orkin. He's a fucking legend of a man, wasn't he? I don't mean anything by that. I'm just saying it's not really a race that he's going to win against Usain, is it? Drew who? It's on like Showtime pay-per-view, lad. Sean says, Piggy doesn't know you're 18, lad, which is why you're so hurt. Yeah, yeah, what's that all about? That's no issue, mate. <laughs> I try says FIFA please. Hey, I try what's going on. We played some FIFA earlier. We played a couple hours of FIFA. And I'm just chilling now, mate. Uh, watching this fight. I'm ready to watch Anderson Silver mash up Jake Paul, bro, to be honest. Vincent says, Christopher Robin, you're pulling my leg pig there because she she should have had a tweet like by Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> nice one. Good one, Vincent. It's like when you guys were beating up on Muhammad Ali late in his career, says Vicky Yeah, there's a, there's a time to wrap things up. But I don't think necessarily Anderson Silva's actually there. Of course, he's actually not nowhere near as good as when he was 32 or 35. Or, and of course, he wasn't. Guy went on the longest unbeaten streak in UFC history and stuff. The guy was a machine. However... You know, time catches up with everyone, but I don't think he's there yet, personally. I don't think he's, like, totally diminished. I think he still looks pretty good. For a 47-year-old, he still looks good, man. He's 47, active gunner. He is 47, man, but he's fought recently. You know, he's not been out of the game so long. He's, he's literally been fighting in the UFC within the last couple of years and had boxing fights in the last couple of years as well. So he's been reasonably active. Here we go, says Infidel. Now, mate, these mods are absolute legends. Mr. Sean Nettleton, keeping this live chat absolutely raw and safe late night here. An absolute legend. Um, I appreciate it a lot, man. I'm uh, going to, you know, you don't don't feel obligated to stay up late, by the way, Sean, just because uh, to mod it or whatever, because uh, I can uh, keep on top of it, lad. Silver's from Brazil, yeah. Where's he from in Brazil, guys? Is he from Curitiba? For some reason, that's sticking out in my head. But where is Anderson Silva from? In Brazil. Base says, I wish your mate did something I probably shouldn't have earlier because I just got overrun by emotions involving a sharp object. Well, that sounds pretty messed up, Base Dwarf, man. I'm sorry to hear that, man. But uh, I hope uh, you don't do that again, man. Uh, Love Empowered uh, Ohio, Sao Paulo, says Rajat. Oh, okay. Probably from Rio, says Drew. Ohio? <laughs> Anderson Silva's from Ohio. Uh, 
Jamie, club on my nuts. You need to chill the fuck out, bro. Definitely. I haven't told my mom anything. I just said if he, he shouldn't be staying up, you know, if he, uh, if he doesn't want to. <laughs> How many Lego pieces can you shove at your pumps, says Connor Matthews? Um, ask your old dear lad. She's got experience in that. She'll tell you. <laughs> Owen Lan, what's going on, mate? Yes, pig. Yeah, Owen Lan's still in here. What's happening, Owen Lan? How you going, bro? Who's your money on Owen? You ready? Are you ready to watch Anderson Silva make a mockery of this Melt Jake Paul lad? Tyson Fury's perfect example of someone coming back from the bottom right to the top. So never doubt the boxers. But yes, Demon Roberts, so true. In more ways than one. Let's face it, he's had a proper redemption arc in terms of just being down and out and like 25 stone and just completely out of the sport for a while to get him back to where he's literally winning the title and um, even out of shape. Like that first Deontay Wilder fight was out of shape when he got up like The Undertaker after being put down. Crazy shit. And then obviously after that, he's got a lot more in shape and just sharper and better. And then it was just like not even close. So, yeah, man. Oh, Leon Edwards is a great MMA story as well, VK Dean, yeah. Yeah, Sean, you know. Bunch of melters, mate. <laughs> Just let them tussle. I don't get don't even worry about it, mate. It's the, this is the sort of stream where, uh, you know, let let people be twats. I don't care if people are twats. We're watching a twat fight. So let's uh, let everyone be twats, mate. I don't care. You know? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, but yeah, there is always one there. Yeah, you can, you can, you're gonna get a personal time out there, Jamie Club on my nuts, mate. You come back with the attitude, mate. You're gonna get sacked off, lad. Can't be YouTube without fighting, says Rajat. I guess, yeah. I mean, let's let's have a bit of toxicity, guys. <laughs> I'm joking. Special one if you want a bit of toxicity tonight. <laughs> oh dear. A silver win would make my nights as cheap horsepower. There's always one mug in a big group. Yeah, definitely Gav Dog. STB Mitchell says, <laughs> said so. Uh, only I get to be a dickhead around here, says Connor Matthews. Uh, one, and Jonathan Kemp says one. Yeah, boys, he's, just already, he's, he's already been dealt with. I'm calling you out for a boxing fight, says Base Dwarf. There's no, there's nothing in it for me, man, to be honest. Nobody wants to, no, nobody wants to see you, mate. They're all just coming to see me. I could fight a fucking... Mop in the middle of a ring, bud. Might as well do that. What are you bringing to the table, pal? <laughs> Francis says, everybody take five minutes. Owen says, uh, you're in div yet, Con you're in elite div yet, Connor. Jeremy Carl tonight, tonight, pure funny drama, says <laughs> TV. <laughs> Right, it's coming, guys. The fight's about to get going, I think. Everybody, if you're interested in what's going on, there's there's just a ring in the, in the middle of the uh, shot, and we're waiting for the ring walk, so it shouldn't be too long. Hopefully not too long. Once again, everyone, do us a massive favor if you haven't done and smash the like button on this stream. Let's see if we can get 369 likes. And also, if you're new, smash the subscribe button. Click the bell icon for notifications. Get yourself, get yourself in a roar. It's a United channel, Man United channel, football channel, um, and FIFA channel. But obviously, we do do some random watch-alongs and shit like this. Match is rigged. Who cares, says bro? Good shout, yeah. Do you reckon? you reckon Silver's taking the, the dive? Oh, fair play, Liam. They'll get pretty. They'll get sacked off pretty sharpish. Bring the comedy pigo stuff you lack, says uh, Base Dwarf. Well, I don't. I've no, to be honest, Base Dwarf. It's comedy's completely subjective, and personally, um, I'm going to say maybe 99% of the comments that I've seen you write, um, I would have to say, you know, are uh, are not funny at all, Base Dwarf, mate. So. <laughs> So each their own. It's apples and pears, mate. We don't have the same sense of humour. <laughs> Boise says, now nah, Pig's been ghosting me. Have I, Boise? Sorry, Boise. I haven't been ghosting you at all, man. What are you talking about? Not ghosting you at all, bro. Connor Matthews says, oh, and now nah, I use Discord, uh, Facebook, etc. Connor Matthews. Mm. Say Jeff for me. I have cancer and I'm at home now. Sorry to hear that, love and power, man. What's up, Jeff? 
Sorry to hear that, bro. Let's get some love hearts in there for love and power there, dudes. Boise says he's scared to fight you as well. I mean, based off, to be honest with you, bud, just going to say this now. I mean, I don't know. You, you, maybe you've had one too many shandies tonight, pal. But um, if you did want to have a scrap with me, I'd take your fucking head clean off your shoulders, cunt. Do you know what I'm saying? Just say. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying, bud. Let's go have a look at you, mate, on your profile picture. Fucking hell, it looks like Andre the Giant's abortion. Fuck me. Okay, fair enough. Well, uh, you know, maybe, uh, to know, to be honest, I'd probably destroy you, pal. You look a mess. You look a mess, bud. You look a mess. <laughs> you look a right mess. Right. <laughs> Um, Lord Shire says this may sound like a joke, but I see Man United winning the Prem this season. We've seen teams like Liverpool, Chelsea, Spurs, Arsenal. They can't even be us. Okay, fair enough. But I mean, they're going to have to get in a crazy run and hope that teams like Shitty, etc., do not get into any sort of t consistent run, which they will. Your dad's friend with Elon Musk. Nice. <laughs> Just the usual one, but you know, man, I'm not talking FIFA serious, taking FIFA serious this year. Just fun now. Not the greatest, as you know, pal, says Sean Edelton. You're pretty decent, Sean, lad. You're pretty raw. Flying armbar finishing three rounds at VK Dean. <laughs> when is it starting? Any minute now. We're just, they're just showing a little bit of VT, and uh, they should, I'm guessing they should uh, be out in the next five minutes. <clears throat> Owen Lance says, yeah, man, just enjoy it, Sean, lad. I wish I could actually enjoy the game and play for fun. Baseball says, I guarantee a first round KO, Pigo, don't engage this. Yeah, you're right. I mean, to be fair, there, there wouldn't be any rounds, mate, because, um, you know, it wouldn't be in a gym or on in a ring because there would be no point doing that because nobody gives a shit about watching Base Dwarf fight a mop. Or, let, you know, no, nobody gives a shit about watching Base Dwarf time. So it won't be in that. It'll be in an alleyway and uh, it would be practicing the Scottish martial art of fuck ye. That's what I'll be doing, man. you know what I mean? It won't be any fucking, you know, uh, there won't be any Queensbury rules going on, mate. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Been poking up, says Russia at Valacia, to throw out, says Russia at Valacia. Yeah, Stephen says, I'll box him, pig it. I've got half a long missing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. Don't really know Connor Matthews. <laughs> but couldn't box eggs, says Boise88. Unless he's a six foot tall, says Connor. I don't know. You what? What's that hoop, man? Seven foot nine. <laughs> I told you you look like Andre Giant. To be fair, somebody who's seven foot nine. I ain't worried about, mate. I ain't worried about it at all. One chi one quick fucking swift one to the happy sacks and the kneecaps. He's fucking done for, son. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Dance around that fucking Andre the Giant guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dance around him. <laughs> you couldn't beat an egg mate now true I, I wouldn't who the fuck would beat an egg mate scramble an egg fry an egg who the fuck's beating an egg mate do you know what I mean um, I guess you beat it to scrambling don't you <laughs> mm. swift kick to the ball bag anyone's down says gad dog have you seen what piggy does to boxers as they want an attack you mate Precisely. <laughs> Pace Dwarf says seven foot nine, three hundred and fifty pounds, and Man Mountain. I'll jab your face off. Might be an improvement for you, though. Bigger. <laughs> to be fair, Pace Dwarf. I mean, I literally don't think you're even being serious, mate. Like you, you just you give you being a keyboard warrior. You come in the chat. You just happen to be seven foot nine and three hundred and fifty pounds, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? I really doubt that. Smash a one if you think this kid is like a 14-year-old spotty little virgin with some Cheeto fingers sat in his mum's fucking basement right now just tossing it off to fucking My Little Pony porn. Do you know what I mean? What do you reckon, guys? I reckon that's the case. <laughs> okay, hang on. Fucking hell. The, the, the fight. Oh, no, it's not underway. They're showing a little recap of Woodley here, guys. <laughs> eight foot three and 890 pounds says love and power <laughs> he's a jake paul fanboy i know yeah somebody's got to be i suppose 
he's offended because I think his uh, his absolute fucking golden boy is just a it hasn't even been proven whatsoever in the sport. Yeah, okay, you know he's probably taken some fucking paid fights, basically paid some guys you know to take these fights. I mean, it's crazy. I just he hasn't fought any boxers yet. Let's fight some boxers and then we can see if he's actually any good. Rasat says, Pig, let's go to Tenerife. Very good, very uh, long, nice vlog, says Rasha Valacia. Mate, that'd be so fun. I should should do that, mate. That'd actually be mad, wouldn't it? I should almost fly to Tenerife just to do that. Just to find that guy and do that, mate. Beast Wars says, now all the best, but nothing but respect to you and your channel. You're a king always. Thank you, Beast Wars. <laughs> My little pony bottom fucking hell, tremendous, says Harry Clark. Oh, dude, I don't know. 40 year old virgin, says Stephen Roberts. <laughs> He ain't going to fight a boxer, the worst is active gunner. I wonder when he is going to fight an actual boxer, though. To be fair, Silver's a good fighter, but he's not a boxer. He has got great boxing skills within the realm of MMA, say. But he's not a boxer, is he? So it's just a matter of time before he actually has to fight a proper boxer, surely. Then we can properly judge him against other professional boxers. And he doesn't have to fight great boxers, you know. Do a natural progression. Uh, many boxers don't start off fighting big fights. They obviously build themselves up against basically journeymen or people with small records to just try and get the experience first that's what you got to do if you want to be in a serious boxer you don't just go in the lion's den first thing but you got to build yourself up and you got to fight a boxer though you know some professional journeyman some guy with a, a record of three and oh or whatever something got to do something tommy fury is supposed to be his first but didn't happen yet i reckon they paid him off <laughs> I reckon they got no turn up money. Ravens man says, says Jamal Charlo would destroy Jake, mate. Who knows if he'll ever fight a real boxing match in a fight that's not fixed. Yeah, true, Anthony. Well, okay, I guess he doesn't need to. If you actually think about it, it's smart from a business point of view what he's doing. He can play the boxer. He can he can sh look like he's a good boxer in the ring against real fighters, you know, and he can close that that talent gap down because it's a different. It's it's just one dimension of their sport which he's been focusing on solely for years. So it makes sense for him. It, it actually makes good business sense to, to keep fighting these guys rather than fighting actual boxers. If I was him and it's all about the money, I'd probably just do the same thing as well. Why would you put yourself in there against somebody who can knock you the fuck out? Might as well just have these tin can fights against Ben Askren or whoever. And people still watch and you still make a shitload of money. Me too, Rajat would be interesting. Based Wars says, Pigger, what are you saying? That KSI is respected boxer because he fought a professional journeyman. No, absolutely not. But I'm saying if you want to get to the point where you're a respected boxer, you have to fight boxers. And it doesn't, I'm not talking about one boxer. You've got to fight m several, many boxers. You've got to fight 10 boxers, mate, before you're anything in boxing. Of course you do. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. KSI doesn't have that either. They're similar in terms of their tra trajectories, obviously. They're about on the same, you know, they're about on the same fucking playing field, man. It's not started yet, Dino. It's starting any minute now, though. Wow, Love and Pound, you met the Rock and Shawn Michaels and Mr. Beast yesterday. No way, that's nuts, man. This isn't about boxing. It's about looking uh, like someone who can hang but just get a tremendous payout. That's exactly it, Anthony Frieda, yet. They are businessmen. You can't really fault it. It's genius, really. They're making millions and millions. <laughs> okay, so Jake Paul is what everyone is waiting for. See, that's going to be that'll be a bigger money fight than any boxing fight that they could have against it. Why would Jake Paul fight a real boxer? You know, the only fight that he can make with a real boxer that's going to sell more than um, KSI would be something ridiculous. Like, I don't know if he fought an actual boxer like Khan or like in Canelo Alvarez or something ridiculous. But it's just he could fucking kill it. It wouldn't even happen. So that's not going to happen. So. He can only make the mate the way for him to make more money is just to fight people like KSI. People who they'll make a huge amount of money. People would be so much interest to see them. And they'll just make money and they probably won't even uh take the damage. So true, says J King, yeah. Do you do you like Prime? I've never had it, mate. I've never seen it in a shop or had it. I hear it gets sold out anytime it's on the shelves, man, over here for some reason, which is crazy. But no, I haven't had it, mate. Frotch versus Paul <laughs> I mean, Silver's got a chin, chin on him, right? So um, that's another thing. Like uh, you saw Woodley just sparked out Raw the other day. 
and Ben Askren, but Silver, throughout his career, he's got a chin on him, guys. So, okay, you do get, maybe get a bit chinny once you get older and more along the tooth in the sport, 47. But, you know, he has got a chin on him, this guy. Who's new to the channel tonight, by the way, guys? Let us know. Smash a 69 in the live chat if it's your first time here. And if it is your first time, like, subscribe, and comment. Right, they're just showing Jake Paul backstage here. Looking pretty meaty. Sort of looks like a young Hulk Hogan right now. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> uh, Twix, Haribo's, Cadbury. Ah, oh, they're all great, Rajat, yeah. Pinedas, rubbish, says Lee Workman. You want to see Pig in a Gypsy Rules by Thursday Mitchell? <laughs> Oh, uh, Rajat says, like, subscribe, and comment. Thank you, bro. Hey, Delaney Harper, I can't show the fights, mate. So it's not legal, bro. It's just a watch along uh, here that we're watching the fights and having a chat while it's on and letting people know what's going on. But uh, we can't show the fight here, no. Still a professional boxer's base dwarf. Nice one, VK Dean. Lord Jai says, I'm new. I just got here. Nice one, Lord Jai. Thank you for uh, getting in the chat as well and being here tonight. Ben Askren and Nate Robinson, by the way. I could do a two on one versus them and, and I'm not in both out, says Harry Carr. Go on, Harry. <laughs> nah, they were just tin cans though man when was the last fight you had if ever says vk dean um the last fight i had was um probably when i was about 20 and um i was walking back i was uh walking back and uh, got into an altercation with this group of lads and it was just me and there's f four of them and <laughs> or five of them actually five of them and um it's basically got the shit kicked out of me, guys. That's, that's the last fight I was in. I mean, you know, just got the shit kicked out of me by five guys. To be honest with you guys, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I'd love to say I kicked the shit out of all of them and stuff, but nah, mate. I got the fucking shit kicked out of me, guys. <laughs> oh, cheating bastards! I know the hoop, man. Yeah. To be fair, I did start it, so you know it was. I don't know. I, you know, I'm, I'm a chilled out guy, but I was absolutely blackout drunk. And uh, for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to walk past a bunch of people and call them a bunch of fucking dickheads. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know what I was thinking. I was fucking having one of those bad nights, guys, if you've ever been on alcohol as a youngster. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, so there you go. Took it raw, says the hoop man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five on one's near impossible since the beginning. <laughs> Yeah, I know, Di. Yeah. I know it was. I was. Being, I was being a, a complete idiot, man, that night. I was just in an angry mood, you know. They had the chill of a steam walking chihuahua. Says Harry Clark. Uh, you live and learn, exactly, mate. You live and learn. What's Jake Paul doing fighting old guys? Says Rattan Guru. Well, he's steady on there. This is Anderson the Spider Silver Man. So there is story says Anti Fredo. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I became tenderized pork. Says VK Dean. Well, there you go, Sean Nettleton. Yeah, yeah, there you go. And, uh, well, I mean, there was five of them, weren't they? <laughs> but it was funny. I do remember, like, the first one hit me, right? And I just laughed. I just I just laughed at her face and said, you punched like a fucking girl, lad. <laughs> and they so I punched me again. I'm like, you are an absolute woman, mate. And then they just, and then they just started, <laughs> they just uh, all had to go. But it happens. <laughs> Anti Tate Legend says Russia. <laughs> oh, times of fight, guys. If anyone knows, says Alfie Whittaker. Any moment now, I'm just waiting for the ring walk. So it's scheduled for like a few minutes. <laughs> we live and we learn. Definitely, Sean, man. Definitely. Yeah, you can get a shout out, Clapsy. What's going on there, Clapsy? How are you doing tonight? Welcome in. I'm six foot two, Bubbles. And I currently have lost 40 pounds and now I still now I weigh 19 stone seven, which is 277 pounds. So, um, yeah, so uh, I lost 40 pounds over the last couple of months, guys. I was 323, no, yeah, 313 or something. Nearly lost 40 pounds. Thank you, Crapsy, for subscribing, man. I appreciate you, dude. Noty gang. Nice one. Thanks for turning on the notifications as well, Crafty. That's awesome. I mean, to be fair, we don't do many of these like boxing watch alongs, but this is just one we're doing, and sometimes we do the odd one. Nice one. Thank you, Connor Matthews. Cheers, Alfie Whitaker. Says you seem like a nice guy. I'm a sub. Thank you, Alfie Whitaker. You too, bro. Appreciate it a lot, man. That's nice of you. 
Thanks for hitting that sub up. You look like one of them Blues Brothers with the glass and hats pig. <laughs> I know, I'm sort of going for that, mate. Going for that look. Hope to get sparked out says Boise. It's on pay-per-view, like it's on um, Showtime pay-per-view, Ritam Gurung, or it's on, is it Fight TV uh, short? Yeah, Fight TV yeah, short, Nesselton. Subway says, why is the United Channel watching? Jake says, Subway's. Well, I was playing FIFA, man. I do late night FIFA streams. And, uh, well, you know, we're going to watch it anyway. So I thought we'd just do a cheeky little watch along for it, lad, and get in there raw and watch it with the Bacon Brigade. Nice one. Thanks for subscribing, Clapsy. You was drunk once, gave a big bonus to someone down the road and immediately tripped up the curb as I'm gobbing off. <laughs> nice one, D.I. Bro. I mean, that actually reminds me of another story when I got the shit kicked out of me. Actually, D.I. Bro, funny enough, you should say that. Because once when I was 14, we were at this park getting drunk on cider, a small group of us, and um, these lads came and hanging out with us, just normal, right? Just hanging out, you know, like sound. Next thing you know, I'm sat across with uh, my missus at the time. Or well, I say missus, you know, we're 14, but my girlfriend at the time. And, um, and uh, I'm like maybe 15, 20 meters away, chilling on a bench or something. And then one of these guys just hits my mate in the face. And so I fucking run over, go, oh, you fucking you know, run over, right? And I'm pretty drunk. And I just run towards him. And I just fall flat, flat face first, smack on the floor. And then he just boots me in the face. <laughs> I'm just fucking done, you know what I mean? That was my contribution. Run over, fucking run over. And I tripped on the floor. He just fucking kicks me in the face, guys. I'm fucking... <laughs> These are not good stories, are they, guys? <laughs> These are not good stories. But, you know. <laughs> good times, D.I. Bry, yep. Yeah. If he can ease his pick up some badly in these fights. Yeah, well, you know. I've had a, a couple at school where I've come off better, but, you know, that's a uh, long time ago. No, I don't remember the drink, Thunderbirds, Calf Dog, no. I'll take a good whipping hoop, man. Oh, yeah. T <laughs> T I'll take a little licking and keep on ticking, mate, definitely. K Cider says bubble or something like that. I think it's probably White Lightning or ye old English cider back in the day. They make for funny stories to share, says Anthony Frieda. Nah, it's not started yet, J.A., dude. Can we get a story time stream special 100k subs? Yeah, maybe, Connor. <laughs> 10 hours long. Oh, nice one, DI Bry. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you know, it happens, you know. Um, I like to think of myself as reasonably a uh, big, strong, tough guy. <laughs> um, let's face it. Nobody, everybody can get the shit kicked out of them sometimes, you know. Especially if you fall flat first in front of somebody who's about ready to have a Barney with you anyway. And also, if there's five of them, so, you know, we all get the shit to get kicked out of us sometimes, guys. <laughs> oh, man. Right, it's about to kick off, is it, guys? Come on, get out the fucking back, back room here and get into the ring, guys. This is the longest pre-sesh ever. Jake Paul's just in there just having diarrhea session right now, bricking it. He's going to have to face the spider. Anderson Silver right now. Nice, Jay King. He's never lost a fight. Well, fair play to you. He's never had a fight, though. <laughs> VK says, I once ended up in a fight with this girl's boyfriend after she came on to me in a club. I think she was trying to make him jealous and they had a fight or something. Bad times. Oh, fucking hell, mate. It's not what you need, is it? You hope Jake Paul gets turned into a vegetable. Bloody hell, Drew. I don't hope that, mate. That is, that's a bit much, bro. That's a little bit much. I don't hope that. I hope he gets, uh, you know... Knock the fuck out, but I don't know if he gets turned into a fucking veg, man. Holy shit. Good old diarrhea session, Harry Clark. Yeah, he's having it. He's, he's squeaky bum time backstage, mate. Yeah, VKD, he's already a donut. He doesn't need to be a vegetable now, nah, man. Now, nah, in all seriousness, like, uh, as much as you might think he's a complete tool bag, um, it's not like he, you have to watch his content or really engage him in and whatsoever. He's just a person in the world. So you don't need to wish vegetableism upon anybody, you know? Uh. Cyberpunk. Holy shit, you got carried away and put your rent money on round one. Fucking hell, who for? That's nutty shit, mate. I think so too, Carlson Gracie, BJJ. If Anderson loses, it's a fixed fight. I'm totally with you, bud. 
Anderson's too wily, too experienced. Right, the announcers just announcing them now, guys. They're going to make their ring walks. So Anderson Silva's too wily, too experienced. He's too fluid of his movements as well. Even at 47, he's got that ability to... He's got a chin. He's got the slipping ability. He can slip and move. He's not going to stand there. You know, he's got range. He's long. He's tall. He's not going to... It's not going to... It's not going to be easy for Jake Paul, though. No. It shouldn't be. And if it is easy for him or if he gets the dub, I think it's bullshit. <laughs> I'm just recording it now. Thank you for subscribing. Alfie Whitaker, get in. Is Bruce Buffer the announcer, says Gab Dog? No, it's not. It's that other guy. What's his face? That classic boxing guy. The Showtime guy. Um, 600. The old guy. 600 pounds on road. One all me rent. Six Fucking hell. That's nuts, man. I wouldn't do that if I were you, bud. <laughs> that's a silly idea. I'd cash out. Cash that out, mate, if I were you, bud. But that's up to you. Scenario so can get behind silver. Maybe just put a tenner on it, lad, instead of your whole fucking rent check. <laughs> I mean, uh, it's going to be rigged, pig lad, says AA. Maybe. Anderson's just got into the ring then, guys. Primot says, a scenario I can get behind. Silver head kicks him and takes the DQ. <laughs> That's what we want. That's what I wanted Conor McGregor to do when he fought Floyd Mayweather. That would have been fantastic. Hits him with a fucking axe kick to the top of the dome. <clears throat> yeah, Anderson's got stamina. What do you mean there, Liam S? Jake has stamina. You don't guys don't realise it's Raven's man's hand. Well, okay, we'll see. Well, maybe he does have stamina. We haven't seen how many rounds is this even scheduled for, folks? Right, it's about to start now, guys. It's uh it's gonna be live here. So everyone smash that like button, hit the thumbs up, give us a share, give us a boost up there, smash the subscribe and get involved. Not even a match this FIFA in a list. Well, I mean, I would imagine Anderson Silva's going to wipe the floor with him, but who knows? People seem to think Jake Paul's going to win. In fact, if you if you look at the poll, if you're just getting in the stream, have a look at the poll in the chat. You can see that it's had 1,295 votes. 46% of the live chat think Jake Paul's going to win, 10% think a draw, and 45% think Silva. So it's basically split down the middle as to what people think and who's going to win. I think Silva round three, TKO, I think he's going to going to get him. It's 108 rounds. Okay, Sean, that's what a nice. Yeah, I'm going for silver round three. Get your rounds and your winner in the chat then, everybody. Let's have a little vote. Get your round and get your winner. I'm going silver round three. Yeah, I will do Franklin Cap. Relying on you for round by round analysis because don't feel like streaming it. No worries, Franklin. I like you know what's going on. Definitely FIFA. In this. I mean, Anderson Silver, in terms of experiencing combat, um, you know, combat sports. He's got about as much as anybody on this earth. But in terms of boxing, he's had a few, but he's not really that experienced in boxing. But his stand-up game, you know, in his boxing game is always great. I mean, who smash a one if you ever watched um uh Anderson Silver versus Forrest Whitaker. Sorry, <laughs> not Forrest Whitaker, no, no. <laughs> not the actor from The Last King of Scotland. I mean Forrest Griffin. <laughs> <laughs> Forrest Griffin. Smash a one if you ever watched that. It's like Anderson Silva's boxing was always was always next level. Was always next level in like MMA because like he just like he makes he, he he just makes a mockery of him with his speed and his hands in that fight. You know, it's like he 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 it's, he, he was too good. He's just too good. His hands were so good. So if his hands suddenly go to shit, I'm very very dubious, mate. I I, I know he was good. Yeah, <laughs> not Forrest Whitaker goes Forrest Griffin. <laughs> Next, you'll be saying Forrest Gavier. Yeah. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. What does vacation mean, Mama? Vacation's where you go along, away for a very long time, Forrest. And never come back. <laughs> <laughs> Has it started, Piggy? It's about to start now, Clay's FN. Yeah. Jimmy Dunn Jr. announcing him in. Jenny, I may not be a smart man, but I know what love is. I have been to America, Ravens, Manhattan. I've been to like nine states or ten states in America, man. I did a little road trip several years back. Um, started in Los Angeles, went through a load of states and finished in Minnesota where my brother uh, lives and just went 
bunch of places in between us. Cool, man. It's not uh, finished yet, Aaron. It's just about to start now. Cyberpunk says, enter the Matrix. Up in big trouble this time. Nottingham Forest says, Rajat. The shrimp fella in Forrest Gump is cruel quality. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bubba. Bubba. You can make all kinds of different shrimp. Stupid is the stupid does. Jay King says, let her audio. Can't show, can't hear you. Uh, can't play any audio or any uh, video or anything. Silver versus Gump says, Nick Pendragon. Again. Yes, lad. Yeah, Bubba says, Gad Dog. What about old uh, Lieutenant Dan? Hey, Forrest, I came to test out my sea legs. But you ain't got no legs, Lieutenant Dan. I know. <laughs> oh, man. I gotta find Bubba. Come on, right, the game's, uh, the match is about to kick off here, guys. It's about to get going. Let's see Anderson Silva absolutely drop him up. Come on, Silva. Who do you want to win, then? What do you mean you can hear audio? I don't think you can hear audio, can you? Nah, you can't hear audio, mate. Guys, special one if you can hear the... Uh, you can't hear any audio. Special one if you can hear audio. I don't think you can. Yeah, that's right. No audio. Okay, nice one, Gab Dog. We can't hear audio. Okay, good stuff. <laughs> Alright, thanks, guys. I appreciate you. Anderson the Spider. We all want Silver to win. Yeah, me too, Castle Gracie. So, yeah, who do you want to win, guys? Silver says no such done. Anderson the Spider. Silver. Thank you, J. King. Thank you, FIFA Fever. Hey, no worries, Rash Appalachian Land. Oh, I see Ember One. Guess he means it's loud. I don't think it actually is, though. I could be wrong, but I better not chance it, man. Jake Paul Silver, Silver says Hoopman and Gav Dog. So, yep, Jake Paul boasting a record of 5 and 0 oh with 4 KOs. Silver's too nice to get sparked up by Jake Pauline, says Alfie Whitaker. It's just too wide, isn't he? Too good an experience, too tough. Oh, really, Sean Nettleton? Okay, then, man. Thank you for uh, letting us know, bro. Try and turn this game down a little bit. Yeah, a lot of people have come and gone throughout, I think, the eyebrow lad. Silver says Nick Pendragon. All people trying to find the fights, pretty much, you know. What's he doing punching himself in the face? Uh, Jake Paul looks like an absolute bloody toss pot. <laughs> oh, getting himself pumped up. He's going to get touched more than that in a minute. He does seem pretty nervous, Abby Cassie. He's trying to fire himself up, ride himself up for this one. Silver, 100%. Come on, then, guys. It's about to get going here. Silver versus Jake Paul is kicking off. Really? Chris is not able to bet on this boxing match? Is it not official? Can you not? No? I don't know, Sean Netterton, man. We've got 196 legends in here watching, though. Okay, they're just facing off against each other. Referees uh, administering his rules, and uh, they touch gloves. Anderson Silver gives his customary bow. Jake Paul doesn't stick around for that. Already has his back turned to him, and is going back to his corner. And now they're going to come out and start going, man. I have bet on a football match loads of times, Raven, yeah. Paul looks terrified, says John. Uh, he does, yeah, he looks pretty terrified. I would be too, going in there against Silver, mate. To be fair, Silver's no joke. Andrew Garcia, Sosa, get in there, Sosa. Carson Gracie says, quick KO for Silver. I think so. I'm going round three, Silver. And it's underway, guys. Round one is underway here. Jake Paul comes into the center of the ring here. And he's just flailing that left jab in towards the face of Silver without any conviction, without touching him or anything. Just putting it out there, finding the range, I guess. Silver is just chilling, just standing there, chilling, not using any much energy at the moment, just hanging out, feeling it out, feeling it out. Jake Paul keeps coming at him with those uh, little jabby jabs and not any conviction behind them. Tries to go to the stomach. Anderson Silver moves out the way like a matador. And uh, Silver just seemingly playing with him at the moment. Just standing there. Jake Paul. 
It's just flapping his left paw in the air. Is this for real, man? Or is this a bullshit fake fight, guys, already? I mean, what the fuck's going on? Somebody hit someone for fuck's sake, mate. What is going on? Is this going to actually... Is somebody going to throw an actual legitimate punch in a sec or no? A whole minute's gone of the first round. Okay, we got a, a body shot there from Jake Paul to uh, Anderson Silva's sternum. Jake Paul taking a low stance, coming with another right hand to Anderson Silva's body. Going to be a sparring session for Anderson, says Dio Bray. Now the left comes round the corner. Anderson Silva's got his glove up. And a right hook from Jake Paul bounces off the glove of Anderson Silva. He gets his gloves up. Well, and he's dancing around now. Silva's footwork. I mean, Silva's movement and stuff. You can see he's not even... He's just not even really even got anywhere near 60 70 percent yet he's just uh he's fluid though i think he just wants to maybe put on some sort of show before he knocks the fuck out of jake paul here possibly i don't know mate but jake paul is just uh in the center of the ring here silver just chilling not really doing much jake paul's coming in and hitting him he's silver seemingly just absorbing it laughing at the moment not phased at all yeah silver just playing around jake king just chilling man just finding himself. Yeah, 21 nit pieces. Pig, if Silver loses this, and it's just a fix. Yeah, I don't think Silver's going to lose this, mate, to be honest. He oh, nice left hook there by Silver on the on the counter. Jake Paul hits himself in the face like he doesn't care. It's a good little stiff jab, though, by uh, Silver on the counter. Nice one. And um, it's, just, it's just got going. Jake definitely looking a little bit shook. He just hit himself in the face like he doesn't care. But, you know, <laughs> he definitely got one. I didn't see it coming there. Just a little one. Toying with Jake Paul says Rajat Valesha. Oh, yeah. And now they tied up. Referee comes in and splits them apart. Silver's totally in control, Ravens man's hand. Yeah, he hasn't even had to do... Yeah, he hasn't even started moving his feet properly yet. You know, but he's definitely can. And that's the end of the round, guys. And, you know, as far as a points round, who got the points? I mean, I guess you could argue Jake Paul. <laughs> Maybe in terms of the point, because... I don't know. I mean, he, he hit him in the body like three times. Silver's hit him once. Silver just standing there not doing anything. So from a points point of view, you know, Jake obviously won the first round. But he didn't really, did he? He didn't really, did he? Silver's just toying with him, man. Silver in control. Yeah, Silver's going to win it. <laughs> that was a good counter left, though. Little loop in left hand. It's a loop in left hand by Anderson Silver. And it definitely, Jake Paul definitely felt it. It's on like um, Showtime pay per view, twenty one P or Fight TV pay per view. Unfortunately, Paul's a frightened puppy. Says the Hoop Man. I think he just realised with that just that one little jab there that he's in with a proper fighter here because it wasn't even a jab. Sorry, a little uh, loop and left, but you know, just realised that S Silver's. You can't just lunge in on Silver, mate. He's a counter beast. <clears throat> Hey, bring it on, Sosa, lad. Boxing judges, notorious, notorious cheats. Oh, there's so many. Oh, yeah, he's got him up against the ropes. Anna Silva, big left hook, goes missing. Ref splits him, and um, they take the stance again in the middle of the ring here. I think Anderson Silva's going to absolutely destroy him. Now, <laughs> guys, he looks like he's about to turn it on. Silva feeding him out with those little right jabs and comes in with a big left. Body shot by Silva. He's putting it on Jake Paul a little bit here. Jake Paul trying to fight back. Finally, we're seeing a bit of adversity given out to Jake Paul. Good uppercut there from Silva. Jake Paul takes it, eats it well. Little one, it's just a glance and one. Now Jake Paul with a couple of jabs, hits uh, Silva with a right hook. Silva just laughs it off, shucks it off, pushing Jake Paul. Jake Paul's flustered. Jake Paul is flustered. He's in the corner. He's up against the ropes. Anderson Silva, they just tie up now. Anderson Silva just taps him on the back and says, don't fucking tie me up, bring it on, let's go. And, they, and he goes, come on, let's go. Come on, Anderson Silva. Oh, he ices Jake in his prime Franklin cap. But he's going to ice him now anyway. Now Silver doing a little cheeky little Muhammad Ali backwards shuffle around the ring. Love it, mate. Go on, Anderson. Okay, Jake in the center tries a little uh, right from distance. Pulls it away. Doesn't commit. Silver now. Left down the pipe. Misses. This looks like a man versus a boy so far, though. Jake Paul right hand. 
Oh, man. I mean, Jake Paul, some of Jake Paul's shots look pretty powerful, but he just doesn't, he's not connecting. Silver's too elusive. It's not connecting right now. But, I mean, he's got power, but trying to hit a fighter like Silver is another question, man. Oh, Silver's making a mockery. Lovely head movement low down. Oh, Silver, Anderson Silver making a fucking mockery. <laughs> He's dancing around. Anderson Silva. You fucking legend. He's making a mockery of him, my son. He's just fucking taking the piss out of him. He's just, uh, just like dancing around his glove like this with his head, mate. Fucking brilliant. We're in the, we're in the second round, Tactician Tom, in the second round. And Silva's just playing with him at the moment, man. He's got Jake Paul bashed, uh, pushed up in the corner now. And they clinch up again. He's trolling him, isn't he, Raja? Yeah, he's proper trolling him, guys, man. Oh, brilliant. You see, one thing Silver has a tendency to do, though, which has cost him big time in the past, is he, he does play around and play clown. And, you know, he does do that a bit. And he probably feels like he could do that against Jake Paul more than anyone. So let's hope he doesn't get caught just by doing something silly with his hands down or something crazy like we have seen before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they clinched up and Jake Paul's in him the face. And Alison Silver goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> like this, like he's been shook, mate. Yeah, that's fucking brilliant. Silver's trolling the shit out of him. I'm loving this. I'm loving this, guys. God, Anderson Silver. <laughs> <laughs> fucking brilliant. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, Anderson Silver just made a mockery of him that round, guys. Definitely Silver's round. And uh, just put pressured him and didn't even really get out of second gear either, but enough to pressure Jake Paul around the, the ring. <laughs> Silver is like Anthony Spin. Yeah, he is, man. It's that Brazilian flair, man. That Yoga Benito vibe. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, they're just in the corners now, getting some uh, advice, and they're going to come out for the third round. Three hundred and thirty-three likes, guys. That's awesome. Keep smashing the likes and hit the subscribe if you're just getting in here. Um, it is now round three, just underway. Here they go. They come out. Anderson Silver now, just trying to uh, feed them out here with a couple of little right jabs, just thrown out in the air there. Jake Paul tries to go to the body, lunges in, very low. Comes over the top with a left. Silver not there. Man, Silver looks so good, doesn't he, though? This is levels, man. This is levels because even if it doesn't go Silver's way for the rest of this fight, right, you can just see, like, when he was in his prime, when he was a youngster, like, good almighty, he was something else, man. And uh, he's not even a boxer, by the way. He's not actually a boxer, but his, just his strike. Look at his movement and stuff, the way he's just, he's just, he's fluid, man. <laughs> he's, he's, he's fluid. He's mugging him off raw, isn't he, here? Yeah, good entertainment, Rashad Felicia. Oh, yes, nice little right to the, sort of hits him in the shoulder, but uh, Silver now is controlling things. He's got the center of the ring. Jake Paul tries a couple of shots. Now Silver pushes him up into the corner, up against the ropes. Jake Paul trying to circle away. He clinches up. Silver's not having none of it. Pushes him away. Tries the loop in right. Jake Paul with a little uh, straight down the pipe. Silver doesn't give a shite. Oh, and Silver hits him with a little left and makes Jake Paul think about it. Jake Paul's definitely doing all right, though, to be honest. You know, fair play to him. He's... Uh, you know, he, he's he's definitely looking flustered. He's definitely going to have his cardio tested in, in in the next couple of rounds. But like he's, you know, he's not like he's not getting disgraced. I know Silver's clowning him, but I thought this would have been over by now, to be honest, already. So he's done better than I thought he was going to do. And uh, Silver moving his head out of the way here. No problems. His head movement's just really good. Jake tries to catch catches him there with a little one, with his left. Men versus boys. Let's be real. Yeah, Rashad. I mean, yeah. Definitely. Anderson Silver just showing complete superiority at the moment and uh, was making a mockery of him. Not very much action at the moment at the end of round three here. They clinch up near the ropes. Ref comes in, splits them up. He's caught Silver a few times too. Yeah, he's he's done all right to be fair. He's not. He's, he looks reasonably quick, and he looks he's got some power, but he's just not connecting anything. Oh yes, yeah, Silver with a little flurry, nice combo. Hits him with five or six unanswered shots there, and then they clinch up. Just some body shots by Silver there. Starts piecing up Jake Paul here. 
Maybe Anthony Fred says Jake probably paid for this to go a certain amount of rounds. Jake Fred and Adam here. I mean, I do get the impression, right? Oh, Silver, nice in the clinch, hits him on the left. I do get the impression, right? But Anderson Silver has often fought like this a lot of times throughout his career, to be fair to him. But I get the impression that he could be going for it more heavy when he wants to get him out of there. He's just kind of like enjoying himself, you know? Like he could, if he really wanted to put him on him, I reckon he could. But he's just, just not. He's just not. He's just letting it play out, you know? But he does fight like that sometimes, you know? Like I remember like, there's so many fights over the years where, you know, like the Uriah Hall fight or the, um, even the Michael Bisping fight, the Michael Bisping fight where it's like the last round, you think he should be pushing for more for it to try and win the fight and he just sort of takes it a bit casual. So he is a bit, he is a bit like that. Abu Kasim says, you're right, mate. Yeah. Everyone has great nights as Jay King. Got to be winning in scorecards. Anderson. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Um, Ravens Man says, Pig, why is this fight so late? It's bull crap. Oh, tell me about it, mate. It's just because it's on in America, I guess. It's a good, good little right there from Jake. They're just showing the replay. Hits him with a cheeky little right hook back. It's 21 Nick pieces. That ring girl would get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> Carlson Crazy Beauty News says, Is it too much to ask to see Jake get knocked out? I know, I know, I know. We're hoping for it, bud. We'll see. This round four just started now of eight rounds. Still plenty of time to go here, obviously. So we could see it, but Jake Paul closes the distance, tries to get a couple of shots off on Anderson. Anderson's just not phased by anything, you see. He's just so battle-hardened and experienced when it comes to people trying to throw shots of anything at him. So he looks just very comfortable and... I mean, remember, Jake's basically in his prime here. I mean, not his prime for experience, because I think he's only been boxing properly in a few years, but his prime, physical prime. And Silver's 47 here. And, uh, man, you wouldn't really know that there's that sort of age difference going on. There's blood on Anderson, says Drew Who. Silver bust knows. Wow, fair play, man. There you go. So he's a, he did hit him with a good uh, good right in that one. Definitely was a couple of good shots on him by Paul. He's, he's done all right, to be fair. Like, like, like you said, it's done better than I thought this was going to go. This is a very uh, boring round. This one, no action at all. A minute 45 left on the clock here. And they haven't really engaged with each other properly in this one. A little body shot from Jake Paul. Silver now, close it. Hits him with a left, straight left. Paul circling away to his right. Couple of flurries now. Anderson, good uppercut. Jake Paul, fair play to him though. He's, he's, you know, he's, uh, he's in this fight. He is in this fight. He covers up on the ropes. Anderson pops a couple of friendly shots off at him. Yeah, Chris says Jake's left jab looks hopeless. Silver and his reach, obvious. Yeah, oh yeah, Silver's range. It's very lengthy, isn't he? Not much action going on at all. Just dancing around. Nothing much going on here, guys. Silver's got him in the corner now. Try, tries to uh, hit him in the body. And no connection. They're just hugging it out. Referee comes in and breaks him up. Back to the middle they go. Yeah, Silver's doing really well, man. I mean, his head movement's very, very good. He's just Jake Paul's throwing some shots at him, and Silver's just too. It's just Silver's just nice and quick. Jake looks pretty quick so far, mate. He's doing all right so far. He's looking all right. Silver now, a few body shots, good uppercut, and that's the end of the round there. So yeah, again, you know, close round, very close round again there, folks. But um. Boring round, that one. Not much happened there. Just a little bit of action at the end. Definitely he's a pro, isn't he, Rajak? Yeah. Hoop man says, imagine paying for this shit. <laughs> but a plenty of fine Pig United fan. You bunch of legends. Getting in here raw. 209 late night legends getting in here at 4.26am, which is actually 5.26am UK time because the clocks went back at 2am to 1am. So uh, it's actually like 5.26am. That's how late night we are. 
We're going to be back on this channel in less than 12 hours as well. I did not know this was going to be on this late, to be fair. I've shat it. But we've got a watch along for the Man United game that is obviously on. It's going to be on tomorrow at 4.15. So we're doing a cheeky little watch along for it at uh, 3.45 we'll be on. Okay, round five is underway, guys. <clears throat> yeah, I've got plenty of time, to be fair. Morning there, Carluccio. Welcome in, Carluccio. How's, how's it hanging? Phones change themselves. Yes, it's Boise 88. What's that now? Oh, yeah, got lucky, though, with the clocks changing. Yeah, true. We save an hour, don't you? are right, yeah. You're so right, actually, yeah. Saved a good hour here, man. Get an extra hour in bed. Yes, lad. Uh, I have a cup of coffee every morning, Ravens, man, Sam. But uh, uh, the maximum I ever have, sometimes I have two cups a day, but mostly just one cup every day. First thing in the morning. Silver's got him backed up in the corner then. Chuck's in a right to the body. Silver just swinging some long ones around, Jake, not really connecting too much. But he's definitely the, uh, the aggressor at the moment. He's got him uh, backed up in the corner now. Addison Silver pushes Jake Paul away now from the clinch. Connects with a right jab and follows up with a left. And Silver just popping a couple of decent shots in there. But Jake, weathering the storm, chucks a couple of punches back at Anderson. Nothing really connecting. Jake with a couple of jags. Silver just... Makes a little bit of a mockery again of his head movement there. Oh, nice stiff uppercut from Anderson Silva. Lads on Jake Paul's chin. Ch Jake Paul's showing he hasn't got a bad little chin at the moment. He hasn't been caught with anything big. But that was a nice little one under the jaw from Silva. Coffee hurts your head. I think my body doesn't agree. It doesn't, it doesn't agree with my stomach, mate. My stomach gets all acidic if I drink too much coffee. <coughs> tea is good mate as well yeah all right anyway let's uh let's uh let's get in this so now it's my predictions already wrong i predicted anderson silver round three and uh it's already wrong so could this go the distance let's get a vote in the chat guys do you think this goes the distance yes or no yes you think it goes full eight rounds and there's a de decision or no you think somebody gets the ko early let's let's know what you think or the stoppage early Fair plenty of Ravens, man, Sound. Have a good old pump, lad. Yes, by the way, says Ravens. Yeah, distance is Boise. Wow, really, Tectus? You have seven cups of coffee a day, says Tectus. You tell what the hell? Oh, nice. Silver with a little flurry hits a cup, pots a couple on his chin. Jake Paul, another good uppercut there by Silver. Jake Paul eating them all, though, at the moment. Silver now got him in the corner. I just want to see him put down. Go on, Anderson. Put him down, my son. Clinched up. Jake Paul clinched them up. Silver pushed them away. And that's going to be the end of the round. Ref splits them up. So just uh, three rounds left. And it's, you know, Silver's round again there. But um, seven a day, though. Are you serious, Tom? That's too much, man. How much are you weighing now, by the way? How many pounds are you away from your target, Tactician, Tom? So um, I weighed myself this morning, bro. bro. And uh, <coughs> oh, my battery's died, but... Anyway, I was I was going to show you the picture I took, but but no, it's a uh, tw I'm twenty twenty nineteen stone seven point two this morning, so I'm seven point two pounds away from goal. Where are you? How many how many how many pounds away are you? Showtime has Paul winning. Really, you think so, Mister Burma Django? What the f the distance and decision goes to fuck trumpet. You reckon Primot? I could see it happening. <laughs> but I personally think Silver's winning this, mate. I mean, nobody's really winning this at the moment. But if anybody is, then you know, I'll give it to Silver. He's going be quite a decent few ones in the clinch and stuff as well. Wow, well, fucking hell! Fair play, Stephen. Robinson. You've been drinking coffee all day, then. Fucking hell. Fixed so Paul wins on points. Well, maybe. Look, I want to see Anderson Silva go for this, guys, because like I've said, Anderson Silva looks like he's just playing around like it's a little sparring session. He's not going for it. He's not trying to put 
Jake Paul away or anything. Now, it is kind of somewhat of an exhibitionary type fight, though. So does he really feel like he has to commit to that point? But why, other than, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just go and try all the smack talk and stuff? Why don't we just go and try and knock him out? He's got to be going for it, man. And at the moment, he doesn't seem to be going for it. So that's a big major red flag for me. We are in round six at the moment there, Conmet. Round six, bro. Minute 55 left on the, the clock. Jake tries a big right hand, misses. Some of a little left. Silver ducks out of the way with another looping left from Jake Paul. Shit show, says Adam Young. Watch it be a controversial decision followed by a second fight for more money. Maybe Anthony Freddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. Yeah, fair play, Drew Who. It's been better than you thought it'd be. Paul goes next round, says Hoopman. Yeah, six of eight, Adam Young. Come on. Go for it, Anderson lad. Jake Paul did decent little combo from Jake Paul. Hits one on the chin with the right hand. That's woken Anderson Silver up a little bit here. Clinches up Anderson Silver. Little couple of clinch shots there. Ref comes in and splits him up. But yeah, decent little po decent little punch there from uh, um, Jake. Exhibition, more or less this Andy Young. It's smacks of an exhibition this, bro. Yeah. Obviously, that's what it is pretty much, but... Fair play, Joe. I think it's like 18 quid, man, to be fair, comment. It's a shitload of cash, mate. Anderson Silver now got him pushed up in the corner. Just not much going on. There's just not much going on here. Mm. I mean, I was entertained, and now I'm bored. I want something to happen here, guys. Anderson Silver, come on. Fair play to them. I mean, Jake Paul's chucked in a few decent attempts of trying to Put him away, Anderson Silver now. Push him up against the ropes. Flurries and little uppercuts and rapid punches coming in. But nothing major. Jake Paul fighting back. I mean, you know, oh, he's got him with a good one there on the chin just before the bell goes. And the bell has gone. That's going to be the end of round six. So just two more rounds to see if there's going to be a definitive winner of this fight. Don't like what I'm seeing, says J.A. Mm, so Silver should be 5-1 up. Paul should have to be looking for a knockout. Yeah, well, I, I think I've got Silver winner as well. I mean, Jake Paul's won a couple of rounds, but yeah, I've got Silver win it as well. Franklin says, I can see Diaz fight Paul since he's out of USC contract. Yeah, he's in the crowd there, isn't he? Interesting. Nate Diaz has got really pretty decent boxing, though, to be fair. I mean, that would be a good one. Knock him out, says no, that's done. Something does smell fixed, J.A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Piggy, piggy, can't you see? Sometimes words just hypnotize me. They're fighting now, Davey. So round seven is just about to start now. And uh, it's just starting now, round seven. And um, there's two rounds left, mate. This one and round eight. So that's all there is, bud. It's almost finished. David says, I have a feeling Jake is going to win. I mean, at the moment, you know, in my honest opinion, it's either a slight silver win or, if we're being honest, you know, a draw at the moment doesn't sound that unreasonable. It depending on who's scoring it. If you're talking about points and stuff, but if you're just viewing it as a contest, I mean, it's, it's, it, it is the definition of a draw. Nobody's done jack shit yet. So, and there's a couple of tr blows being traded. It's not like anyone's really... Uh, uh, yeah, Slurp King says it's a fix. I mean, unless something actually happens in the last two rounds. I mean, Silver's just not putting it on him at all here. He is just chilling out. He's just chilling out, mate, and it just doesn't sit right. Go on then, Silver. Come on, do something, man. He's got, he got an opening there. Fucking stick one on him, mate. Uh, he, he, the, the longer this goes on, the more this does just smell real bad. Because Silver's just not even... What are you doing, Anderson Silver, mate? Go on, do something, my son. Fix for Jake for win, says Rajat. Yeah, Jake will make millions on it. Yeah, I guess so. And let's face it, having another big fight makes sense. Good right there by Jake. Anderson just hits his glove and comes back forward. 
<sighs> this is real shitty, man. Anderson Silva, come on, bro. Yeah, of uh, he sounds like the dude is treating it like a spa session. If he went for it, it'd be it'd be over. Well, that's what I think too. But I mean, I'd like him to just at least go for it for one round. Maybe he doesn't have to like full on, full blooded, you know, open himself up and all that shit. But just one round of trying to win the fight would be nice. <laughs> oh God, it's not going to be another one of these shit shows, is it, man? Just an unsatisfying gash match. We want to see some clear outcome here. Come on. Even if it's a Jake Paul win, even if he knocks others and silver out, I fucking rather that, to be honest, <laughs> than just a, a bullshit decision playing out to a bore draw. Sounds fucking rubbish, mate. Okay, Silver's got him in the, uh, Silver's got him in the corner now, and uh, look, they clinched up again. A lot of clinching going on, and ref split him up. Yeah, Bubbles has stayed up till four thirty a.m. to watch this. This is shit. This is shit so far. I mean, it started off first couple rounds were pretty fun. It's just turned into a boring shit show where nobody's even really bothered about trying to win this. Yeah, oh, definitely rush out. Silver hasn't given anything here, mate. He's barely trying. He's barely trying, man. And there's one round left after this. That's the end of the round. What a shit show, mate. Ah, oh, okay, now there's one round left, guys. That's the end of the round. What a shit show. Hey, once again, everyone, though, if you're just getting in the stream, if it's your first time here, please feel free to drop a subscribe. It's free to subscribe. Also, smash that like button up if you haven't done so. Click the like on the stream and help us get to 350. Also, smash the bell icon for notifications. What an absolute joke. Snooze fest, man. Right, we've got to have one good round here, surely. Otherwise, what are these people actually paying to see? What is the point? You wouldn't pay to watch another, says Stephen Roberts. I, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, you see, that's it. You've got to get some sort of entertainment or value for you. Right, okay, round eight, guys, and uh, 10 seconds in. Jake Paul, Addison Silver, Little Flurry. Right, Anderson now, a few decent heavy body shots. Looking for those uppercuts, trying to make a little bit of a fight of it. Oh, shit, and Jake Paul puts him down with a little fucking, uh, little right hand, guys, fucking hell, little right hand over the top, and Silver's down. He gets straight back up again, but he just uh, lost his footing for a second there. He's absolutely fine. But fuck it out. There you go. He's going to lose now. Bet yeah, he loses this fight now based on, that, based on that tiny little shitty knockdown there. What a load of fucking bollocks this fight is. What a fucking fixed bullshit guff fest. Unbelievable. How do you even go down from that, mate? It's a fucking little girl blow, lad. It's a fucking pillow over the top. It just fell backwards, mate. Fucking bullshit fix. 10 8 says, <laughs> yeah. Crap fight this. Come on, Sylvie. You've got a minute 30, and Jake Paul's just put you down. What are you doing? Why are you not there fucking windmilling at this twat, mate? Trying to put him away, mate. Come on, Sylvie. This is a fucking payday sparring session. Fix fucking fight bullshit. Guff up, mate. Come on, for fuck's sake, lad. Oh, my God. Fucking hell, he just put you down for a second, so are you going to let that happen, mate? Are you going to fucking let Jake Paul beat you in a boxing match? Where is the inter in internationally at the end, mate? This ain't Anderson Silva, mate. What's going on here, bro? The right hand tries to get him in the corner. This is so shit. This is this ain't this ain't right. This just feels wrong. I mean, where's these shots that he could... There's these openings that... Where's these shots for these openings that are there? It's, they're not coming. Yeah, seven. The fight's almost finished, mate. 44 seconds left of the eighth round.
What a fucking shit show, guys. It's basically done, guys. Yep, referees split them up, guys. And that's it. That's it, guys. It's basically going to be done here, guys. What an absolute shit show, bullshit, wanker, fucking gash fight. Stayed up till 4.41, actually 5.41, because the fucking clock's went back, to watch this steaming pile of fucking guff, guys. Anderson Silva, you're taking a penny, man. It just turned off to fucking do the fucking... Well, where's the fucking tenacity, mate? I want to see some fucking blood, man. I want to see you going for it. Try and win the fight, get embarrassed by a fucking Instagram YouTuber twat. Are you serious? Now, you know what? Jake Paul, he's a fucking bought this, mate. Something's wrong here. Something's fucked up here, guys. What's going on here, guys? Something's wrong. He's gone and celebrating like he's fucking won the World Cup here, this twat. Fucking unbelievable. And he's going to get the decision, I bet, as well. It's a shit show, mate. It's a fucking joke. Silver didn't even do jack shit. Didn't even go for it. Didn't do nothing, mate. What is going on? These are all preordained exhibitions, mate. It's, it's, it's clear. The Tyron Woodley fights, the Ben Askren fights. It's all fucking shit. Man, oh, man. What a waste of life. We ain't doing it again, guys. We ain't fucking doing it again. Instead of watching this shit show of a boxing match, man. That's it. We wanted, he wanted the paycheck. That's it. Imagine sending out to that twat and destroying your legacy. Yes, yeah, ST. Pathetic, mate. Addison Silver. Fucking pathetic stuff. Yeah, exactly. Active game. And literally gave... Silver literally gave 30%. Complete farce, says Mr. Bobo Django. Yeah, Jake hasn't... Well, we haven't got the decision yet, Brian Big United fan. But blatantly, it's going to be some sort of a fucking draw or some shit. And they go and... Look at this bullshit. They're in the ring, yeah? What a fucking load of bullshit. They're in the ring on their knees next to each other like they've just been in a massive fucking war like a couple of fucking warriors do. What a joke, mate. That was a fucking pillow fight. It's a fucking shit show and they're fucking acting like they've fucking been in a fucking war. Pissed off, guys. Fuck off, guys. What a shit show. <sighs> Waste of time, this, guys. Absolute waste of time. Ruin your weekend, says Sosa. Angry. I've seen boxers throw out more effort in one round than those two in eight. Exactly, Chris, yeah. I mean, I'm disappointed with Anderson Silva. Never mind Jake Paul. I'm disappointed with Anderson, man, that, you know, he allowed that to happen. And in the seventh round, he's just got put down with a silly little bullshit punch, right? And he's down. He's taken the, the, he takes the knee just to get a few seconds. It gets back up. And it's like, hang on a sec. Now's your time to put it on Jake Paul because he's probably going to win if you don't at least try and go and fucking go for it. And he just doesn't. So what does that tell you guys? Tells you he's either just doesn't care and he's just to come here for the payday, which is fair enough. But also, you know, what about his legacy? What about the fact that he's going to potentially lose to a fucking YouTuber in a, in a combat fight? Or doesn't, isn't that motivation for him? It's bullshit, mate. Seen a dying stick insect show more efforts as Harry Clark. Gives the whole sport a bad name. Yeah, Stephen Roberts. May have got paid to lose. Maybe Rajat. Who knows? It's fixed, says JA. Tells you rigged or payday both the same. Smash a one if you think it's fixed, guys. Smash a two if you think that was a legit contest. Paid more, says Rajat. Fixed like I've never seen was like acting scene gone bad. Yeah, Cyberpunk, man. Fixed, says JA. And lost to this mug. Yeah, I know. What the fuck, says Rajat. God almighty, what the fuck, Jake Defo fix? Yeah, loads of ones coming in the live chat. A couple of twos. Daryl thinks it was legit. Most people get those ones in there. <sighs> so fix as Dave the Retro Collector. Oh, that was such a shit watch as well. Such a shit watch. I mean, the first two rounds, you could just see Anderson Silva was just toying with him. And you're expecting him at some point to just go up a gear. And he just never got out of first gear. It was it was so bad. Oh, 793 fix the fix as well. They've given Jake the win. Unbelievable, guys. Jake Paul has fucking won it, guys. What a shit show. And they've uh, they announced that Jake Paul has got the win. What the fuck? I mean, it's an absolute shit show, guys. Stayed up for that, Gus. Says Harry Clark. What a fucking joke fast that was. How can that even be a win? For a start, if you're talking about judging it using boxing system, you know. Um, it's absolutely fucking gash. 10 point must system or whatever. How the fuck are they giving that fight to Jake Paul? He did get knocked down in one round, but f at least five of the rounds, Anderson Silva probably landed more. So how the fuck are they giving it to Jake Paul? They've just given it to Jake Paul and Anderson Silva is applauding like this. Just look at Anderson Silva's face when they've announced that. 
Are you fucking joking me? No, he's a fucking twat. Anderson Silva, you're a fucking bought man. You're a fucking sellout, mate. You fucking sold your life away, my son. Look at his face applauding as Jake Paul's given the win. Fuck yourself, Anderson Silva. You fucking let me down, everybody else down. You're a melt lad. Yeah, Chris, I think Silva won the judges' cards a non set up match. Doesn't care, he just made a kill, says Jay Smith. Boxing dead, says Chris. Silva took the million, says VK Dean. Melt, says John Mills. What a joke, says Kenzie. Jake won that so clearly, says Base Dwarf. What the fuck? Bag of shit, says I Bragani. Disgrace, says Sosa. Boxing dead, says Carlson Gracie. Sell out, says John Mills. Anderson, you tit not sell out. I think Anderson sold out. I hate to say it, I think Anderson sold out there, guys. He didn't even go for it at all. Yeah, Jake did win it on the cards, if you want to look at it like that there, Base Dwarf, because Silva didn't do fuck all, did he? He didn't even try. He was at 20% the whole time. That's right, Stephen. They shouldn't be allowed pay-per-view fights, man. Maybe NAS 76. Well, the Chisora one, yeah? Jake Paul's one young Steve-O. Absolute Sarah, says Harry Clark. He was able to land one punch, says Russia Valencia. What a scam, says Franklin Cap. Fixed 100% Silver's building a new house, probably, says J.A. Silver's just too good for that. He is too good for that. He's too tough for that as well. To be just put down and not even try and fight back. It's just it's just an absolute farce, mate. It's a farce. It's a fucking WWE match we just watched. Looking one, says Rajat. No honour in being a sellout. The gas is obviously 93, yeah. He's 47, says OHB. Doesn't matter. He's still fucking decent, lad. He's still decent. He still can try. He can still try to put the other guy away once. Money talks of Slope King. It's not that he tried and failed. He didn't try. He's failed, but he didn't try and fail. He didn't even try. It's pathetic. Anderson wanted a new cast as Aaron. We know Jake was going to win via fix. Come on, lads. Let's not be surprised as Carlson. Ronaldo's still the best player to grace the pitch. You're going to show it tomorrow. It starts all heads games anyway. Peace. Tactician Tom says United struggle tomorrow. Hey, maybe, you know, maybe it's, uh, we'll see. I think we'll probably be quite sound defensively. Well, actually, I don't know. We've got Varane out, don't we? So that could actually be a problem. But our defensive form's been decent recently. We look solid. Who knows? I think we'll keep a clean sheet. <laughs> Payday for silver. That's all it was ever going to be, says Alan Bernard. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it, doesn't it? It seems like it. That did it, says Chris. Chris, can you see that did it? Yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. We're done. It's a shit show. Fight's over. I don't have much respect for him, Base Dwarf. I mean, fair play to him. You know, he's done all right in an exhibition-type bullshit fight, bout, bullshit, set-up, fixed, guff mess, which is just basically a WWE match. He's done well in that sense, Base Dwarf, if you want me to praise him. He's done well paying off the opposition to just not bother to turn up, mate. He's done well, yeah. Nice one. Uh, what's up there, normal guy? If that ain't a fix, I know Cyberpunk. I mean, it, yeah, did you not see the fight there, Base Dwarf, lad? It's a fucking absolute joke. Tactician Tom says United got three games left to the World Cup in Prem. If they win all three, I predict they will be three or four points off a top spot going into break. United play the same way they have recently. We finished second. Wow, okay. Bold claim. I mean, yeah, like I mean, look, let's hope they do win those few games. They're all winnable games as well. Who have we got? Like Fulham, West Ham, and who else? Who's the other one? We've got one. It's a winnable game anyway. Thank you for subscribing. It's your boy Chip. Base Dwarf says it's evidently not rigged, otherwise, when he gets knocked out, he would have stayed down. Base Dwarf, are you fucking demented, mate? Oh, come on, Base Dwarf. What the fuck? That's your explanation. He touched him in the face like this, bud. How's he going to stay down acting like he's dead if he's been fucking bit with a pillow, for fuck's sake? Of course he's going to get back the fuck up, bro. I'll tell you what the, the reason why this is fixed. I'll tell you the main reason why it's fixed. Because he fucking lost. If you actually think about how boxing is scored, a 10-point must system, try and justify to me how Jake Paul's won five, at least five of those fucking rounds. Bullshit. I will admit he won a few of those rounds on a point system. That's it. He didn't win fucking majority of those. It's bullshit, mate. It's a fucking gash decision anyway, and it's a gash fight, and Anderson didn't even bother. It's some fixed up, guffed up, guff, mate. Come on. Anybody can see. Stevie Wonder knows that was a fixed fight, mate. Right, yeah. It's taking a piss, man. Jake was given every round. Are you kidding me, Craw? You see, what's that about? <laughs> There you go, Chris from KC, man. Exactly. Not even bothering with highlights now. Says reservation. <laughs> 78 to 73 to be unfair. What a joke, says that. Oh, well, madness. 
Base Dwarf, people, you know, people dislike many a boxer, Base Dwarf. It doesn't matter about that. It doesn't, not people aren't doing it because they don't like Jake Paul. There's loads of, I don't like Floyd Mayweather. When Floyd Mayweather was boxing, I used to say he's a fucking prat. He's a big money mouthed twat who just tortured, he's a flash bastard. Oh, he said that. Guess what? You can't help but respect somebody who's as skilled as he is, though. This is not watching skill. This is watching a fucking absolute melt brain against a fucking statue twat. You know what I mean? This isn't the same, bro. This isn't, there's nothing to respect here, lad. There you go, Stephen. He says, I give Jake respect the deep fights, mate. <laughs> Did any of them get points deducted? I don't think so, Chalmers. Chris says, I think Paul maybe won two of eight rounds. Yeah, I thought so too, Chris. I'll give him two or three. That's it. Put this Jake Paul shit in itself for five minutes on Old Stone Mike Tyson. <laughs> oh, man. What an absolute mess up that was. Anyway, okay. Guys, I mean, I'm going to have to wrap this up, guys, because it's nearly 5 a.m. And this has just been a complete shit show. And I, I'm just gutted that we stayed up and wasted our lives doing this. But I wanted to say I want to say thanks to everyone for keeping us company with all the great chat and banter tonight in the live chat. It has been a great chatter. So thank you, everyone, for all the great chatter. You are a bunch of indeed legends. And um, we are going to be back in less than 12 hours, actually, with a cheeky little watch along that's set up um, for 3.45, right? So... Here it is. I'll put it in the live chat so you can go and check it out. Do us a favor at the end of this stream. Go and smash a like over on the watch along. That's come. That's uh, three forty-five p.m. We'll be back, guys. I'll end that poll there. Forty-six percent thought that Anderson Silver, sorry, that Jake Paul was going to win, and those people were right. I guess. Unbelievable. Thank you, Gav Dog. Thank you very much, uh, for Planet Janet as well. Thank you, uh, Diamond Ninety Four and Rajat and Chalmers and Kenzie G and Sean Netherton. And John Mills as well. Good night to you, bro. And No Sage Dunn as well. Good night, bro. Base Dwarf as well. And Mr. Bobo Django. And 21 Nick Pru. Thank you to all the mods. People like Sean Netterton doing a boss job tonight, Sean Netterton. You smashed it, man. He says, what a stream. I'm knackered now. Can't wait to get to sleep. Man, thank you, Sean Netterton, honestly, from the bottom of my heart for um, doing a great job moderating tonight, man. And 21 Nick Pru and people like Wiggy and everyone else as well. Yeah, it's disgusting, though, says J.A. Thank you, Mr. Bobo Django and 21 Nick P and Darren Snedden. And Base Dwarf, and uh, also the Hoop Man, Chalmers, David Sini, Nick, Stephen, Chris, J.A., Timothy Robert, Abdullah Irwan, Harry Clark, Darren, Alan Barnard, uh, Tactician Tom says, suck an egg, you dickhead. Mr. Bobo Django, the Hoop Man, Jay Smith, Darren Stenner, Anthony Frieda, Carson Gracie, Cyberpunk as well. Thank you, bro. He says, great show, big fix up. I agree. I think it was a, I think it was a fast, guys, in the end. I wanted Silver didn't go for it. He just seemed treating it like a payday and a spa session. And the, the judges don't know what they're smoking, mate. Clearly crack laced with PCP, doused in fucking ecstasy, combined with the fucking ayahuasca pulled from the shaman from a fucking tribe in some fucking West African country, mate, with a fucking absolute fucking fucking everlasting gobstopper on top. Do you know what I mean? Like they're fucked out their heads, these guys may making these decisions, guys. Basically, is what I'm saying. Right. That's the end of the stream. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> Appreciate you all being here. We're nine likes off of 350 likes. So hit that like button and help us get to 350 before you go. And go over and smash a like on the watch along for the game, which is in the chat now. Thank you, Abdullah Irwan. In my way, as well. Thank you, bro. Cyberpunk. Carson Gracie and everyone here, man. Do you know what I mean? Basically, what I'm saying is these guys are mashed out their heads. He's made these decisions. <laughs> Crazy judges. I'm Oad. Thank you for getting in here. And everybody else as well. The Hoop Man. 21 Nick P. Let's be going. Let's be going. Let's be having you. Thanks. Good night, guys. That's it for the stream. Smash a like, subscribe, comment. Go ch chuck a like on the watch along at the top of the live chat. And I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Or today, actually. Later on today. Thanks, Harry Clark, for becoming a member as well, man. And everybody else as well for being here. Thanks to all the members in green. Thank you to all the moderators in blue. And thank you to everybody else in the chat in grey who have been here chatting and, and liking the stream and sharing it and all that jazz as well. Cheers, Shawnee Netherton, you Don. And Base Dwarf as well. Appreciate the banter and the difference of opinion. But you are also on that ayahuasca smoke fest, my son. <laughs> Good night, everyone. Cheers, Harry. Cheers, old 793. And all the rest of you Dons and Donesses out there. That's it from me. <laughs> Cheers, Cyberpunk 2 for watching and all everybody new. Shout out to you all and good night. And remember, Piggy loves you. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, and Twitch at Flying Pig United. Carlson Gracie BJJ, have a good one, man. You can also uh, check out the merch site, flyingpigclothing.com if you want. And you can also remember this.
when the CC goes. This is actually the most so appropriate for this fight tonight, guys. Bit of philosophy for you from the king. This is so appropriate, so appropriate for tonight. When the seagulls follow the trawler. As this is because they think some things would be thrown into the sea. Thank you very much. Thank you.